Say, say, no. You all right, mate? Uh, yeah. Look, do us a favour. I've opened up, but I've got to do one or two jobs. Pardon? I've got to catch up on one or two things. Uh, right, yeah, yeah, I will. You all right, or what? It's Maria. She's up there with that plat bloke. Oh, Martin? No, what's his name, Nick? Oh, Tuesday. How yeah, nice that, actually. He used to work for me. Oh, yeah. Hey, cheer up, mate. We're going back to Canada soon, won't we? Still fancy. No. Ah, oh, well, dig in, mate, you know. Things have a funny way of working themselves out. You reckon? Oh, uh, yeah. Look, me and Sally's moving back together, which is why I need you to cover for me, OK? You and Sally? Yeah. Back to Mr and Mrs, eh? Hey? Brilliant. Ah, uh, cheers. So, like you said, things work themselves out, don't they? Catch you later. Take place, one. Right. <clears throat> you survived, then? Hey, Your Sydney sandwich. Survived? Better than that, son. Have you ever imagined what it's like to be in between some as fresh as soft made bread? Not many have. It was good then. It were unimaginable. Well, you don't expect any work out of this one today. Well, what's new? And why not? Well, he's uh, still surviving from his Sydney sandwich. Oh, great. This is a sandwich of Australian origin, I take it. Well, play your cards right, Roy. You might just tell you. Oh, a Sydney sandwich. Yes, well, I'd be interested to get the ingredients for that. I mean, I know the games are nearly over, but it's nice to feel that they leave a legacy. <laughs> well, that's good. Mm. Perhaps uh, later. Don't go. I don't want to, but I've got no choice. Audrey will be waiting, and she was dead disappointed in us the other night, wasn't she? You know what? She could hang on a bit longer, can't she? Yeah, all right, then. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I thought you'd be making me waffles with maple syrup. Yeah, right. <laughs> I believe everything you hear about Vancouver. All oh, right, so all this stuff you tell me ain't true, then? Oh, no, that is. <laughs> you know, it sounds wicked. Scuba diving in the morning and skiing in the afternoon. What do you call that beach again? Um, Spanish banks. Golden sand, as far as the eye can see, with mountains opposite. <laughs> sounds amazing. Yeah, it's paradise. <laughs> so, do you support, then, at the Games? Canada or England? Oh, um... Whoever's winning. You can't say that. Where does your heart belong? At the moment, here. <laughs> oh, Tony. Oh, yeah. Listen, uh, did Maria show up at yours last night? Why? No, I was just wondering, really. I thought she only worked for you. Yes, all right. I know she's your friend and you don't want to get her into any trouble, but I might have known my warning wouldn't have cut any ice with the many road. What warning? <sighs> She and Nick spending the night together. Oh, yes, now, I know you're all young people and you can look after yourselves, but I'm afraid I don't approve. Neither do I. Well, don't you? No, he's a scumbag. She shouldn't waste her time. I know. Oh, what for? He's trouble. Listen, she could do a lot worse than mine, Nick, anyway. It's not her I'm worried about. It's him. He's got a life and a future in Canada. Then the sooner he gets back there, the better. Oh, Morning. Oh, uh, Ken, have you ever come across such a thing as a Sydney sandwich on your travels? Don't believe I have. Why? It's just a number of residents on the street seem to have experienced one recently. Oh, yes? And I just thought that Roy's role should play its part in the family of nations and, and well, offer one here. Good idea. Stephen, <clears throat> do you think local folk would appreciate Haley and I offering Sydney sandwiches? Um, yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I'll look into it. How long does a poor, disabled war widow have to stand before someone helps her with a tea? I'm sorry, Blanche. Here, let me... Come on. So what's all this about a war widow? I'm a widow. Yes. And Donald was in the war. Really? 
Which one? He went to Suey's. I remember knitting him woolly gloves. You should write a piece about it. I think the definition is someone who is widowed as a result of war. <laughs> Details. Oh, which reminds me, I've got a meeting with my editor later, so would you tell Deirdre? Am I the late home? Hiya. Sorry I'm a bit late. Have I slept? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Look, Audrey, I'm sorry we disappointed you the other night. Oh, yes, you did, Marie. Oh, come on, you've got to understand. He's going to be going back soon, and we've only really just got to know each other. We just wanted to spend as much time together as we can. Yeah, well, in that case, I shall be very glad when he does go back. Oh, I'm sorry, lovey. Someone's just rubbed me up the wrong way. That's all. We're both Nick fans, aren't we, huh? But reality bites, sweetheart. Nick's future's in Vancouver. He's got a good job, good prospects. I mean, a wonderful lifestyle. He's not going to want to swap that for Coronation Street, is there? No. No, of course not. Oh, love it. You will meet a wonderful local lad. I know you will. Nick will get on with his life. Come on. I'll put the kettle on. You can make us a nice cup of tea before the rush starts, OK? Well, what's your bikini? Beg your pardon? It's, uh, it's Bemba for Hello. Bemba? It is the largest tribe in North Zambia, Luapula province. I, I was uh, speaking to a member of the Zambian delegation, a, a prince, I believe. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And when you speak to him, you're not supposed to look him directly in the eye. It's disrespectful. And I never knew protocol that could, could be so tricky. No. <laughs> anyway, I suppose I'd better be going. Uh, don't forget to set the video, though, will you? Is there really any point? I mean, I've accumulated at least 12 hours, and you've scanned it through in slow motion. Nothing's going to happen now, is it? You never know. Today could be the day. I've never been so knackered in my life. <coughs> oh, hi, what's this? No, I was just talking about his uh, Sydney sandwich. <laughs> oh, yeah, what a letdown, eh? Did you say a letdown? Oh, yeah, funny, eh, Les? Turned out his sandwich was just that. What was it again? Kangaroo meat, weren't it? Yeah, well, uh... Oh, you big old frog, I might know. And pick up. All right, all right. I may have exaggerated a bit, but it's not oh. as bad as this one. I beg your pardon. Come on, own up. All that chat about meeting the stars and doing all the important jobs. I don't think he'll saw you. Do you know what he does all day? Tears up tickets and picks up litter. That's what. Go on. What? What? Hey, got your surprise here, kids. TV. Hey, you've not got one in your bedroom, have you? No. No? Well, you have now. Oh, Dad, that's well tough. Come on. Okay, yeah. Uh, thought I had home before. I told him what was happening. You don't mind me. No, they're going to find out sooner or later, aren't they? Yes, you too. That kind of seems to be locked in there. Yes, yeah, fine. Put on that way. Oh, yeah, just go through. Just through. When it's quieter, I'd like you to bottle up, uh, clean the pipes, open oh, change the barrels. Oh, yeah, and could you clean the optics and the ashtrays? Oh, while you're at it, give the shelves a dust, OK? Uh, what will you be doing? Managing, love. Managing. I've ordered a new telly for the bar. Should be here any minute. Got to keep my eye out for it. Right, right, so you'll just be stood there then while I'm doing all Look, that. just do as you're told. All right. Oh, no. Well, how serious? Very. Apparently, he's had a heart problem before. And now the stress and excitement of being a medal bearer has got to him and bingo! Dead? Not very well. He certainly can't do the medal presentation. Well, who have we got in reserve? We haven't. Uh, uh, excuse me, is, is there a problem? Morris Wainwright is unwell. Well, well then... Let, 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 let me take his place. No good, lad. You'd need a suit. Oh, have the suit. 
You have a suit? Yes, I, I, I took the liberty of buying one for just such an occasion. But you've no business well, to... It's all right. No harm in initiative. What's your name, son? Uh, uh, Cole, sir. Norris Cole. Think you're up to it, Cole? Uh, I, I'd like to give it my best shot, sir. Well, go to it, lad. May the spirit of the games be with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I promise you I won't let you down. more despicable moments and there have been some. What? Norris. Oh, well, serves him right for stringing us along. <laughs> As opposed to you. Oh. Ow! Hey, what was that for? Oh, I sort of bumped him in it. He had everyone thinking he made out with them Aussie chicks, but they pulled a flanker on him. Mind you, I'd have given him a go. I'd have showed the Commonwealth a bit of hospitality. You're pathetic. Hey? But well, we wouldn't want their fellas treating our women that bad, would we? Wouldn't we? No, we flaming wooden. There you go. Waffles for lunch. What's the matter? Nothing. Oh, come on. I'm not hungry. But I've made you a proper Canadian lunch. You know what? Stuff kind of done. What? Maria? It's all I've heard all day, Nick. What do you mean? RJ. Canada this, Vancouver that. Isn't it so brilliant? Everything's so wonderful. Your future's so rosy. Well, you know what? If it's so great, bug off back there. Shh, calm down. Do you want me to go? No. Then I won't. Don't be daft. I've got to. It's just what? I'm gonna miss you so much. Excuse me, do you think I could just borrow that? Because it really is a matter of life and death. Thank you very much. Most of the stuff in the front room, it's what I do with all these clothes because there's no wardrobes down here, is there? Here's one in your bedroom. Oh, uh, well, why not? Well, your dad's moving in, but as friends, we're not getting married again or anything, so he's sort of gonna be uh, living downstairs. So he's still living together and he's still our dad, yeah, but you won't be having any more babies. Sarah, what do you think, Sandy? Great article. Oh, thank you. Doris. Darling. Ken Barlow, Doris Slack, a.k.a. Hermione Fairfax. Oh, really? I'm delighted to meet you. My mother-in-law is your greatest fan. Lovely, darling. Sandy, darling, there seems to be a problem about my checkeroo. It hasn't arrived. Miss Brown will look into that for you, Doris. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told Doris she was in the Last Chance Saloon. Unfortunately, she seems to be trying to drink her way out of it. Big problem. How about a new challenge? Me? Bodice rippers? <laughs> Sorry, Sandy, never in a million years. Think about it? I just did, no. Emily. Emily, will you please pick up? <laughs> oh. 
All set, Cole? Yes, sir, yes, sir. I'll show you the way. Now, remember, when you reach the track, your shoulders should be red, your head held high, and your arms as steady as a rock. Got that? Yes. You had a red shoulders, I think so, sir. Now, remember, the eyes of the world will be upon you. No. She is driving me around the twist. Do this, do that. She's boss from hell. So I thought I fixed her. Oh. Well, I'm looking to real. I only do things I must, when I must, and nothing more. Uh, <clears throat> Kevin? Yes, love? Uh, right, please. Well, it is driving me mad. I counted 15 messages on my machine today. Oh, dear. So, um, have you set the tape? Oh, I, I don't see any point. You don't think anything will happen? Well, it hasn't so far. And according to certain sources, his position isn't everything he's made it out to be. He tears up tickets. Well, I'm sure that's important. Yes, but it's not going to get him on television, is it? Oh, yeah, she is. All right, there you go. Oh, cheers, Kev. You're welcome. I'm busy. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. All right. I've been by the garage. I didn't see you. Uh, no, no, I've, uh, I've been looking for Nick. Around a few times, got no reply. There's everyone living it up in Florida. Thought me and Nick could just go out a bit, you know. But oh no, Mummy Jaxie. I suppose you'll be heading off somewhere soon and all. Not now. Nowhere in particular. What, you mean I've got a bit of company for a change? Wow. I'm yeah. gonna have a few then, or what? Okay. All right, great. Bam, Kate. Excuse me. <laughs> a Weatherfield evening in. Ah. Mm. Look, I'm really sorry about earlier. Why? You must think I'm all right, clingy wuss. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. But I'm not going to be anymore. You're going back to Vancouver and I'm staying here. And we'll just have to be pen pals till we run out of steam. That's not what I want. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, it's not what I want either. But what else can we do? Look, there is something I should tell you. Oh, yeah? What is it? It might come as a bit of a shock. Go on. I think I love you. <laughs> what? These last few days have been brilliant for me. I can't stop thinking about you. Well, <laughs> you love me. Yeah. That's amazing. So? So what? What do you mean, so what, so... So how do you feel about me? Oh, you. Well, I love you too. I thought that was obvious. I just weren't sure how you felt. I know you know. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. please. She is driving me mad, this only doing what she's told. Love, don't let it get to you. Well, it's easy for you to say. Look, all right, look at the logic. Why is she doing it? Swam me up. Because? Go on. Because you're in charge and she's not. She's jealous. Now, how is she going to win? By making me give up. By making you give up, exactly. And are you going to do that? No way. Hello. When you're finished, do you mind going collecting some empties? There's a good girl. I can't help feeling sorry for Norris. Oh. I noticed they've installed a television. Should I ask them to turn it on just in case? Well, it can't do any harm. I'll ask. Horror people have it. Same again. Well, he's That's got as much chance of being on that set as I have winning Miss World. <laughs> Evening, ladies. Hello, hello. He looks happy. Yeah, well, he's not on crutches. <laughs> Lunch. <laughs> oh, uh, I, uh, listen. I'm sorry about earlier in the sandwich. Yeah, all right. 
I'll tell you what I could do on now, I'm famished. I'm sure I'd have a pork pie in the fridge. Oh, you haven't. Sorry, your boy was mine. How could you think like that? They were my teeth, Max. Ah, Les, now, <clears throat> about this Sydney sandwich. Now, I've done some research, but I I've not been able to duplicate it exactly. Oh, brilliant, is that? No, 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 no. I just brought it round to see if it bore any resemblance to yours. Uh, it it's, uh, it's an Aboriginal recipe, uh, not yet ready for consumption, more in the prototype stage. Well, it tastes all right. What's in it? Uh, fruits of the forest. What, like blackberries? Well, various kinds of fungi, a uh, variable source of protein in the bush. Yes, well, per perhaps it's perhaps it's not right for the boys' bones. Yeah. Glad you told me about Nick and Maria. Starting to get a bit paranoid. <laughs> so they're an item then, are they? Yeah, looks like it, mate. Well, young love, eh? I'll have to sit him down and give him a session on the joys of being a single bloke. Look, uh, this is what I want to talk to you about. Hey, can we tell you, lads? He needs to settle his mind on things for a bit. Oh, yeah, why? Well, it's a long story. How about a foursome? Us two versus you two. Well, loser buys a pint. You don't. Come on, let's get to it. Yeah, mate. Ta-ra! <laughs> Come back! The maestro's here! I can't go to work for my last day. I've got a bride and three bridesmaids in at eight. Give me my shoes. <laughs> well, she didn't have to go. <sighs> I told you. Yeah, I know, but... All right, I'll tell you what, I'll come and have my hair cut and see you that way. No, to make a right mess of I it. I wouldn't care. Yeah, well, I would. Go and make me a coffee. <laughs> mm. I wasn't just saying it, you know. Saying what? That I love you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love you too. Um, do you take sugar? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> no, actually, make it two. I need the energy. Mm. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Uh, everything all right? Why shouldn't it be? Uh, Sally's not indisposed. Left you with the kiddies. Well, what did you make of that? What? Him. Talk about a public display. Still, it must be six months since she's had a fella in her bed. And there's nowt like pulling the tried and trusted from the reserves bench. I think you're reading an awful lot into Kevin taking in the milk. He slept there, hasn't he? And that wasn't her dressing gown he were wearing. Emily, Emily, t tell me I'm not mistaken, please. Sorry? But the, the tape recording of the games, the one with me in it, now, you, you've gone and taken it to show somebody, haven't you? Is that from one of them security cameras in the car park? In the main stadium, for, for the medal ceremony in which I uh, participated. You tear up tickets. No, 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 you, you must have seen it. And the gold medal goes to, and, and there am I, standing with the tray with the medal on. You, you did see it, didn't you? No, sorry. <gasps> I did say to put the machine on to long play. You asked me to record the games. I did, exactly as instructed. No, three-hour tape. Normal play, three hours. Long play, six hours. I was three hours, two minutes in. Or I, I would have been. Just now. Ah, oh, Deirdre's ma'am. Nosy bat. Why? Well, she's just sticking her nose in, ain't she? Made you this. Oh, what is it? Bacon sandwich. Oh, I don't know. Muesli man now. Get bacon up. Oh, he's winding you up. Pig. Yeah, and that makes me a cannibal, so give it here. Go on, yeah. girls upstairs. Go and get dressed. Thank you. Hey, it doesn't take them long, does it? 
Hey. Lunch. It'll be all down the street before you finish your breakfast. Oh, well, you know, you can't keep out a secret down here. I, uh, didn't know you and Rita had so much in common. What does that mean? We well, both sell sweets. What? Well, with Rita, it's more, uh, mints and toffees kind of thing. With you, it's, uh, dining sweets, bedroom sweets, things like that. If you two have enough energy for fighting, you can get that sofa shifted out of your hall. It's a fire hazard blocking stairs. You ain't got any idea where I could put it, have you? I have, but you wouldn't want me to tell you. Just get it shifted. Thanks, Lord. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, it, it was very moving. The athlete on the podium, me standing there with the medal tray, our eyes met, both a bit moist, I must admit. Mm, him thinking, what's that blasted car park attendant doing with my medal? Well, I wouldn't expect you to understand such a life-enhancing moment. Is he still going on about that? You'll be more interested about the games that are going on across the street. That Sally Webster's ex has got his feet back under the table, which is a polite way of putting it. Bold as brass about it and all. She'll be in to work later with a smile on her face. You mark my words. Have you ever eaten Japanese before? Oh, it's just raw fish, isn't it? Not sure, says not. Apparently it's dead expensive, so shut up, they do cook it. Anyway, I'll let you know tomorrow. All right. All that for both sissy tonight. Certainly. You're not going Japanese at all, are you? No, oh, Italian. What's wrong with good English cooking? That's what I want to know. Well, I cook English at all. Never got the anger making that fast. It sticks together. Six, mm. Half seven. Yeah, right. Gina, can I have a word? Problem? You were in the cellar last, weren't you? I don't know, was I? Well, you must have noticed we were low on mixers. Yeah, yeah, especially tonics. Well, why didn't you say I could have ordered some more? Well, maybe, because every time I say out or suggest out, you already know it. I've done it or aren't interested, so I thought I'd save me breath. But I'm going to have to go to the wholesalers now, aren't I? Tough at the top. Yes, Steve. Now for me, thank you. But I would like to buy the wonderful Mrs Grimshaw a large of whatever she's having. I'm having a day off. Well, if you want to make it a double. No, 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 no it's, uh, it's not work. Well, in that case... Will the one in there, please, Gina? If I were you, I'd check what he does want first. Yeah, well, whatever it is, I reckon I'll need another drink, Emily. Oh, it's nothing honest. Oh, but it's the honest I don't like. Yes, it usually means the exact opposite. Look, all it is, this flipping sofa of Karen's, I need somewhere to put it. Well, I know several charities who'd be very happy to take it off your hands. Yeah, and if you're looking for a big, empty place to put it, how about Karen's gob? Yeah, or Les Butty's busy head. Or Eileen's backyard. No, nope. and I mean, no. Nope. Look, it won't be there for long. You are joking. I'm desperate. And I'm also doing next month's rotors, so if you want a long weekend, I could, uh, I could sort it out. Uh, can I get you out, Martin? No, I'm just on my way to work, thanks. We haven't seen much of each other this time, have we? Well, no, but you did have your mother's wedding to go to, and although it was the social event of the year, I thought I could live without going. And, uh, since then, uh, you've been busy. Although, can't say I blame you. She is gorgeous. Yeah. So, is it love, then? Yeah, actually. Hey, you. I was kidding. I wasn't. <sighs> Haven't we been there before? With Leanne? Look what happened there. It's not the same. When you meet the real thing, you realise that what went before was... Oh, you know. Well, real thing or not, in a few hours' time, you're going to have the Atlantic Ocean and several time zones between you. You think we don't know that? Oh, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. Anyway, look, I've got to go, so I'll try and get back to see you off, but if I can't, take care, kiddie. Yeah, you too. All right? It's about time you met somebody wonderful, Martin. Yeah? Well, like Maria. <laughs> you wish. Yeah, I do. <laughs> see ya. See ya. I'm glad you're leaving. Maria doesn't realise what a lucky escape she's having. Ty, take a look at us, mate. She keeps going out for no reason. Well, I was just shot in. If it's a long job, it'll have to wait till Monday. I'm going to check out the tower at the precinct. Yeah, you take your trolley with you. That way you can look up the skirts and all. Anyone fancy moving a bit of furniture? There's some money in it. Might be a drink in a few minutes. 
Karen's sofa. It's a monster, Steve. It's not going in that flat, even with three of us pushing it. I know what it will go, then. All right. Hey, Nick. Me and Tyrone are going down to the precinct, mate. A talent spine. Do you fancy it? I won't tell I'm a real. No, I'll give it a miss, thanks. I just came to book a taxi for tonight. Eight o'clock going to the airport, if that's right. No problem. Cool. Cool. Right. You right, then? Yeah, so what are we doing? Are we just, like, moving this sofa across the room or something? Well, let's. Is it a problem for you, me seeing Maria? Why should it be? Well, I know you were engaged. That was a long time ago. Anyway, uh, I better get on with this. You might not make it to the airport. Hiya. Hi. Got away as soon as I could. Mm. <laughs> Missed you. Me too. Hi, Tyrone. <laughs> See you later, mate. Morning. I don't suppose there's any point in me asking you if you saw my moment of glory yesterday. Oh, you mean when you were carrying the medal cushion and you shared that moment of triumph with the athlete on the podium? Yeah, yeah you, you saw it? No, sorry, Emily told me. Hold on, hold on. Hey! Elizabeth, if you want your neighbours to see the new sofa, the usual way, the good way is to invite them into the flat. Yeah, yeah, you're a funny guy. Grab that corner. Why, why? Where's it going and why? It's going in Eileen's backyard. Wait a minute. Karen's pride and joy, Eileen's backyard. Yeah, and it's a secret, mate. Even better. <laughs> I could be chatting up birds down the precinct. <coughs> Steve, bean bags next time, all right? Watch the curb. Watch the wheel! Oh. Whoa, whoa. I don't suppose you or Kevin taped yesterday's proceedings, did you? No, no, of course not. You'd have other things on your mind, I'm sure. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, Kevin's car magazines do uh, cancel them or have them diverted to number 13. Mm -hmm. Kevin collects them, we don't deliver them. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, silly me. You'll miss your bus. And if they're running short of cushion carriers again... <sighs> the lightning of good fortune doesn't strike twice. I suppose you know the grapevine's red hot. I thought it might be. What are they saying? That Kevin's back with you. I thought this idea of Kevin's was a non-starter. Well, I did have to think about it a lot. We'll be thousands a year better off. Well, that doesn't sound very romantic. Well, it's not meant to be. There's more to life than love. When you're older, maybe. And even then, it's not what you want, it's what you make do with. But you're both young. Well, I could do a lot worse, Rita. I mean, I have. Well, if it's what makes you happy. It does. Do you know, I can't tell you what a relief it is to be sorted at last. At least I don't have to worry about money now. It's for the best, I'm sure it is. Has Nick not been in yet? We haven't seen him. All oh, right, well, I'll have a pint while I'm waiting. You're a mate of Kevin Webster's, aren't you? Oh, and Sally's, if I remember rightly. Yeah, why? Turn up for the books, isn't it? Him moving back in. Hey. Oh, don't say I've kept it a secret from you and all. I must be ashamed of something. Saturday night and the only woman that wants to talk to me is the local gossip. And even she's talking rubbish. I could take offence at remarks like that. Good. Right, now you're back. I'm off. Off? You're not here, are you? No, I'm going to that Japanese place we do all remember. Oh, aye. In fact, it's picking me up in an hour. But where's Shelley? No. After babysit for our Ashley and Maxine, remember? Yeah, well, my shift finished half an hour ago, so you'll have to take it up with Shelley, won't you? After all, she's boss. Oh, another one over here, please, Fred. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. That kangaroo. Just... Steve! Ow! God, you scared the life out of me! It's gone! Some time I nicked it while you've had these things on! What? Just so for your pillock! Oh. Oh, what? Or I could have put it in storage. Well, what storage? Well, we couldn't leave it on the stairs, could we? God. Right, well, thanks. <sighs> thanks! Ow! 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 It's been giving me a heart attack! Where is it? Well, it's somewhere where we'd have to climb over it just to get into the flipping flat. Nice day at work, dear. No, actually. Been on my feet all day. In fact, you can give him a massage. Is there any other choice? Oh, oh, Norris! Nice one the other day. 
beg your pardon. At the games. Give them the medal for the men's ten mile walk. You, you saw me? Yeah, on the box. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling when someone tells you something? Although your mouth is saying this is rubbish. In the pit of your stomach, you really know it's true. Yeah, and it's usually not nice things. So when Blanche tells me Kevin and Sally are back together... Are you asking me or telling me? Because this is one I'm not getting involved in. So it's true, then. I told you. I know nothing. I know you've got a reservation, Ashley, but... Shelley's disappeared off the fit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Bye. I could have died of thirst. Stop trying to cheer me up. What can I get you? Gin and tonic, please. Now what? You wouldn't like it with orange instead. If I wanted a gin and orange, I'd have... If you're coming in for a drink, you're in the wrong place. We're only out of tonics, Blanche. And that's only temporary. Oh. Well, how about champagne then, Gran? Oh, darling, look, if you're old enough to buy champagne, you're old enough to call me Audrey. <laughs> oh, I can't believe in a few hours it's going to be halfway across the world. Maria, my love, you know what they say about all good things coming to an end? I wish you two would stop sounding so pleased. You're my mate and I'm worried about you. Like you were for me in Blackpool. I'll tell you, this is different. We love each other. We do. Oh, you just don't understand, you two. Yes, we do. Look, and I also understand that even though you may lose the love of your life, there'll be a new one along in a week or two. It's not like that, Audrey. He loves me and all. All right. Oh, Martin, come and have a drink with us. Um, no. No, I can't. Someone's come up. Why, right, you got time for a quick one, haven't you? Um, well, no. No, it's important. But listen, have a good flight. Ring me, OK? Yeah, sh sure. Hey, hi, young man. Cheers, Fred. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, now, you have got a cab sorted, oh, haven't you? You're desperate to get rid of me, aren't you? <laughs> listen, let me stop going again. You've already got through one box of tissues. I can't stand the fact that you go in and we've only known each other a few days. Um, I even tried to change my ticket, but they wouldn't let me. I do wish there was a way I could stay longer there. Is it you? Oh. See you bird, then. That didn't take you long. No, he's doing an emergency pick-up on the ring road. Oh, is he? Right. So he's back living here, then? Martin, this is between me and Kevin. It's nothing to do with you. Oh, I know, I know. It's just that when we were together, the things you said... Well, we both said a lot of things. Yeah, the only difference is I meant them. That's unfair. Look, Sally, I'm just trying to understand, that's all. I mean, the things you said, like... I fell out of love with Kevin years ago. There's no way I'd have him back. Well, things change. Oh, yeah, like what? Has he discovered some magic potion to make you love him again? No, you've been silly. <sighs> Sally. I still care about you. Don't. You sound like him. Mm. And that's such a bad thing, is it? <laughs> being a jealous, possessive Burke's not done him any harm, has it? Well, Sally, I'm your friend. I'm Kevin's friend, but you've hardly even been caught in the next thing I hear, down the pub. I've got to go and see what she wants. <sighs> All right. I'm on my way. Where the hell have you been? Oh, Fred, I'm in a nightmare. You do realise you've not just ruined my Saturday night, you have ruined our Ashley's and Maxine's and all. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where's Gina? She left an hour back after she finished. I put you in charge because I thought you could run the place. Fred, you know I can. Do I? So where have you been? The wholesalers, didn't Gina tell you? Well, there should have been no need. Stocking that cellar is basic. Yeah, I so know. who's organising your staff? Well, I didn't think I'd Customers, do you think you can serve them drinks? Uh, yes, Steve. 
Large pint for my Karen, please. Mm. I'll have another one as well. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Hey, I'm me. Uh, like anybody offered. No, Steve's feeling generous today, aren't you? Oh, I and uh, why is that then? Uh, um, sofa. The delivery men came round. You know what they're like, and uh, I couldn't risk lifting that. Not with my job, so I uh, asked the lads to give us a hand. Uh, what delivery man? Is that another one for you, Steve? Uh, no, thanks. I'm driving. Uh, your cab's waiting outside when you're ready. Oh, come on. Better get a move on. This in your plane's the last thing you want. Thought you'd gone. Well, I was on my way. And I saw this lot. What's going on here? Now, ain't that the question everyone's asking? Martin heard you were back. What's that got to do with you? <laughs> That's funny. Last time we had this conversation, it was me saying that. You wanted to knock me head off. Are you coming here looking for trouble? Shh, the girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've really pulled a flanker this time, haven't you, Kev? What's that supposed to mean? Well, that sofa bed. All makes sense now. <laughs> so who gave you that idea? Was it Molly? Eh? Move in as mates, share the bills, wait your chance. Don't even go down that road. Oh, give over, mate. And I thought you had more about you. I think you ought to go. Oh, don't worry, Sal. I'm going. But I'll say this first. All he's ever wanted is to get you back. And now, <laughs> however you dress it up, he's gone and done it. And if you can look me in the eyes and tell me that's what you really, really want, then fine. But you can't. So don't even try. Take the notice. We know we're doing the right thing. Beg what anybody else thinks. Well, take care of yourself, sweetheart. Oh, it's been so lovely to see you. Yeah, you too, Grant. Sorry, Audrey. Yes. Come on, I'll leave you to your goodbyes. I've spent the past hour trying to think of things to say to you. And all I can think of is I love you. You could try El phone or all right, I'll come back. I will, all of those. Because whatever that lot think, I do love you. <laughs> and this is so unfair. Stop the car. What? Just stop! You forgot your passport or something. What's up? Come to Canada. Yeah, we said I've got No, I mean for good. Really? If you love me. I do. Yeah. All right, I will. <laughs> but I'll ring you the second I get back. We'll sort everything. You're up early? Yeah, well, the early bird catches the job. Not that there's much in here. It's all call centres and secretarial work. No great rush, is there? No. Oh. Now Norris is back in the cabin, I'm back on the dole again, I'm not trying to find something out. Yeah, well, what's the hurry? Got my waves coming in now. Kevin, the whole point of all this was to have two incomes again. Yeah, I know. Well, I want to keep my independence. You know, that's really important to me. And everybody else. Martin tells people where you're sleeping, where I'm sleeping. I don't, I don't want to think about it. What? You can't stop smiling. Yeah, I know. 
So what is it? You've forgotten about him already? No. It's just there's no point getting upset, is there? Anyway, it's not like I won't be seeing him again. What do you mean he's coming back? No. So it is over between you two? It's only even started. Maria, what are you on about? Nick has asked me to go and live in Canada with him, and I've said yeah. <laughs> Right. What are you doing here? Watching the telly? You know what I mean. Why have you come back? Because I wanted to. Oh, so, where's Mum? At work? I can't believe you. I can't believe you just strolled back in. Your mum was in the right state when you left. Well, I rang her dinner, and that makes up for it, does it? You nick from her. You walk out. So you just leave it, eh? I'm back now, so if you really want to make Mum happy, then keep your mouth shut. Look, I about want to hit you. I'm sorry. Nah, it's too late for that. You don't care who you hurt, do you? You just do what you like, and you leave me to pick up the pieces. Oh, yeah, and I'm sure you can do that, Mr. Nice Guy, the golden boy. Do you know how hard it is being your brother? Oh, don't be so stupid. No, I'm not. Since we were little kids, it's always been the same. Todd's a smart one, and what am I? Some kind of loser. Yeah, well, I've proved them all right, and I... I suppose you want a cup of tea, then. Cheers. You know where the kettle is. Now, there's nothing wrong with the sofa, except we can't get it in the flat. So what are you saying? What are you saying we get a full refund? Yeah, um, yeah, you can pick it up any time today, mate. Um, number 11, Coronation Street. No, it's not where you dropped it off, but it's where it's being stored. OK? All right, excellent. Bye. It's not like I don't want her to be happy, cos I do. It's just him. As soon as I seen him, I thought, he ain't right for her. Who are you talking about? Maria and that Nick. See, I knew it wouldn't last. Kurt was trying to tell me how he was the love of her life and all that, but I said, no, it's just some stupid holiday romance. Anyway, he's back off to Canada now, eh? Right. All right, Kev. Yeah, fine. Why would you do it? Why would you give up everything and go off where on the world, friend? Because I love him, Toya, all right? And I want to be with him. Yeah, but you don't even know him, do you? Not really. Yeah, all right, maybe I don't know him. But I know enough about him to know he's worth taking the risk. At least he's had the guts to do something with his life to make a difference. I just don't believe you're going to do this. Yeah. What, are you going to give it all up, are you? Uh, what, your job and the flat? Yeah, I am. <laughs> and you know what? If you was any sort of mate, you'd be happy for me. Honestly, Peter, she really set me up. First, she didn't tell me that we were low mixers. And then she wouldn't even cover me till I got back from the wholesalers. And now, Fred thinks I'm next to useless. Well, look, just explain to Fred, you know, how that wasn't your fault, love. But what, I'll make out I can't manage my staff? You know, I was really chuffed when he asked me to take charge of that place. I really wanted to prove myself. And you still can. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I'm not going to let her get to me. Good. See, that's the spirit. Right. Cool. Off you go. All right. I've still not heard from that television company. Strange, that. I thought you'd be top of their priorities. Mind you, I mean, even though there is a certain civic pride in serving one's country, there's still a distinct pleasure in getting back to one's own routine. Norris, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm just saying, in many ways, it's nice to be back, you know, to be involved in the day-to-day -day pleasures of work and the ongoing sagas of our customers' daily lives. Norris, if you mean you've missed the gossip, why don't you just say? I mean, take the Websters, for example. There's a definite parallel between them, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor, don't you think? I uh, can't say I've made the connection, no. Well, think about it, Rita. I mean, both couples have had a disastrous marriage, followed by a series of unsuitable partners before eventually reuniting. Uh, in many ways, it's the ultimate romance. I think you need to keep out of the sun. Yeah, they've got everyone fooled, haven't they? Sorry? All this pretense that they're back together. Sally and Kevin Webster, the love story of the century. Now, if you've been listening to Norris, don't worry. His moment of fame has clearly addled him. Yeah, well, he's not the only one, is he? I mean, that's what everyone's thinking. Isn't it sweet? Isn't it romantic? When really, 
It's just a farce. How do you mean? Oh, come on, Rita. Don't tell me Sally's not told you. Kevin moving back in, well, it's just uh, an arrangement. She doesn't love him. They're not even sharing the same bed. How do you know that? Because I've seen him as in the front room, on the sofa bed. And what business is it of anybody's where Kevin sleeps? I mean, surely that's his and Sally's private affair. Oh, right. So what are you saying? You think it's a good idea she's got him back then? I don't know. All I do know is that Sally and Kevin seem to be trying to do the best by their children. Surely, as a parent, you approve of that? Well, I don't understand any of it, really. Well, maybe you don't have to. But if what they are trying to do for their children gives them the love and the stability that they need, who are we to judge? Hello, love. Hi. Good morning. Uh, not bad. You? Oh, I don't know. It's always nice to be wanted. Well, what's this? Well, I just had a call from Sandy George. She's all trying to talk me into taking over that ridiculous romantic nonsense for the Gazette. No, so what did you tell her? Well, I said I'd think about it and give her a call, but it's not my thing. Somebody must read these stories, other than my mother. Yeah, well, just because somebody reads it doesn't mean that I have to write it. I'm a journalist. What do I know about bodies ripping? Oh, I don't know. You've had your moments. Oh, right. Um, I have to cheese salad, love. This is... Well, I'm not sure what it is, <laughs> that cheese salad. All right, I'm sorry. Right, so yeah. No, I'm not. Do you know, I think the world has gone mad. Sorry? Oh, so she's not told you yet? Uh, who's not told me what? Maria. She's going to give up everything and go and live with Nick in Canada. What? Well, that was all this decided, for goodness sake. Well, apparently he has to before he left for the airport. Oh, silly, silly boy. Yeah, and now she reckons she's going to get a flight out by the end of the week and go and join him. Oh, dear, no. Oh, he never learns, does he? I mean, first Leanne, now Maria. Is there something wrong with the lad? I mean, is he addicted to making rash decisions or what? Audrey, would you talk to her? Because yeah. oh, she won't listen to me. Afternoon, Fred. Now do. Look, I'm really, really sorry about what happened the other day. I should think so, young lady. I have little enough time with my grandson. I do not appreciate having to cancel my plans. And it weren't just me, it were Maxine and our Ashley and all. I know. Now I saw fit to appoint you as temporary bar manager. And I will stick by my word. That is, unless you give me good I, reason I won't. to... I'll make sure the bar's properly covered from now on. I won't let you down again. Then we'll say no more about it. Gina. Afternoon. Is everything all right over there after I left? Yeah? Why? Shouldn't it be? Well, there's no reason. It's just Freddie seems in a bit of a funny mood today, that's all. Does he? I haven't noticed. <clears throat> oh. Well, no prizes for guessing what this is. You notice, I presume. Who told you? About you leaving, Toya, actually. <laughs> I should have guessed. She seemed a bit upset about you, Maria. Well, more than a bit. Yeah, well, she's never liked Nick, has she? So she's not going to approve. Oh, that's what you're looking for, is it? Approval? No. I just want people to be happy for me, that's all. It is a good thing, what I'm doing. I'm moving away, starting a new life. Are you sure that Nick meant it? Yeah, of course he did. Why else would he say it? I don't know. Maybe it was just easier than saying a proper goodbye. Nick loves me, Audrey, and we want to be together. Now, why don't anyone just believe us? Come on, love, I do, I do believe you. Now, sit down. Oh, Maria, you're not the first young woman in the world to have feelings like this. And honestly, darling, I'm not saying that your feelings aren't real. But they are so far removed from the day-to-day -day reality of living with someone. God forbid that I speak ill about Nick. He's my lovely grandson and a lovely young man, but... I worry about you, my darling, that's all. Yeah, well, why? About what? Well, Vancouver, it's a long way away. You can't just hop on a bush, you know, if things go wrong. Oh, Joe, it's not gonna go wrong. Well, I hope not. I hope not, sweetheart, for your sake. But it is a big decision. You're giving up your job, your home, your whole life. I mean, it is not something that you rush into. You're not going to talk me out of it, Audrey? No. And I'm not trying. I just want you to be sure you know what you're doing, yeah, that's I, all. Yeah, I am. 
and I'm going to go to Canada, Audrey. And nothing you or anyone else says is going to change my mind. <laughs> Hey, Mum. I, uh, hey, before you go, perhaps you'd like to tell me what this is doing in my living room. Oh, that. Yeah, that. And more to the point, where's my old sofa? Out back. It's just we saw this one in the yard and we were worried it might rain, so we brought it in. And who's we? Hi, Mum. When did you get back? A couple of hours ago. All right. And is this for good, or have you just come back to nick more stuff? Don't, oh, Mum. Well, give me one good reason why not. I mean, give me one good reason why I shouldn't march you down the police station and say, this is my son, he's a lying, thieving toe rag. Look, I know it's not much, but I'll give you the extra 20 as soon as I've got it. And that's supposed to make it all right, is it? 40 flaming quid? Mum, he knows. What? He knows that he got it all wrong. And he's sorry. You don't have to pretend you're not pleased to have him back. Mum, I am sorry. Right, well, I should hope so. But if you ever pull a stunt like that again... I won't promise. Well, as soon as you're in the mood for promises, you can promise me that you'll get yourself a job. I will. Right. Now, back to the small matter of the sofa, which incidentally happens to belong to Karen MacDonald. So? She obviously doesn't want it. We can borrow it. Well, don't see the arm in it. But we've got to leave our old sofa outside. I want it covered in with this plastic. I don't want it getting ruined. Yeah. Cheers, Mum. Right, well, I'm off to work. Uh, where are you going? Video shop. They've got an offer on three slash films for price of two. And what's the matter with Mary Poppins? Look, you, uh, sure that's a good idea coming in here? Well, if we want, it's a quiet drink. Yeah, I know, but people might start talking about us. They're going to talk about us whether we're here or not, aren't they? No, 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 number 11, Coronation Street. What, what do you mean there's no one there? Well, then go around the back. The sofa's in the backyard. Orange juice, please, Shelley. All right, just a minute. Now then, Shelley, about this centenary, any more thoughts? Oh, well, actually, I've got uh, Why don't we dress up? You know, Edwardian clothes, crinolines, top hats. So. Oh, I see. Hundredth anniversary of Rovers. We're thinking about promotions. Oh, sounds right to me. Pay good money to see Fred on a penny farthing. <laughs> it's a thought. Ought to look quite good in that uh, reenactment costume. Yeah, it's all a bit predictable, though, isn't it? Predictable? Why is it predictable? Because well, we always dress up. Halloween, drag night. We need something different. I was thinking, why don't we do a penny a pint promotion? Because it'd cost a fortune. What kind of a stupid idea is that? I'm not talking about new money, am I? I'm talking about old pennies. They're not in circulation. Penny a pint? Has a nice ring to it, is that? You reckon? Hey. And the clever thing is, it makes us sound generous without us giving out away. Now, that's what I call a genius idea. Gina, top of class. Canada? What are you going to get there? Well, I'm not going to walk it, am I? Anyway, now the games are finished, you can get well cheap flights on the internet. And I've still got some of my share of mine and Tyrone's wedding money left. Is that going to be enough? <laughs> well, if it's not, you'll have to help me sell my stuff, won't you? Have you sold Mum and Dad? Yeah, I've just been around now. Mum started crying and my dad said something daft about polar bears. I don't know, they're off the red sometimes, aren't they? <laughs> what? I just never thought you'd have the bottle to do something like this. Neither did I. Come on, Vic. Get on of it, get a grip of it. Get on out first. This is the last one today. Just shut up, morning. Come on. Oh, hi, Rita. Hey, hello, love. Oh! Off your crutches, then, Blanche. Certainly am. And not that you need legs to know what's going on around here. Look, bold as brass. Don't tell me they're not an item. I'm not sure it's anybody else's business. I mean, look at her. It's only she I'm caught. And I'm seeing you burn me. I know. Which is why Fred should have made me temporary manager. I mean, I've got more ideas than that. I'm more experienced. Does that sound fair to you? No. I mean, yeah. Blanche is talking about us. I know she is. So, just leave, eh? No, if she's got something to say, Kev, she should say it to me face. I'm serious. It's their girls I feel sorry for. Poor little mites. You can just see it, can't you? They call out 
Daddy, Daddy, in the night. And they've no idea who they're going to get. Oh, Sally, I would just, um... Talking about me. Yes, I know you were. So let's just get a few things straight, shall we, Blanche? Yes, me and Kevin are back together. Yeah, we had to think about it for a long time. And yet we are trying to make it work. So if anybody's got any problems with that... Look, if you've got any more questions about me and Kevin's relationship, just ask Blanche. Jason, turn that flaming video off and get out here now! Mom, we're just getting near the end. You're nearly all dead. Yeah, and so are you if you don't tell me what's going on. Where's my sofa? What? Well, where is it? Well, I didn't know. It was here. Ask Todd. We put it here. Well, so what's happened to it? Alien abduction. Canada. That's what I said. Flipping heck, she must be really into this, mate. You know, she's gonna go all the way over there. Soldier. She's mad about him. Never seen her like it. But, but when? When's she going? Under the week, if she can get a ticket, she's gonna sell all her gear to raise her cash. That's how much she's selling? Everything. Books, CDs, clothes. Excellent. <laughs> What are you getting so excited for? We've just got some decent clobber, has Maria. Yeah. You're like a grave robber, you. You just don't care. Oh, shut up. No, why don't you shut up? Why don't all of you just shut up? Mm -hmm. What's up with him? <laughs> you know, I still can't believe people have got nothing better to talk about than us. You realise what you've done? What? Oh, with your little speech. People are going to think we're an item again, you know. We're back together. Properly. Don't care what they think. You mean that? Of course. As long as we know we're doing the right thing, they can say what they like. An hour. What? Doing the right thing. Well, so far, so good. But have you really thought about this? About everything you're going to be giving up? <laughs> like what? A rubbish little job that don't pay much in a tiny little flat? Are you happy with it before? Yeah, before Nick. I tell you, everything's changed now. Now I realise I can make something of my life, do something different. Are you going to get that? Hiya. Oh, so is this it then, the great bring them by? What? Kurt told me you were selling all your gear. Just thought I'd come and get first look. Is she serious? Yeah, well, I've got to find the money somehow, haven't I? I bet you've bagged it all the best stuff, haven't you? No, I haven't. I, I don't want it. I don't want to buy anything. Oh, yeah. Please, don't be like this. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't pretend. I think you're mad to rush into something like that. I thought you were my mate. Yeah, I am. That's why I'm telling you. Hey, how much are these? So, I called Sandy. Told her she had to find somebody else to replace the mayonnaise. Chicken. Not at all. I told you, steamy literature's not exactly my forte. You all right there, Mother? Hardly. You've got to spend a penny, and you take your life in your hands in this place. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's a health hazard. I beg your pardon, Blanche. Ladies' toilet, end cubicle. I could say it's blocked, but that's an understatement. Jelly, love. Will you go and sort our problem with ladies? There's rubber gloves and a plunger under the sink. I'm just going across to our Ashley's. Uh, Gina, will you go and sort out ladies' toilets? Well, I can't, I'm busy. Oh, come on, love, I've got my hands full here. Yeah, and so have I. Who do you think you are, eh? Too high and mighty to stick your hands down a bog? Shelley! All right, all right, I'm doing it! So where did you get to, anyway? Went for a walk to clear my head. Is that about our Maria? You know, in Canada. So... We well, used to have been together for ages. Yeah, I know. But she's always been around, hasn't she? She's always been here. Are you sure you've got it right? Are you sure she's definitely going? She told me herself, mate. Well, how can she afford it? I mean, she's not got that much to sell. Maybe she's still got some money left, hasn't she? From her half what you used to saved up for the wedding. Oh. She's using our wedding money to go to Canada. You're right, Tyvon. I don't know. I feel a bit sick. I've had enough of you. Get in the back. Well, it, it was an accident. Like hell it was. Get in the back now. Oh, 
Honestly, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to. It, it, it was an accident. You expect me to believe that? You are. You've been out to get me all day. Winding me up, making me look stupid. Uh, don't have a go at me just because you're not up to the job. You are? Well, look here. Look at this day you've got yourself into. I mean, you can't even cut in a little backstreet pub. And you'd do it better, would you? Yeah, I would. Which is why Fred should have asked me. I am senior barmaid and I have worked here longer than you, so if anyone should be temporary manager, it should be me. Yeah, but you're not, are you? He asked me. And now you're going out your way to screw it up for me, you jealous little cow. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, you won't have put up with me much longer, will you? What, what are you saying? You'll have to find somebody else to boss around, won't you? Somebody else to get your power crazed claws into. Because I quit. Oh, you heard. I'm out of here. I'm a nice life. I feel like throwing a sickie. Oh, is that? I feel like throwing a punch. <laughs> no, it's not. It's neither. Now, don't let that one get cold. Look, love, so, you know, I jumped up barmaids, walked out on you. Big deal. Well, it is a big deal, actually. No, no, it's not. It's just a pair of hands, that's all. Look at it that way. Yeah, with perfect teeth and a tight T-shirt. Fellas loved her. No, no, not all the fellas loved her. <laughs> Look, I've got a pair of hands. I mean, I can give you a hand until you get somebody else, and it's no problem. I mean, it's not as if I don't know my way around that bar. Yeah, but what about the bookies? Well, yeah, I'm going to have to do my day shift first, obviously. But, you know, once I've cashed up, I'm finished, I'll come over, I'll be all yours. There you go. Oh, you star. Mm -hmm. We'll show that Gina, eh, love? What a year, eh? First I lose my fiancé and then I lose my job. You could lose half a stone for me, could you? Oh, you jacked them both in. What are you talking about? All right, all right, I'll shut up. I mean, she acted like I should be grateful for the job. It's not as if it's the Met Bar. It's a pokey little backstreet pub. Where you can roll out of bed and into work. Yeah. And you don't get creeps hassling you for your phone number. Or worse. I just can't relax anymore. I mean, I can't even have a chat to the regulars about her getting on my back for slacking. She's changed. And all for an extra 50p an hour. Oh, well, if it isn't the Dark Horse. Is this true what I'm hearing? About me going to Canada? Yeah. You don't hang around, do you? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what they say. It's invented and all that. Yeah. Well, good on you. Uh, listen, will you put around some iron before you go? I've got a bit of a parcel for it. <laughs> it won't be chocolate by any chance of it. He's a quick learner. <laughs> right, well, I'll see you. Got to work. No, no. Nothing as pleasant as that, I'm afraid. See ya. See ya. You were up with the larks this morning. I promised Royal I in. I thought you were trying to avoid me. Have you come in for your breakfast? I don't want to fall out, are you? I'd hate to go and leave things all weird between us. I'm not falling out. I'm just wondering how come you're the one who's making all the sacrifices. I'm swapping a pokey little flat in Weatherfield for a trendy loft in Vancouver. Weekends, I'll be at the cabin learning to snowboard, not walking dogs on the red wreck. Well, what about your family? And your friends? Who, who can phone, email? They've got gumption, they'll save up and come and see me. I tell you, this is a chance of a lifetime for me. I get to see the world with a fella I'm mad about and who's mad about me. Yeah, now you are. No, I know it's a risk, but crossing over the road's a risk. Eating one of your curries is a risk, but I still do it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm slightly living dangerously, eh? Hang on. Kevin. Yeah. I'm uh, running late. Right. Well, look, I won't keep you. I just wanted to say sorry. Shooting my mouth off. None of my business. Sure you both know what you're doing. We're big enough. And ugly enough. <laughs> well, yeah, in his case. <laughs> well, that's it, really. I just stop. It works out for all of you. Thanks, Martin. Cheers, mate. All right. Any time you fancy a pint, you know where I am. See you then. See ya. See ya. Well, well. Turn up for the books. Uh, what day's jobs page in evening news, Rita? Uh, Thursday. We're not going against a buzzer. There's stuff in most nights, love, but Thursday's the biggie. Oh, I'll take one anyway, and I'll have a gazette and all, thanks. Oh, thanks very much. Hey, crack open safe. I've got my wheelbarrow outside. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> She's come for her wages. 
Just a small wheelbarrow, I hope. <laughs> Norris, passes that envelope on Dick Till. Oh, oh, Sally Webster, that shows foresight. <laughs> eh? Well, not reverting to your maiden name or changing your surname to Presley or such like. Some women go do lally on divorce. Some women? Well, Angela, for example, went out and spent £300 on a pair of strappy sandals and went double barreled for a while. Sounds painful. It was. She charged them to my credit card. <laughs> so, everything all right? Well, things are a bit... Well, it's bound to be at first. Yeah. Martin's got his head round it, though. Oh, well, as long as he has, yeah. then we're laughing sandbags, aren't we? Me and Kevin, we're tiptoeing round each other a bit. Yeah. But that's strange for a while. It's yeah. just... Been... Excuse me. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Look, I just hey, can't that's great. This. May I suggest, once more with feeling, dump those doubts or loo seat up lifting the lid on a life after loneliness i'm sorry and that last one's not as crude as it sounds it, it's, it's about adapting to a male presence after a period of absence it, 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 it is very good oh. i mean if you ever need to talk you know we're always here i am you might have got your card by then kettle brew now um, I think somewhere in there was a vote of confidence. There you go, love. Cheese, was it? Um, when you're ready. Secret of good management, in a word. Uh, hang on a minute, Fred. Communication. Have you got somebody you'd like to communicate with me? I'll be over here, Shelley. Uh, has somebody been talking? You've watched the rotor, haven't you? Hey? I've just seen Gina swanning into her cabin in her scruff and you're running around like an headless chicken. Actually, Fred, it's worse than that. She's walked out. No notice, no nothing. Why? Well, I pulled her up over something and now, and that was it. Bam! Big drama queen act. Walked off into the sunset. But it's all under control. I'm going to ring the job centre. When? When I get a minute. I'm going to find someone dead keen, who's dropped dead gorgeous, who doesn't mind getting their hands dirty. And... I'll have a better idea. <laughs> get me Gina. What? No, Fred, you must be joking. You tell her to put a bit of lippy on and comb her hair and you get her back behind that bar by one o'clock and we'll hear no more about it. But, Fred, honestly, the way she's been behaving, the way she's talked to me. Haven't you spoken out a turn? You have to be careful, you know. Uh, don't blame me. She needs He's motivating, obviously. Fred, you're not listening. He's not a playground squabble. She's gone. End of. Go over yourself and have a word with it if you don't believe me. I pay you to manage this bar and staff. So go get it sorted. Uh, my sandwich? No! Guilty conscience, Steve. What? Is that why you're not returning my calls? I hope this is going to have a happy ending. What are you on about? The mystery of the disappearing couch. Excuse me. Gina, look. I think we both said things last night we didn't mean. Speak for yourself. And I probably overreacted over tomato juice. Stains came out, no problem. Yippee. Oh, come on. Oh, don't bother, Shelley. I don't need it. Especially from a mate. And you take your insecurities out on somebody else. doing poking about in my yard? At uh, my yard? I was telling them to pick up the couch. Which they did. My couch. Well, I'm not a mind reader. Didn't know you were going to park your backside on the new one. Hey, well, look at that muppet. No, well, that's not odd. Mm. Karen's going to go ape. Just make sure they pick up the new one this time. And what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I've got to park my backside somewhere. This is a deep conditioning treatment, so I'm going to leave it on for a few minutes. Oh, do you know, this is the only reason I come here. She's got magic fingers, this girl. Not the disappointed customer. What? She's abandoning me, Deirdre. She's swanning off to Canada to take up with a lad she's only known five minutes. Her grandson, if you don't mind. What's Nick? Yeah, it's the bravest thing I've ever done, and everyone's on me back. Oh, well, you know why, don't you? Because they envy you for doing what you're doing, and they hate themselves for playing it safe. Just ignore them, love. They're not worth bothering about. Well, thank you, Deirdre, for undermining all my hard work. <laughs> you no, know, I ran off with a Moroccan waiter. Never. Folk thought it was hilarious. We just laughed. And that's when we got our breath back. We were in bed the first three weeks. Oh, Deirdre! <laughs> now, it was the maddest thing I've ever done. And the thing I'm most proud of. Hmm. 
tell you, if you've got the bottle, love, you go for it. Mm, cheers, I will. In fact, I'll come to the airport and wave you off myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. I give in. Come on. There's your money to the end of the week and your holiday pay, and I go and finish packing. Well, what about... I manage. Like I managed before I took you on that quick, before I changed my mind. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Audrey. <laughs> Thanks, Deirdre. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye. Oh, dear. Do you know, I do a very good throat massage. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not right. coming it out for you, yeah. Well, that's it. Just washed my last customer and swept my last floor. I'm free. I'm just going to nip into town and pay for my flight. Oh, Kirk, if me and mum ask what I want from the leaving present, tell her I need another old doll. Yeah, you might not when you see what these two have bought. Nice one. It's all money in the bank, isn't it? <laughs> I remember her getting this console. She had to muck out kennels for three months so before my dad had cough up. 25 quid. Way! Hey, and the games, don't forget. How much did you give her for them? 30 quid. Two quid a piece. Hey, how jammy is that? Nice to know you're going to miss her. Well, I'll miss her all right. Oh, me and all. Tell you, I am looking on these clothes as souvenirs, a tribute. Pull the other one. No, she's right. I mean, what's Les got to remind him of your Leanne? A photo he forgets to dust. Yeah, and the memories in his head. Well, I don't need memories. I've got Lara Croft. Every time she blasts someone into oblivion, I'll think of our Maria. Oh, that's dead sweet, is that? Oh, am I glad to see you? Yeah, look, I can't stop, but I've, uh, I've just had a bit of really good news. Oh, look you. Yeah, an old mate of mine just rang Kieran. He was a chef when I was on the subs, and he's a top fella. He's got a few weeks' leave, and guess what he wants to do? He wants to come and meet the new love of my life. Me? No, Ailey Cropper. Yes, you, of course, you. Well, how did you find out about us? Oh, well, there's a woman this time, Peter Barlow. <laughs> Word gets back then last, doesn't it? Mm. Look, so I said, look, you know, if you stay a few nights, that's going to be all right, isn't it? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, I'll have to blitz the flat. When's he coming? Oh, he's coming tonight. I said I'd have to go and meet him off the train, like. Yeah, but you said I I'm on my own in the bar. And... Yeah, I know, love, but I couldn't just, you know, I couldn't just leave him standing at the station, could I? Look, we're going to come in, we'll have a drink, and uh, you'll be all right. You'll be fine. Yeah. Well, love is definitely in the air. We had Sally Webster in earlier. Yeah, well, love's all very well, but it's Muggins here that's picking up the slack. Listen to the Wicked Witch of the West. Oh, Rita, it is no laughing matter. I mean, Maxine's only coming back part-time. That's when she does come back. And uh, Maria's not just my junior, she's my tenant as well, so I've got two headaches. Well, surely Toya can find herself a flat, mate. Well, have the likes of Spider Watts-his-face dossing upstairs? No, thank you. That's a fine advert for the salon, isn't it, that? Anyway, no, I like Maria. She's a nice, steady girl. At least, I thought she was. Ah. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let you do two for one on cards in the window. You advertise your job, and I'll let you plug the flat for free. Oh, ho, 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 you reckless young thing. <laughs> Anybody think you were hiding? Pint, is it? Ice and a slice for them. Not Steve. Please don't ice and a slice, mate. You know how much fun I've had today at work? I mean, you wouldn't even believe. Well, let me guess. Somebody put a minimalist footprint on one of your minimalist rugs. You're going to get yourself a minimalist smack in the face in a minute. Can I tell you what my new nickname is at work? It's trailer. As in trailer trash. It's what passes for a joke in your place, is it? Oh, no, sorry, yeah, what am I saying there? Biggest joke's the prices. Followed by the manager. What's the name of this guy? Why don't you tell me? Because you spent so much time on the phone to him. You must be buzzing buddies by now. Why wouldn't you tell me that you're after a refund? Did you think I wouldn't notice when they wheeled it in? I mean, we don't even sell that many, Steve, because that's what exclusive means. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, you could have said something, because now I look stupid. Steve, they turned up in a van with a tacky old couch. Everyone thought it was mine. I didn't even know where to put my face. I mean, it, it wasn't even kids. What? Scotty green cushions, all lumpy. How went it, can you get? Well, you may not like it, but Eileen wants it back. Because at the moment, she's lounging on your couch. What? Oh, God's sake, Betty! Excuse me! Betty! Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought I'd in the back of this place. Oh, Betty, you won't believe what a hole you're getting Ooh. me out of. You are a gorgeous, fabulous woman, and I will Ooh. make it up to you, I promise. A favour, you say? Um, well, two, actually. Oh, well, that's uh, fried food. What are you, me doctor? 
No, it's just that you're eating fried food on my sofa. I'm eating it off a plate, actually. Mm. Oh, uh, did you want something, Karen? Yeah. I, uh, I want my designer one-off out of your house before it ends up swimming in lager and grease. Do you know you're a loss to the diplomatic corps? Did you know that? Feet. All right, keep your wig on. Have you any idea how much this sofa cost? Uh, 250 No, should we try uh, 2050 because then we might be slightly nearer the mark. What for that? Do you know, if there is so much as a smudge on this... Look, point taken, you can go now. When I get my sofa back unmarked, you can get your poncy sofa back unmarked. It's that simple. Now, if you don't mind, I'm trying to eat my tea. Can we not just, uh, maybe shove a sheet? Karen! Oh, there's going to be a vanity first thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she's dragged you out of retirement. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, mind you. It is lovely to see you back behind that bar. Yeah, she's got herself in a real flat. Yeah, all the same. Yes, but I mean, there's Gina walking out and then there's this visitor, Peters. Oh, it's all happening. Yeah. Who's this visitor? Um, Kieran something. I think an old pal from the Navy. What, do you think he's going to be checking for dust or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. How's it been? Well, I mean, I've had to turn two coach parties away. Yeah, they thought they were walking into a time war. Yeah, they behave yourself, so it's been quiet. Oh, steady. I've not had much chance, though, to do your cooking, so I'll start it now, if you like. Oh, if you don't mind, Oh, right. It. I believe you've got a company. Yeah, only my busiest day of the year. Oh, typical Peter. Do you know this Karen fella? He seems like quite a character. But I've had to get Betty to do me a chilli. I've got no time for cooking, you see. I want you to feel welcome. Do one for me while you're at it, will you? <laughs> Oh, you know what? She's been a doll. I don't know what I'd do without her. Oh, it's nice to feel useful once in a while, you know. Actually, oh. you could make it twice in a while if you like. I've got no cover for Gina yet, and I've got four shifts to cover this week. Shelley, she is retired, remember? Right. You'll do it? Yeah. Oh, Betty, you are a saint. Yeah. I like to think so, myself. Oh, I, uh... Oh, pull the chair. It's nearly done. What's all this? Don't ask me to pronounce it. It's, uh... Well, Quebec pie to me and you, and uh, there's pancakes with maple syrup for afters. Wow. I tell you, I'm choked. We haven't tasted it yet. No, look. I had the chance to travel the world with Spider, and I bottled it. It didn't feel right at the time. There's been a few times when I've regretted it. Maybe I were a bit jealous. No, not you. I still don't trust Nick, yeah. but well, you do, and that's what counts. And I do think you're brilliant for going. It's going to be the biggest adventure in my life. So good luck, and give him hell. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Betty. Okay. Hey, Gina's aged. <laughs> Betty, that must be the shortest retirement in history. Yeah. Two pints, is it? Oh, yeah. Go on, then. Oh. Well, lost your technique, eh? Oh, no. Scotch and fresh, is it, Fred? How are we doing? Keeping our heads above water, are we? Oh, we're doing more than that. Hello, Fred. Hiya. Betty! Watch, watch, watch. Excuse me a minute, love. I've got some customers to serve. Well, I couldn't get Gina back, and Betty knows the rope. She's really good, and it's only temporary. It's a better be. She looks jiggered, poor soul. Betty, love, yes. you're a jewel among women. I say a jewel, and I thank you very much. But you get off home and put your feet up and grab your handbag. I'll drive you myself. Right. I'll have a word with you in a minute. Did you get any holidays this year? Huh? At elevations, you get time off. I do with a break. I heard Jason's into uh, bikes and stuff, in and all. If he gets one spot of oil on them cushions... I'll... For crying out loud! Will you give it a rest? Should have taken a hacksaw that flipping couch when I had the chance. <laughs> well, marry Bliss, eh? You'd have it. Mm. Mm. See you later. All right, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Here she is, my one and only, there's a light of my life, Shelley Unwin. Shell, this is my mate, Kieran McCarthy. Hi. Shelley, good to meet you. Oh. Yeah, he's Welsh, in case you've not guessed. Oh, uh, that's all very formal. I never kiss on the first night. <laughs> Will you take a drink with us? Oh, well, I get these on no, the house. No, no, you won't. Don't, look, don't, don't protest too much, mate. You know, the night is yet young. Two points of anger, then. 
Oh, do you not drink the black stuff? Oh, I don't even know all the words that Paddy McGinn these goes. <laughs> Can you take a seat with us? Oh, um, I can't. I'm on my own, you see. Uh... Oh, come on, show us Fred. Come get him off his big fat backside. Shh. Look, later. Go on, sit down. I'll bring the drinks over. Is that Sophie? Yeah. What does she want? Drink of water. Oh. I suppose it's a novelty having you on tap. <laughs> on tap. Quite with her for you. <laughs> Cheeky. You look done in. Yeah, I am. Don't know why. Hey, if you want to, um, I can always take this next door if you want to go to bed, just tell me. Fine. No cup of coffee? Yeah. Come on. What? I'm not wasting money sitting in a pub in silence. We can do that at home for free. Come on. Come on. Oh. Right. <laughs> and then there's this other time, right? He spiked the petty officer's dinner. Don't listen to him. Yeah. All these public school boys, right, all loved up, all hugging each other. <laughs> a drop of brandy in the trifle. He makes these stories up. It's more interesting than my recipe for cheesy scrambled eggs. <laughs> oh, did you like your chilli, by the way? Oh, no, we never went home, love, because Kieran said he was starving, so we just stopped off at the Indian like, you know, I'll have it for breakfast. Oh, it don't matter. Shop! Oh, I best get back. I wouldn't think this was a pub, would you? You'd die of thirst in here. Gina, don't be like this. Like what? Come back. I'm sure we can sort things out. Oh, is that an apology, Fred? It's more than I've had off your manager. Ah, uh, don't rise to it. I'll tell you what, we'll call it an holiday. Take a couple of days off. I came in to ask if you could give me a reference. I've uh, got a couple of interviews. Let's see. Well, I suppose I'll have to. You are entitled to a break. Let him deal with you. You sit down. He gets his money's worth from you. Would you keep your voice down? It's true, love. You work your rocks off for that fella. It is not much to ask. So I don't want any fuss. We're in the way here, man. No, no, you're not. No, it's fine. Look, Shell, you've got to learn to stand up to these sort of people, because if you don't, I'll stand up to him. Peter, you make your mind up, will you? Shelley, when you've a minute... I'll catch up with you later. Lipstick. 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 It's a dishwasher, Fred. It's been playing up all week. Cheerio. <laughs> Lap dancing in Weatherfield. Well, actually, very nice to mention. <laughs> and the optics, the brandy and the vodka. I can manage, Fred, all right! I'll leave you to it. I'm sure I can keep myself under wrap. <laughs> Do you want some tea? Please. Sorry about the mess. Hey, there's only one tidy freak lives here, and it's not me. <laughs> so what's up? You still fretting about work? <sighs> Is it that obvious? Two good-looking women in the one bar. It was bound to end in tears. Yeah, well, it won't be me doing the crying. Quite right, you're still the boss. <gasps> I'll make us a cup of tea, love, will you? Still with us, then? Oh, yeah. Hey, we can still have a run of Sean Lift to tell the tale, eh, mate? I tell you what, why don't you help me make some breakfast and then we'll leave Kim so we can have some privacy? Shell, love, this man has fried 400 eggs in a force-eight gale. Now, mate, tell her how many ended up on the floor. Stop, you're making me blush. Mm, none. I mean, you know, we didn't feel like eating them, love, but my point is this, we can look after ourselves. Thanks. Right, I'll uh, get on then. And uh, don't you go worrying about Gina. She'll have a grovelling back before you know it. Oof. I'll have a shower if you don't mind. Oh. Uh, you've been through the book. You know what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good day off. What were you moping about? Your mind's not on the job. Well, it's on the job, all right. It's everything else I don't want to think about. Look, don't write yourself off just yet, mate. Maria's done that for me. In 24 hours, she's going to be gone forever. No, you don't know that for sure. Yeah, I do. Oh, so couples never split up. She might get homesick. Look, have a bit of faith. You don't know how things are going to turn out. Like you and Sally, you mean? Yeah. I mean, how likely did that seem a couple of months ago? Well, more likely than me and Maria. Sally's only over the road. Maria's going to be halfway around the world. Oh, I am Mrs Sutherland. No, you've just missed her. Yeah, I will do. All right, chop. 
looking for the right cow, don't you? You are going to see him again before you leave. Yeah, of course I am. I just don't want to get upset again. Look, I've just got one more thing to say. If you do change your mind, it doesn't matter if you're just about to step on the plane, then... Well, just promise me you'll do what you feel is right. I am. No one will think any less of you. I don't care what people think. I want to be with Nick and that's all that matters. <laughs> Sorry to barge in. Uh, oh, how are you feeling, sweetheart? Butterfly. Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Just come to look around my new home. <laughs> I don't think so. Look, Audrey, I don't know what she's told you, but I never said she could move in. No, Audrey did. Uh, come on, eh, because you're going to have an empty room by tomorrow, and you two have been on holiday together. Not by choice, Audrey. Audrey, you can't do this. Toya, you should be thanking me, unless you want to pick up Maria's half of the rent. I reckon if the pair of you rub along, you'll have the time of your lives. Yeah, I know I will. Try stopping me. <laughs> <laughs> you see? I've spent my entire writing career trying to engage readers' minds. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean you can't get their emotions going. You've never tried. Oh, thank you, Mother. You must have filled that bath right to the brim. Didn't I say, Ken? The one thing I pined for when I were on my crutches was a proper soap. That doesn't mean to say you've got to use every last bit of hot water we've got. I'm going to be late. Can I have my kipper now? What are you asking me for? Well, you're doing away with all the other pleasures I've got left. I thought I'd best check. Oh, the money is certainly be useful. First on the list, a new boiler. Well, if I did it, it'd help to have a woman's perspective. This editor is offering you good money to sit at home. No boss, no customers. Well, reasonable money. Well, from this woman's perspective, I'd snatch her hand off. All right, I'll give them a ring, see if they still want me. Mm. I can put a post up in college. Yeah, she'll find someone, no problem, Audrey. But no, no student. But what am I? But Toya, I do not want a stranger in my property, right? And Fizz earns a good wage. Oh, fine, so as long as you get your money, then just stick who you want in there. She's over the moon. I can't tell her it's all off now. And anyway, she's paid her first month. And you know, Toya, there was an effort of friendliness being made up there, and quite frankly, it wasn't coming from you. So think on. Thanks for being so understanding. It's all my fault, this. No. You know what? I've been thinking about everything. And, well, I don't reckon I'd have the guts to do all this if it weren't for you. How do you mean? Well, living in my own place, learning hairdressing. Do you know, I remember you when you first came in, fresh <laughs> from the kennels. Well, I say fresh. <laughs> Nails. Oh. <laughs> Look at you now. Oh, as lovely and as elegant as Maxine. Well, as anybody, anyway. Yeah. Thanks, Audrey. Maria, love, Nick's a lovely young man, but he does best when he's got someone to show him the way, you know, and take charge from time to time. Yeah, I can do that. I don't doubt it. And, sweetheart, if ever you're homesick, you call me, OK? Because I'm not just Nick's gran, remember? I'm your friend. Thanks, Audrey. Oh, I better be going. <laughs> hiya, hiya. You've been tapping your fella for a job. Yeah, I'm taking my time, you know, seeing what's out there. Hmm. Oh, it took me by surprise, you leaving the Rovers. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have with you, but we shall. See you later. See ya. Hey! Have they uh, swapped the sofas over yet? Not unless they came down the chimney. Oh, but what am I saying? They couldn't get it up there. You'll they need it back today. Karen. Uh, well, until I get mine back, they're going to be disappointed. I'll see you later. What? A two grand sofa. And you put that on it? Uh, excuse me. I'm not the one that bought a settee twice the size of the flat. So don't even start. What? Two words. Measuring tape. Poor Tyrone. Are you sure he's going to be OK? You don't want me asking how he is every five minutes, does he? All right. Well, the first priority is Rose's new school uniform. Fine. Oh, I didn't expect you to pay for it. No problem. Well, look, here's the money I owe you for a food shop. Oh, you don't. No, Kevin. OK, but I get the uniform, OK? I thought that's what all this is about. You too, really? Hey, I hope you've got decent socks on for trying on new shoes. Yeah, yeah. What am I getting? Sorry? Well, I was just getting a new uniform. Yeah, and? Dad. Hey, another word from you and you won't be getting anything, lady. Let's see what happens when Mum's not looking. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I'll come. Come on. Get a skirt like this. Hey, that's a skirt. 
Is your Gordon know his mum's back in harness better? Oh, no, no. It's only temporary, look. Well, I've just had a letter from my son, so I've got to enjoy it over my drink. Hey, up. Here comes trouble. Hello, yeah, how are you? All right. Two points, please, yeah. Okay. Give me okay. Yeah. I told you wouldn't be too bad, eh? Yeah. All right, ladies. Yeah? Uh, Audrey, Eileen, this is uh, Kieran, he's a mate of mine from the Navy days. I, uh... Oh, pleased to meet you. You too. <laughs> if you two ladies ever seem to sit on me home, I promise to come over and keep you company. Oh, I'll do my best. <laughs> well, I don't think that's very likely. <laughs> how are you stopping? Well, you better ask, yeah. Uh, how daft do you think I am? One wrong word and your fan club here is going to lynch me. <laughs> Go on. It's lovely, bro. Oh, stuff the bro, Jack, for the rest of him. Thanks, Lord. Fuck, I say to my lads, life just ain't fair. Oh, good for yourself, Sean. Hey, you're not finished your drink? Uh, can I get you a bit of something nice to eat, love? Okay, thanks. Uh, Betty, love? Yes. When you're ready. Alright, uh, what do you want? Sorry, love. I'm busy. It's not just fizzy ones away, do you know? Look, never mind about that. Uh, you've not shared a caravan with her. Now, just listen, is Maria still at her mum's? Yeah. Why? Uh, well, did you ever say anything about Nick and another girl? What girl? I just got these in some photos from my son Stephen from Canada. Well, who is she? I don't know. I mean, what do you make of it? Are you going to tell Maria? Why? No. Well, I don't know. You've got to. If you don't, I will. Sorry, come on. It could just be a friend. Well, what does that letter say? Just that they are recent photographs. I, I wondered if you knew more of the ins and outs. What, you think Maria knows? Well, what he'd been up to, who with. I mean, things he's hardly likely to tell me. Audrey, she's given up a whole life for him. Yes, I know, I know. I'm sure there's some perfectly good explanation, but I'll ring Stephen later. Yeah, you better add. But, Toya, till I get to the truth, please. Now, not a word to Maria. Please. <laughs> Oh, Steve, Karen. Yeah. Mrs. Kieran's an uh, old mate of mine from the Navy. Hi. Nice to meet you. At uh, the Navy? Yeah, I moved over when I left school. <laughs> no, uh, not because you're Irish, mate. Uh, just because you don't seem the type. How do you mean? Uh, you know, uh, all those fellas without women. It's not right, is it? Yeah, well, he's used to it. Let's just say that I have four weeks to console myself. You're joking. He's got a woman in every postcode, this one. Oi, Shelley. You letting your Peter suck with him? If I were you, I'd get eyes in the back of my head. I'd do it fast. Talk about God's gift. Oh, baby. There's nothing wrong with a bit of charm. Why don't you ask him what his sofa's like and all? Hi, yet. Fred in. No. He's at the shop. Do you want to come through? No. Time. Well, he's the only one who can give him them references, isn't he? Oh, right. So you're not coming back, then? I assume you mean as a customer. Depends what service is like. Oh, right. Well, let's see, shall we? There's no tantrums, no go slow, so, yeah, I think we're getting on all right, thank you. You have got to be joking. Excuse me. Oh, well, no offence, Betty, but it's coming to someone when she's got to drag ex birth staff out of retirement. Hi. I'm not in a bath chair yet. Right. Usual. I get this, Betty. Oh, right. Oh, no. You're all right, love. It's a shame all talent's on the wrong side of bar, isn't it? So, is it all right then? Mum started crying again, and my dad went out to host the yard. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to miss him like mad, but if I don't do it, I'll always regret it. I know I will. Hiya. Oh, this is going to uh, What are you doing? Well, it was either way, some dinner break it rolls. I'll start moving in now. <laughs> Thinks that Marie still lives here? Yeah, not for long, though. All right, then. Well, I won't bring Rash around until she's gone. I tell you, my mum's going to be left with an empty wardrobe when I've had everything back that she's nabbed. Mm. Sorry to see you go, then. Well, she's being dead funny with me. But I said to her, I said, you want to be happy for me. This is the first day of the rest of my life. Go on, you can shove your stuff in my room now if you want. Oh, jeez. Are oh, serious? Yeah, I love the sofa. Anyway, I'll be too excited to sleep. I've got to hand it to you, Barlow, man. 
You really know how to pick the crackers. Oh, oh I think we do all right. I hope this is not a flying visit. Yes, he picks one thing, wets another, more's the pity. As I was saying, when someone gets thrown a retirement party, they should have the grace to stay retired. Oh, love, love, come on, you couldn't have handled Gina better there. You give her a chance to climb down. I don't know what kind of a reference she's going to be getting. You could not have handled it better. I'm witness to that. Yeah, but not a very reliable one. You tried to buy her a drink. Anyway, shouldn't you be at work now? Oh, yeah, well, we, uh, we thought we'd make a day of it, you know. I mean, come on, Shell, it's not very often that I take a day off, is it? Mm, all right, then. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Yeah, would I let them? What's it like back at the grindstone, Betty? Not new. I've worked, you know, since I was 14. No, we're not in a pub, surely. Oh, no, in the mill. Now, there was a place. Do you know, it was that noisy. All of us girls had to learn how to lip read. Really? Oh, yes. It's amazing how quick you get back into it, you know, after all these years. <laughs> hey, try not to get out dirty. Yeah, what? Trainers. Oh, yeah, they're great. So, uh, how long did you have to pass it for them? Miss Price wanted them. Yeah. Oh, who'd have thought it? <laughs> well, have they been? Is it sorted? Yeah, they've been. And no, is it Eck? Why? Because the job's worth. Who marched through my lounge, took one look and said it was marked. Well, how's that happened? Uh, what's going on, babe? They won't say the flaming thing. Why not? Scuffed was the word. They said they want it in showroom condition or not at all. Well, what have you done to it? Nothing! You're the ones who shoved it where it wouldn't go. Hey, there wasn't a mark on it, love. Yeah, well, there must have been. So I suggest you get onto the shop and straighten them out. Uh, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Look, we did give it a bit of welly when we tried to get it in. It was perfect! Uh, where do you think you're going? Well, show me. It's there. Yeah. I've seen it. Steve. What? Well, it wasn't there before. I mean, it's a gorgeous sofa, and you stick it in this pit, and now it's ruined. Excuse me. I don't want pain. Come again. I want my money back. <laughs> You're creasing me. Well, fine, I'll just take it myself. Don't be... Uh, uh, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Sit on the stairs? Look, just talk to your boss. And tell him what? That I lent it to some dirty cow who couldn't keep it clean? Oh, you know, working with them high-class customers has really rubbed off on you. Right, that's enough. Come on, we're going. Do you know, you have not heard the last of this. You have! Now, bog off! Listen, I'll put up a rent. We'll get back what it's worth. Well, what more do you want me to do? Well, why don't you back me up, Steve? For once in our lives, why don't you back me up? Do you know, I reckon if it weren't for Tyrone, you and me could have been mates. Yeah, I suppose we'll never know, eh, Fizz? Uh, you've not got um, Audrey's home number, have you? Uh, yeah, it's on the pad. Why, what's up? Oh, it's nothing, um, it's just about the rent. Yeah, right. What have you two got up your sleeve? Hey, are we having a party? No. Oh, we should do summer. Well, we'll, we'll go for last orders, sir. Uh... Anyway, yeah, we're out of milk, so... Uh... So side on, I'll meet him in the Rovers. Fine. Can I release her? Five minutes. But we might do something tomorrow. What do you mean? I don't know. Go to a theme park or something. Kids would love it. Oh, yeah, they would. Hey, Kev, I, I really appreciate what you've done today. Well, won't break the bank, will it? You know, I've been trying to see it how they do. You know, Dad comes back, someone his days out, new clothes. So? Well, I just want everything to be normal. It is, Sam. Look. I think you're getting confused. It's not about splashing out. Could be signage on the red wreck or something. I won't go that far. Well, how far can I go? You tell me. Well, I could make some food and we'll go on a picnic. Oh, you sure? That's not spoiling them. Off to the pub. Go on. Go and tell the girls first. <laughs> I couldn't take a hint. I, I picked your new magazine up. It's on the bed. It's lucky I'm easily suited. Thanks. And thanks again for helping me out of a hole, Ken. Right, it's OK. Uh, I'm slightly concerned about the anonymity issue. Uh, not that I'm ashamed, but as a teacher. Ken, from this day on, you are Hermione Fairfax. Uh, look, I'll leave you to it. No, no, stay there. I'd like Deirdre's opinion, if that's OK. Of course. Right, down to brass tacks. 
Felicity is being wooed by Mr. Poor but Passionate Artist. Nicholas. While conducting a torrid clandestine affair with Miles. Manor House, Private Island, all that jazz. Now Charlie is back on the scene. He's the soldier who shared a secret passion with Felicity when he was but a humble stable boy. Dilemma, dilemma. Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I hope I don't sound like an old cynic, but I'm after more of the same. 500 words by Monday sound doable? Well, I'll try my best. And, um, well, how far should I go exactly? Well, that's up to you. But it is a bodice ripper, so we can't disappoint. Any tall, dark stranger fantasies, now might be the time to share them with Ken. Right. Better come and visit me in Canada. Yeah, you can fix me up with one of them big mounties. <laughs> Yo, when me and Nick are settled in our own place, you can all come and visit. More the merrier, eh? <laughs> Spoke to her yet? No. Well, don't you think you better go and say goodbye? Why should I? Because you'll be even more fed up with yourself if you don't. If she wants to, fine. But she can make the first move. Right, come on. It's last order's who's round, is it? Well, it's mine, but Tyrone's all there. Oh, look, I'll go. Hey, sorry. Hiya. Oh, you uh, can't do us a favour, can you? Uh, well, can it wait? Well, no, not really. It's just Tyrone's thinking of letting Marie go without saying goodbye. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to her. Good. Hey, make my life easier. Hey, Toya, cancel them drinks. We are going clubbing. Yeah, you're up for it, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Really, love, uh, could we have a word over at the flats? Yeah, what about? I want to stop. Has something happened? No, no, no. Could we just go now, please? Yeah. All the clubs will be blooming full by the time we get there. I don't think it's going to matter, Fizz. What about your ex? Did you ever hear from her? You, Jess? Yeah, we had her out for Sunday dinner. Not that you hold a grudge. No, I don't, actually. I mean, yeah, what she did to me, man, it hurt me and all that, but, you know, we were just kids, we were just young. But if I met her again, you know, when Shelley weren't in the picture, then who knows? Are you all right, love? Well, you two obviously are. Uh, get yourself a glass. Come have a drink. Uh, no, thanks. We've both got work in the morning. Come on, Shelley, I'll just have the one. Um, Kieran, love, I've had a pig of a day and I just want to go to bed. Better do the decent thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Shall let me just finish this, love? Well, it doesn't mean you have to come now. I'm sorry, it's my fault. No, it's, it's up to you. Look, I will come through in a minute, all right? All right, then. Night. Night. Now, um. The thing is, I've just spoken to Stephen tonight, you know, in Canada, Nick's uncle. Yeah. And, um, he tells me that Nick's living with a girl, a girl called Rachel. Since, since what? Well, apparently they've been going out for the last six months. Yeah, well, maybe she's just a friend. Uh, no, because it seems like they're set to get engaged. Yeah, well, it must be wrong. I don't think so. And apparently, Nick hasn't mentioned a word about you to him, but... Yeah, well, maybe you just don't want anyone to know yet. Well, why wouldn't he? Well, maybe this uncle of his will take it the way that you did. I don't know what you mean. He do. You always said how Nick had his own life in Canada. You never thought we were serious, oh, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. No! You've all put your heads together and thought, how can we stop her going? No. Why would I make it up when I've just moved Fizz in, eh? Oh. Well, I didn't really want to have to show you this, love. Yeah, well, she could be anyone. Yes, but she's not. She's the girl that Nick's living with. All right, so why haven't you tried stopping me going then? I don't know. That's how he is. He wants everybody to be happy. I mean... He follows his heart, lovey. How it's all going to work out, it never crosses his mind. So this is Rachel? Yes. Well, I'm meant to be going out there tomorrow. I know. Oh, God. What am I going to do? Call me. Call me. Side. Just because Audrey said he's going out with some Canadian bird, it don't mean it's true, does it? 
Yeah, you didn't see the pictures. She was all over him. Ah, I bought the camera all his lies. That's what they say, isn't it? No. Camera never lies. That's what they always say. Oh, is it? <sighs> Morning. Hiya. How did you sleep? Oh, like a lock, thanks. Your old bed's lovely and soft, isn't it? I was talking to Maria. Did you manage to get any kip? I'm waiting for the phone to ring all night. Five messages left for him. Well, it'll have been out. I mean, it, it might not mean anything. Yeah, cos it was, it was Friday night, wasn't it, after all, eh? Yeah, and now it's Saturday morning. Three o'clock Saturday morning over there. Well, there you go. And he's still not home. Well, he probably is. He, he just doesn't want to ring you that late. No, he'd ring. As far as he's concerned, I'm flying out there. Anything could have happened. No, he'd ring. He will ring. Looks like someone's making the most of the weekend. They're off on a picnic. Sally's in the shop now, stocking up on goodies. Oh, I remember days out when our Maxine was that age. My mum and dad were never really picnic people. Oh, we were. Every now and then, my husband would take us for a drive in the country. Oh, that must have been nice. Family holidays. Best days of your life. And you don't get them back, you know. I bet that's what they thought. Look, look at them now. What do you mean? OK, OK. It's no secret that Kevin and Sally were apart for years. They've only just got back together again. Oh, right. That's nice for them. It. You've got to have it. Says who? It's yours. It's come from this address. Never seen it before in my life. But we picked it up by mistake on Monday. Look, you've delivered it by mistake. It's now to do with me, so get it shifted. Look, love, my boss is on my back as it is. Not my problem, love. And now there's no need to be like that. Look, I'm all I'm trying to do. God. If you don't let us bring it in, we'll leave it out here on the pavement. What are you? A backward bailiff? Well, I'm just trying to do my job, mate. Do you know the woman that lives here? Yeah. And is that her couch? Looks like it, yeah. <laughs> well, that'll do for me. Are we? We're off. What, you're just going to leave it there? You can take it if you want. It's out of my hands now. you asleep? No. So, uh, did you have a good night? Not bad. You never stopped laughing. We were reliving old times, like, you know. Did we keep you awake? I think you kept half the street awake. And you were working this morning. You should have said something. I did. Did you? Yeah, about half two. Don't you remember? Now that you mention it, there is something coming through the fog. Oh. It's not me now. Am I out? Oh, we daft. In that case, I'll have two sugars and not too much butter on me toast. I don't want the bacon to slide off. <laughs> you got some cheek on you, you. Listen, I do myself only on totally in the nip under here. And I think that's a bit too much cheek this hour in the morning. Oh, don't know. I think I could live with that. Oh. How do you live with that? Morning. Oh, cracky night, mate. <laughs> How's your head? It's a bit delicate, but I don't think it's as bad as yours. Yeah? How's oh. it now, eh? Hey, you should be at work by now. Yeah, I know that, love. And so should I. Left, go left, Kirk. I'm going left. That's right. It's left to me. Go my left. Hang on, hang on. What now? It's snagging on the door frame. I'll have to drop it a minute, Liz. Ow! Oh, oh, sorry, Liz, was that your foot? It'll be your head in a minute. Now, come on. On the count of three. One, two, three, lift. Ah, come on, come on. What should we do now? Uh, play hide and seek if you want. Yeah, OK. Hello. What? Dad, I'm 11 years old. I'm not going to go and play hide and seek. Am I? Probably a good job, you know. I will. I'll play. Boring. You're right, it would be boring. I'd find you far too easy. No, you wouldn't. I bet I would. How much then? What is it? We're now half 12. I'll count to six then. And if we're not found you by 20 to 1, I'll give you £1.50 each. How's that? You are. Right, go on then. One. Two. Rosie, keep your eye on Sophie. Okay. Four, five, 
six. Be gone, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, ten minutes peace and quiet, eh? Best three pound I've ever spent. <laughs> Matter of, are you stuck? I just can't get into the characters. I mean, they're supposed to be slaves to their passions. So what's the problem? Well, I'm, I'm supposed to get this female protagonist to be, you know, really turned on by the hero, but all I can write is clichés. Again, it's a romantic serial for the Gazette. It doesn't have to be great literature. I know, I know, but I want you to have some spark, some originality. I mean, I want to make her passionate about this man without having to resort to ripping his shirt off, or without having to write the phrase, his heaving chest. Oh, oh, oh. I told you he'd get it in. Yeah, unless Alden beats the deck chair any day, you can never get them things up. <laughs> hey, what's the carpet? It needs watering anyway. And so do I. This is a live, a cold lager, hot sun, and a comfy couch. All we need is music. I bought some CDs off Anne Marie yesterday. I'll go and get them, eh? Why not? And on your way back, stop off the roads. What for? Crisp, nuts and pork scratchings. We'll have us a picnic! Hey! <laughs> <sighs> Think she's gonna be OK in the new school? Oh, yeah. Most of them from her class are going, which is good. And she mixes pretty well. Yeah. I think she'll be fine. Scary, though, isn't it? Yeah, the growing up, both of them. Yeah. Not too grown up to fall for the hide and seek gag, though, is she? <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, you two. I give up. Come and get your winnings. That's still one step ahead of them. Yeah, using bribery. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Do you know, you've only lived in our house for ten days and you've got the whatever bug. Excuse me. I used to see him before I moved back, you know. Drives me mad when you do that. <laughs> I don't even Yes, I did. I just couldn't find you. You're not even looking for us. Oh, whatever. Oh, did you want to go and get some time with Mum and Ron or something? Whatever. Get him some. Okay, get, <laughs> get off. Get off. Get off. Thank you. Oh. Right, done and dusted as promised. The place is spotless. You won't recognise when you get home. Oh, thanks, Kieran. You could eat your dinner off the coffee table. Who's <laughs> this? Your new cleaner. Very good rate if you're interested. It might be. Oh, I thought you'd be on the wagon today. Here is a dog. And talking about dogs. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Kicking you out if you don't behave yourself. I don't know if you're insulting me or chatting me up. I wouldn't insult you, Shell. You're one in a million. <laughs> Peter's a very lucky guy. And I just want to apologise again for last night. Oh, there's no need. I'd like to try and make it up to you. How? Wine boggles. When you go to Bellevue, the dog track. Oh. I'm at a bit of a loose end this evening. Oh, right. Do you fancy it? Um, well, I I'm working. You're the boss. Can't you get somebody to work for you? Um, well, I'm just going to go and collect some glasses. This Kaylin block, is he spoken for? Oh, why are you interested? I would kick him out of bed, would you? <laughs> right, if I wake him up, it serves him right. Do you want us to leave you alone? Yeah, if he answers. Oh, I got it. If forget his machine again, that's it. Cancel the flight. Hello? Right. Ready for the off? She's on the phone. I can see that. Um, she might not be going. Why not? Turns out Nick's been two timing her. He's got a girlfriend in Canada. You kidding? No, straight up. Looks like he's a love rat. Will you shut up? <sighs> Nick, it's me again. Please, will you give me a call as soon as you get this message? It's important. I never liked him. Fast pawns. I knew he was a waster. Yeah, well, for all I know, he might have a perfectly reasonable explanation for all this. Um, don't be defending him. Now, cancel your flight. No. Give him another half hour. Hey, Maria. If you don't go, I'll be made up. I'd miss you, you know. Cheers, Kirk. I've come for them CDs I bought off you. Where are they? It's over there. Oh, nice one. Uh, give us a shot if you do leave, by the way. If you're looking for company tonight, it's neat to set you go with you. I've got company. No, but I said I'm working. Peter isn't. Oh, you go with Peter? Yeah, look, I know it's two nights in a row, but that's why I thought a Teresa would be a great idea. But if you've got to work, you've got to work. Yeah, I've got to work, unfortunately. 
octopus. Oh, it's one we're going to Canada now. Brilliant, why not? Just found out this nip boat's got another bird over there. I knew he wasn't right for her. Yeah, me too. Oh, she must be good. Uh, six packets of salt and vinegar, four packets of salted peanuts, and two packets of pork scratchings, please. That one put a beautiful tourist on you. I know. Great, isn't it? I'll catch you later, Shell. Oh, see ya. Afternoon, ladies. Bye. Bye. Sure enough. Yeah, I think so. Hey, what's this? A penny a pint? Yeah. It's for the Rover's centenary next Sunday. A penny a pint? That's what it says. £4.40, please. Hey, what's the catch? I mean, there's got to be a catch in that right side. What? A penny a pint. There's got to be a catch. Oh, probably just be old pennies or something. Got it in one. Stupid idea, if you ask me. I think it's brilliant. How old did it have to be? Pre-decimalisation. Maria? Maria! Oh, do you want me to get it? No. Hello? Tyrone, get off the phone, will ya? Oh, I'll kill our Kirk. Does he want me to be a laughing stock? No one's laughing at you. Yes, they are. They're not. You are? You don't have to say I told you so. Oh, come on, don't give up hope. No, he's on the tip of your tongue, isn't it? Once you've spoken to him... Oh, can I? He's not at home. He's not answering his phone. I should be at the airport by now. There is no hope. I am a laughing stock. I am. I mean, I've, I've given up my job, lost my flat, sold all my stuff. I'm packed and ready to go. Meanwhile, he's just been gallivanting all night with Eskimo Nell. Oh, yeah. How could I have been so stupid? You know, if we could get our hands on some old pennies, we could get legless for now. Yeah. One of the old codgers round here must have a little stash somewhere. Excuse me. Would you mind turning the music down, please? Norris! Just the man I want to see. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Me and Kirk have been discussing the pros and cons of the euro. Really? You know, changing national currency. Kirk doesn't think he'll ever catch on, do you? No. Uh... But I was telling him what our currency was like before decimalisation. Couldn't believe it, could you, lad? No. So I was wondering if you had any old pennies I could show him. No. Sorry. Never mind. Just a fox. And Mrs. Bishop's got quite a collection, though. I love our kids when they're awake. I really love them when they're asleep. Oh, it seems a pity to wake them up. Yeah. Early night won't do them any harm, will it? They've got a bottle of wine in the fridge. If you can get them up the stairs and into bed without waking them up, we could crack it up. Sounds good to me. Did the muse call while I was at work then? What? Well, things seem to have improved. Mm -hmm. You're uh, two characters. They're slaves to their passion now, are they? Well, not yet, but they soon will be. And not a heaving chest in sight. Sorry, love, sorry, sorry, what are you saying? I was going to say, if you needed to do any research on what turns a woman on, you could do worse than interview Sunita. She's driving me mad going on about Peter's friend. I don't need to do any interviews. I've got a lifetime's research up here. Oh, well, in that case, I'll leave you to it. Maria, it's for you. Is it him? Yeah. Right, now, don't let him sweet talk, yeah? And if you need us, just shout. Yeah, all right, come on, Tess. Hello? Where have you been? No, I've missed the plane. Because I needed to ask you a question first. All right. While you was over here telling me how much you loved me, did you have another girlfriend in Canada? Yes or no, Nick? Have you been seeing someone else? <laughs> you might 
might as well come back in now. It's all over. That was quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is it that every man that was ever born is just a dirty, lying, dirty little scumbag? <laughs> oh, well. He's down the ship right, he's getting some beef. He thinks he might be in the doghouse. Oh, how did you do? We've had it back to here when it came last. Oh, um, no, not for not for that. Nah, no, uh, honestly. I'm you... not gonna take no for that. Oh, right. You watching that? No, not really. <sighs> it's killing the art of conversation. <sighs> it's the chat shows I blame. So, what do you want to talk about? You and Pete. What about us? I think it's funny. Pete, Shelley. What's funny about that? Pete Shelley, the singer. Um, never heard of him. From the Buzzcocks. What, the pop quiz? No, the band, the Manchester band. You must have heard of them. Uh, yeah, rings a bell. What do they sing? Ever fallen in love with someone you shouldn't? Grace has got this dry patch behind her knee. Have you noticed it? Yeah, she gets that from me, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> that is some inheritance, that is. I know. Some kids get what? Post jewellery, a few bob in the bank. Rosie gets a rash. <laughs> oh, it's bothering her. I know what it looks like. You know what that means, don't you? I know exactly what that means. She's only 11. Well, she can't help getting hormones. That's it. I'm going to have to get a big stick, put a rusty nail in there, and then first lad who comes knocking on the front door. <laughs> Wallop. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm still living, eh? What? Nothing. Well, I mean, do you think do you think it's too much? Do you think I should turn it down? No, no, it's fine. So, uh, does she get it together with him in the end, then? <laughs> Wait and see. Oh, come on. Oh, what do you think? Well, I think she'd find it hard to resist him. So, do you think it's OK? Well, put it this way. She fancy an early night. It's not really my type uh, give of thing. Give it a chance. You might like it. Yeah. I wonder what's taking Peter so long. It was a big queue. He could be some time. So now that I have you all to myself, I'd like to try and get to know you a bit better. What, what are you up to? Nothing. You live with me, best mate. I just think we should be getting on, that's all. Not a problem. Hey! Huh? Do you know what this always reminds me of? Fast lane, noidy, noidy. Exactly. <laughs> ever fall in love with someone, ever fall in love, in love with someone, ever fall in love. What took you so long? Oh, I've just been to get you a meal. Up. You didn't think you didn't tell you? Well, I, I'm not hungry. Oh, come on, look, look I've bought it now. Well, can't we just go to bed? There's a few cars in there. Let's have a bit of crack. Yeah, let's get... Come on, shall we? have got guests here. You know, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? I've hardly seen you for days. Well, let's stay up then, love, you know. We'll have a laugh. Well, I'd much rather go to bed. Ah, right, OK. Well, if you put it like that. Sorry, mate. You're going to have to look after yourself. Mm. Um, good night. Night, love. There you go. There you go. Chips in there, mate. What can I say? I'm irresistible. Oh, if you make too much noise, you can always turn that CD up. Day. It's us. <laughs> you know, all we've done is talk about the kids. Oh, like a proper married couple. Eh? <laughs> I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. It's getting late. Yeah. I want to go to bed. Yeah. Kevin.
Nothing. That's not what we agreed. I'm sorry. I can't believe you did that. Well, I just thought... You've ruined the whole day. I'm sorry. Is that what you had planned all along? Oh, so... Look, you was as tempted as I was, weren't you? No. It was. I could tell. Kevin, you don't know me as well as you think you do. I know you better than anyone, Sally. And you were tempted. I wasn't. Do we know how long he's staying? No, I don't know. Does it matter? Look, it's just the effect he has on you. The effect he has on me? What are you talking about? Well, drink for one thing. Oh, yeah, well, we've had a few drinks. Well, of course we have. But I tell you what, I'm not touching it today. I, I'm, I feel off. But you spend more time with him than you do with me. Well, what do you expect me to do? Leave him on his own? Anyway, you like him, don't you? Most women do. Well, yeah, yeah, he's, he's very nice. Yeah, 90% of women that I ever got off with, because I was out with him, you know. He always used to get the good-looking one. I always used to get the gronk. Oh, well, that makes me feel really special about myself, sir. No, no, until now, until now. Now I've got the good-looking one. So if he turns on his charm, you make sure you stand well back. I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Oh, morning. You're up early. Have you had breakfast? Yeah, I've had a bit. We're not all on holiday. Someone's got to work for a living. See you later. Hiya, yeah. kids. See you. What's the matter with Dad? Nothing. You've had another argument, have you? No, he just has to get off to work. You know he does. Is he coming back? Of course he's coming back. Come on, set the table. Let's have some breakfast. Audrey? Yes, love. Maria? Yes? We spent all of yesterday trying to talk to Nick. Oh, well, I tried talking to her yeah, toy. Yeah, Oh, sorry. Well, she couldn't get him. And then he rings her back and admits that what you've been telling her is true. He really does have a living girlfriend in Canada. Well, she's going to have to believe it now. Yeah, just a pity you didn't tell her in the first place, yeah. weren't it? Yes, well, uh, so she's still upset, is she? Just a bit. Mm. Which is why I've come to ask you a favour. That's me what? Well, the state she's in, all she's going to do is lie up there all day feeling sorry for herself. Hey, look at it this way, right? What if he hadn't said out? What if you'd have gone over there, all the way to Canada, and you'd have found out then? What, and that makes it all right, does it? No, but at least you know. I don't want to know. Oh, she's not right. <laughs> Look, why don't you get up and we'll go and get some breakfast? I don't want any breakfast. No! It's all right if I come in? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, mm. oh. Maria, sweetheart. Go away. She had a bit of bad news. Yeah, she knows. Yes, I know. Um... Maria, I know you've resigned from your job, my darling, but, um, well, I'm going to be run off my feet today, so I wondered if you could come and give me a hand. No. Oh, come on, Maria. Audrey really needs you. Yeah. Oh, all right, come on, Maria, because else all women in Weatherfield, they're not going to have anyone to do their hair for them, are they? They'll be freaking out. Well, uh, see you downstairs in half an hour, then. Go away. She'll be there. Oh, but, well, frankly, I don't know what I'm going to do otherwise, Toya. Oh, come on, Maria. All right, we'll count to ten. One, two... How are you this morning? Oh, OK, thanks. Look, I I've got to go. Help yourself to anything. Another long day behind the bar, is it? Yeah, well, they're all long days at the moment. <laughs> I've noticed. They seem to work every hour God sends. They did not realise you got a life outside that place. Well, it's just we're really short-staffed at the moment, and with Gina gone, it's made it worse, and there's only me. Fred who owns the place, and Betty, who's supposed to be retired. How old is Betty? Over 80. Over 80? Is she still pulling points? <laughs> is that legal? I don't know. <laughs> if it is, it shouldn't be. And that Fred, he should be looking after you, not running you into the ground. Does he not realise how fortunate he is to have a beautiful girl like you walking behind his bar? <laughs> well, he's very busy as well. I know I'd be looking after you very differently if it was my place. All right. Um, I I've got to go. Don't work too hard. I'll try. Hey, Kurt. All right. Yeah. How's, uh, how's your Maria? Don't know. I've not seen her, have I? Right. I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Here you go, boss. Oh, cheers, hi. Hey. Hiya. How are you? Fine. Hey, Sally. Do you want to drink at dinner time? Well, who's going to look after the girls if I do? No, no, forget it. Well, somebody has to. Yeah, no, yeah, of course they do. Sorry, I can't do right for doing wrong. That Norris fella said you might have some old pennies. When we see you, uh, I'm a bit of a collector. A numismatist. You what? He 
collect coins? Oh, I has to be pennies, though. Big old-fashioned ones. It's all the type of me. Oh, I do. In fact, I think I have a jar full somewhere. Would you like to come in while I have a look? Got a letter this morning. Thank you, but the post is not filled. Yeah, but you applied for another job at the moment, didn't you? Yeah, they're called as well last night and said the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I just don't get it. They're all over me at interviews. You know, yeah, they could see I've got the experience and they were sure I could do the job. Do you want me to tell you? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on, then. Oh, you're too beautiful, aren't you? You see, they're bowled over with you when they first meet you. Then afterwards, well, they get nervous. They think, how are we going to be on this one? I mean, the place will be overrun with fellas. We'll be fighting them off. Yeah, 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 whatever. I don't I need a job. All right, well, listen. I know you won't like this, but... Well, how about going back to the Rovers, eh? What, and have Shelley queening it over me? No, thank you. Yeah, but Shelley don't own the place, does she? It'd be Fred employing you. All right, listen. How about you talk to Fred first? Spell out under what conditions you'd be going back, eh? Rovers returned Fred Elliott speaking. Hi, Fred, it's Gina. Oh, hello. Um, have you got anyone to replace me yet? Well, no. Uh, only, well, you know, I've, I've had other offers, um, but I haven't said a definite yes to any of them yet. And um, I was just wondering, you know, before I did, whether whether you might be interested in having me back. Well, more than interested. Good barmaids don't go on trees, you know. Only, well, I want to know one or two things first. You know, main one being that well, I'll be working for you and, and not for Shelley. Well, of course you will. I own the place, don't I? Yeah, she thinks she does. Why don't you... Uh, 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 uh. Why, why don't you come in and we'll all have a little chat and see if we can bury us differences? Hang on a sec. He wants us to have a talk. Well, what have you got to lose? Come on. Fred? Yeah? What time should I come in, then? You uh, sure can't give you an up for them? No, I'm just pleased someone's putting them to good use. Oh, I'll do that, all right. Juice. <laughs> then you're more than welcome to them. Cheers. Bye. Hello, Emily. Hey, Lovely hello. morning, isn't it? It is. Oh, let's have a look at it. We're having us constitutional. I tell you, I can give guided tours of these streets. <laughs> Come on, oh. darling. Say hello to Emily. Hey, Tyrone. Look what I've got. A load of old pennies. I can get a pint for every one of these. Yeah, well, never mind that. I wish you'd see all upset. Am my bishop? No, she's fine. No, Maria, your sister. Oh, I don't know. She doesn't sell me out, does she? How many do you think there is? I'm going to count them. OK, Ron, mate. See ya. Joe, did you hear that? Not really, no. Ron Rafferty. Oh. Old sailor's uh, Maxfield. Yeah, I was to take me and my wife out for dinner on Wednesday. That's when I said, well, you'll have a bit of a job. Last time I heard of her, she was in Dublin. So I said, well, bring someone else. Who's the love of your life at the moment? Didn't like to tell him there wasn't anyone. <laughs> oh, I suppose I'll have to go, though. He sets a lot of store and something like this does wrong. Well, that's no problem. Sewing room in there. You can take your pick, can't you? You've got to be joking. I want someone who can use a knife and fork. Oh, I think Janice can. What, to pick her teeth with? <laughs> No, I want someone who won't get legless and show me up. But who can talk and not show herself up. So, uh, on office then? No. Not any of them. Two white wines and soda, Shelley, please. OK, Audrey. Hey, how you doing, Maria? Oh, Fizz, that's nice. Uh, she's done very well, haven't you, love? Her? She's done a very good morning's work, although uh, she hasn't been very talked. Yeah, well, you just want to tell yourself he's a rat and be better off without okay, him. Well, thank you, Fizz. Come on, be fair. There's always two sides to every story, isn't there? So what's this side, then? Yeah. Well, maybe he just didn't get a chance to explain properly, Maria. What, didn't get a chance to tell me he had another girlfriend? How long does that take, Audrey? Mm. Long time when you're a rat. Three twenty, please. Well, thanks, Shelley. Thank you. Thank you. Shelley, love, can I have a word? Somehow we need to get us this together about. Fred, I've got a bar full there. I haven't got time to catch my breath. Well, at your earliest convenience, mind. Oh, whenever that's going to be. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you. Yes, Mike. Uh, last scotch pint a bit, please. Then. Right. Pay for these, will you? I want to go over this lady here. Audrey. Don't put on, Mike. Uh, I want to ask you a favour. 
brings in on. Yes. Well, I've been in Von Dandy, you know, and I need an elegant, civilized companion. I wondered if you fancied it. Oh, well, that's very flattering. I take that as a yes. Yes, yes, all right. But come on, you better tell me so much about it. Well, it's the best prop, John. Oh, well, I know you have to talk a bit of business, but I mean, all you've got to do is stand there and uh, enjoy it. Yeah. For a uh, Yeah, nice one. Just be a minute. Yeah, be a minute. Yes, darling. I'm um, sorry to hear about what's going on with you. Are you not? Well, no, I'm not bothered that you're not going to Canada, no, but... You must be celebrating. I bet you're dead glad, aren't you? How can it be like that when I see you in this state? I don't like seeing you upset, you know. No, all right, I believe you. So, I'm sorry for all what's going on, but I'm glad you're still going to be around. Thanks. Oh, hello. Hey, so, uh, you all set? Yeah, I think so. Hey, shall I? You all right? Fred told you I'm coming back, has he? Well, he's providing we can agree on a way things are going to be run in future. Uh, no. No, he hasn't, actually. Oh, right, well, I'm sure he will be doing. Um, is this right? Is she coming back? I told you I wanted a word. I'll tell you what, don't bother. Because if you want Gina back, then have Gina back. But me, I resign. need to make your bed. I would have done that. Yeah, that's all right. Hey, I had uh, visitors in the night. Visitors? Yeah, the kids come out to see me checking. I was still here and, and it was, why am I sleeping here and upstairs with Mummy? Well, we told them that you won't be. Yeah, I know, and I said that. And I said, anyway, it's not important where to sleep, as long as I'm around. But that's not true, is it? What? Well, if it's not important, why mention it? You're only telling me because you're open. I'll say, oh, well, if the girls are asking questions, you better move back upstairs. It's all part of this campaign you're waging. I was just saying. You think if you go on and on, you'll wear me down. Well, you won't, because all you're doing, Kevin, is making me more determined. Oh, is that right? And you know what you're doing? Making me feel like you don't want me to live here? Well, when you're like this, I don't. Right. Right, I'm off. Oh. Hang on a minute, I'm coming with you. What? You can't be opening the pub this early, surely. Oh, yeah, I've just got some stuff to do, you know. Yes, well, I've got some stuff to do, you know, so I'll see you later. Peter, please, please wait for me. All right, I'll wait for you. <laughs> but why you can't walk round the corner on your own, I've got no idea. Oh, um, are you working tonight? Uh, no. Because I thought we could take care of that for a meal. I mean, no posh, you know, just a pizza or something. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Right. right, that's me. Oh, right, we can go now, can we? Yeah, thanks for waiting. Oh, didn't seem to have a lot of choice, did I? <laughs> I think it was a bit too quick off the mark. Oh, yeah? She is. Yeah, I should have given it more thought. Mm. Yeah, yeah, of course you should. Only, uh... What, are you going to tell us what you're going on about? Well, this dinner tonight. I asked Audrey Roberts to come with me. I don't think that was such a good idea. No? No, but well, she's not exactly a bundle of laughs, is she? I should have waited. Found someone a bit more, well, exciting. <laughs> I get it. What? Well, you found someone you'd rather take, haven't you? So now you're wondering, how am I going to dump Audrey? Yeah. I am, as a matter of fact. Well, clever man like you, Mike. I'm sure you'll find a way. They've published it as I wrote it, which I suppose is a start. Have you read it, my uh, Hermione Fairfax serial? Yeah, I've read it before you sent it in. No, I mean, have you read it again in print? Do I have to? Well, I don't have to, no, but I'd like to have an unbiased reader's opinion. You're not going to get that from me, are you? I mean, I know who wrote it. Right, I'm off out now. Uh, do you want me to pick anything up? Uh, no, I think we're all right, thanks, love. Um, have you read the paper this morning, Barnes, see if you that? Oh, not yet. Why, has somebody died? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just wondered if you'd read the Hermione Fairfax series. I mean, I know that you're a great fan. Well, I am, yes. Right, well, look, I mean, I, I've finished with the paper, you know, if you'd like to read it now. I'm going out now. We'll take it with you. Oh, well, get me hands, old mucky. No, I will not. See you later. See you, love. Do you really care what she thinks? No, no, of course not. Well, 
except I suppose she is what you might call your ordinary reader. You do care. Uh, I hate to admit it, but yes, I do. Living with him. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. <gasps> what a rotten trick. Yeah, well, don't let's rush into judgment, shall we? We don't know the full circumstances. Now, anyway, what do you think of this? Because I'm being taken out tonight. This is only because it's her grandson. Yes, uh, come on, Audrey. You can't defend behaviour like that, never mind who it is. And he said he loved you. Yeah. And he wanted you to go to Canada with him. Yeah. <laughs> and all the time he's got a girlfriend over there living with him and he's just forgot to mention that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll have to just now go out for look. a bit. Maxine. <laughs> Don't blame me. It's your grandson that done that. Yes, well... Look, between you and me, Maxine, I think Nick was so overexcited at little Maria throwing herself at him that, well, he, he actually genuinely forgot that he'd got a girlfriend. Hey, what's the matter? Oh, what do you think? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, it's just that you seemed all right this morning. I thought you were getting over him. Yeah, so did I. So they started going on about it. Oh, come on. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't have minded if he'd have been honest with me and told me from the start that once she went back, I'd never see him again. Because really, that was all he expected. And so did everybody else. But no, but he had to tell me he loved me. I mean, he was the one that said it first. Oh, yeah, he would. And then he was the one who asked me to go to Canada. With my idea. Why did he have to go and do that? What I'd say, uh, because... Everything that went on between the two of you in his mum's house weren't enough for him. No? No. No, he wanted you to love him. Wanted to make you fall in love with him, because that's what makes him feel good. That's how he gets his kicks. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, Mike, hello. Oh, he gave me a shock. I thought you were, you know, some man. Well, I am. <laughs> yes. I mean, one that's on prowl. Anyway, uh, who is it you're after? Cos uh, there's only me and little Josh here. Proud parents are out. Well, actually, it's you I'm after. Would you like to be my companion at the business dinner tonight? All you've got to do is come along and look lovely, which you can't help but do. Oh! Eat, drink, and uh, I'll have you back here by midnight. What do you say? What are you doing? Uh, just Marie won't feel in too bright. Oh, is the rat still ringing you? Yeah? yeah, but I don't answer. Well, you should. You should tell him what you think. Get it off your chest. Feel a lot better. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I would. Anyway, I best be getting back. I'm meant to be working, aren't I? Oh, we'll have a drink later, yeah? Oh, yeah, we will. Yeah, OK. <laughs> um, do you know what might help this? If you moved into the storeroom so that Maria could move back into her room. Ah, uh, yeah, but then she'll be having two moves instead of one. That's not going to help her, is it? You mean you won't move? Well, no, because as well as it helping her, it's not really fair on me, is it, Toya? I mean, she's the one who can't make an egg, whether she's coming or going. I think she's had a mind made up for her, don't you, Fizz? Oi, what do you think you're doing? Oh, hiya, Mr Baldwin. Yeah, I've, I've come over all dizzy. I've had to come out for some fresh air. Ah, oh, and how are you feeling now? Yeah, I'm a bit better, thank oh, you. Oh, good, we'll get back in that factory. Now, next time you pull a stunt like this, you can have as much fresh air as you want, because you'll be out of a job. Do you understand? Yeah, there's no need to shout. Oi. Come on, let's Look, I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry we had words this morning. I was just trying to tell you something that had happened involving the girls, that's all. I wasn't trying to make a point, just trying to tell you something which had happened. It just didn't come across like that. Yeah, it always does nowadays. Everything I do, it's like it, it's under a microscope. What's he doing? Why is he saying that? What's he after? It's like I'm on some kind of trial and I keep getting it wrong. Look, I came over to say the girls have gone to Lorraine's house, so why don't you come over and have a bit of dinner with me? Oh, do you think that's a good idea? I mean, what sort of misunderstandings are we liable to get into there, then? Forget it. I'm just saying... Don't, don't bother. So what do you think, Betty? Oh. Now we're an happy trip? All fully crewed and put it together? Well, for now, how long it lasts? Just have to wait and see. I'd say I did a belting good job with them two young ladies. It could have been a very tricky situation, that. It's a very tricky situation. And I say, I think you made a mess of it. Dithering and dawdling and changing from one side to the other. Oh, that's not fair. Listen, you're very, very lucky they didn't both walk out. Everything going all right, Gina? Yeah, everything's fine. That's what we like to hear. 
Right. Now you sorted them two out, what about me? I mean, I'm only supposed to be here as a stopgap, you know. Can I go back to being, you know, retired? Hey, no. What? No. Oh, no, not just yet, Betty. I mean, we need you. We still need you. Oh, I suppose so. Short salt. <laughs> I've been foraging their pockets and taking it home. Either that or else somebody hasn't set up the bar as she should. Oh, dear. I think your happy ship has sprung a leak already. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, you okay? Yeah, well, she's behaving herself, if that's what you mean. Yeah, well, I told you, if it would have been me, I wouldn't have had her back. Peter, yeah? could you just keep your voice down, please? Oh, yeah, well, I'll stop talking altogether if you want. Uh, two pints, is it? Yes, please, yeah. Well, I've, uh, I've told you I'm going to take him out for a meal tonight. You're going to put me best suit on. You've got a suit, have you? That's a problem. So. Oh, uh, I mean, you're all right tonight, still. You're not working, are you? Uh, uh no, I don't, I don't think so. Good. Well, that's sort of that, then. <laughs> Thanks. Have you seen that poster? What's that? Penny a pint. And there was me believing Kirk, um, as he called, when he told me that he was a coin collector. Oh, I see. And do you think he just wanted the pennies to convert into pints? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? There must be dozens in that jar. There's nothing you can do about it now. Yes, there is. I mean, the least I can do is alert the management. Oh, Fred. Hey, Molly. This penny a pint you're doing. Uh, now it has to be all pennies. None of them little tiddlers you get nowadays. Oh, well, yes. But and it's a penny is... a pint of bitter, not sweet cherry. So as far as your tipple is concerned, it's the going rate. Now, I know you think that might be right fair, but what is in life these days? <laughs> I'll see you later. Well, you tried. A large scotch and a pint of bitter. Oh, oh Audrey, what can I get you? Thank you, G&T. You're very welcome. And a G&T. Just gonna have a word with Audrey. Deliver the bad news, eh? I'm glad I bumped into you, actually, because uh, something's happened. Yeah? Yeah. It's about tonight. I'm sorry, but the whole thing is off. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, he just phoned me. It's uh, something to do with one of his kids. Is he'll, uh, well, I don't know, but anyway, he's had to cancel and... I'm afraid no dinner. You win some when you lose some, uh. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I mean, I was looking forward to it. Yeah, so was I. Cheers. Cheers. So anyway, right, Mike decided to rather take this Doreen bird instead of Audrey. So now he's having to feed Audrey some cock and bull story about how the dinner's been cancelled. That's a rotten trick. Mm. I know, but Audrey will never know, will she? Well, not unless somebody tells her. Hey. Oh, it's OK. I don't know it's come from you. But what do you want to go and do that for? Well, because I'm better for being pushed around and coming off worsted and everything. So I'm a bit off work here. Might as well have a bit of fun, aren't I? Oh, what are folk going to think? What are folk? Well, then that see you going out with Mike Baldwin. Oh, what? You think there'll be crowds lining pavements? Well, what about Dad, then? I mean, what about if he hears about it? Your father will be too busy playing bedroom games with his lady friend to be concerned about what I might be getting up to. Which, and please take note, is totally innocent. I'm just Mike's companion for the evening. Hey, but Mike Baldwin, I mean, of all people, you know he's got a reputation, don't you? Well, so have I. Only mine's for being dull and dowdy and stopping at home. Mm, yeah, well, his isn't. Good. All right, I won't say anything else. Don't drink too much, that's all. And how much is that? Two glasses. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Do you want beer? I go on. Two, please. That's married life, then. Eh? Don't ask me. Whatever I've got, I won't call it a married life. Oh, I'm sorry I spoke. Oh, listen. So you everything what's been going on. You tell me what you think, OK? All right. So, uh, that phone call was from Sandy George. The editor. Yep. She's so pleased with what I did, she wants me to do it again next week. Uh, congratulations. Plus, go on. 
Sean's going to take care of the agony on column that Hermione used to do. Well, I hope he said no. I hope he said no. I'm betting he said yes. Well... I'm right. It's only until she's fit enough to do it herself again. And what does my mother think of it? Ah, uh, well, she hasn't read it yet. Not that that matters. The editor likes it. That's the main thing. Though it would be nice if Lounge sorted was a genuine article. Sim. Yeah, let me. No, you can't. Do you want me to? Yes, you want. Hello, Miss Sutherland, secretary speaking. <laughs> no, you can't. So just stop pestering her, will you? I said no. So will you just bog off and tell your rotten lies to somebody else, you two-faced lying rat? <laughs> Thank you for calling. Well, what did he say? <laughs> just so you want to speak to you. Ring him back if you want. No, no, I don't want him. Cheers, Miss. Hey, any time. OK, so what do you think I should do? Do what you said you would. What's that supposed to mean? Mm, you're not going to like this. Go on. Well, your agreement with Sally was that you moved in for the sake of the kids and so you weren't skint all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but now you've just started putting the pressure on by letting her know that you want more than that. So you're the one causing all the aggro because you're the one breaking the agreement. All right, thanks. Well, I said you wouldn't like it. Oh, so it's all my fault now. Mm, bless you. <laughs> Hey, Audrey. Hi, I'm a usual train of love place, she and say. Can I just say that I think it was a really rotten trip what Mike did to you? Sarah? You know, taking that Doreen Evie to this dinner after it has you. Doreen? No, no, you've got the wrong end of the seat, lovey. No, Mike asked me, but then the whole thing was cancelled, so nobody's gone. Oh, is that what he told you? Yes. Yeah, well, he's an even bigger liar than I took him for. Listen, you won't let on that it was me who told you the truth, will you? No, no, Gina, no. So has he really taken Doreen Eva? Definitely, yeah. How you doing? Not bad, considering. Ron, this is Doreen. Hello, Doreen. Nice to meet you. That's Ron's wife, Irene. How do you do? Irene, Doreen. We could be a double act. <gasps> <laughs> so let's have a drink, shall we? Hmm. And a look at the old me and yous. Get the hard work out of the way. <laughs> nice here, isn't it? We've always found it very pleasant. So, what are we having, then? Are in love? Just a mineral water, thank you. Doreen? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll have the same. Thank you. Look, so, Sal, I, uh, I know the last couple of days have been really hard work, and that's all been my fault. No, it has, cos... I don't need to tell you. I've just been trying to... Move us on to the next stage. And I shouldn't have done that, I'm sorry. And it won't happen again, I promise you. Kevin, I really do care for you a lot. It's just... No. I'm frightened of what we've agreed not working. Yeah, I'm so am I, which is why I keep getting it wrong. Which is why it's going to take time. Yeah. A little bit more. Thank you. So, you're not with Linda anymore, then? No. We had what you might call a terminal disagreement. In fact, she disappeared for a while. Turned up in Dublin with a new man in her life, so that was the end of that one. I'm very sorry. Ah, water under the bridge. Now, my husband, unfortunately, hasn't disappeared. No. What he's done is shacked up with a tart. As you know. In what was my house. My bed, even. Can you imagine how that makes me feel? It must be distress. It's going to be distressing for him and his wallet and all. Well, I mean, what choice have I? At my age, kicked out on my bum for a younger model. What, what would you do if Ron took a shine to some little Miss Fancy Knickers? I trust that's a problem I'll never have to face. How's business in Romeo? Can't complain. No, but if you did, you'd want to take him for every penny, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Well, why should I be any different? Indeed. Uh, do you think we're in for a recession, dear? <laughs> it's either that or I go around there with a chainsaw while they're lying in bed and cut both their heads off. What would you do, Irene? I think I'd be more likely to consult a lawyer. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> 
I mean, compared to... Uh... Uh, what are you doing for your holidays this year, eh? Have you booked anywhere yet? <laughs> is, uh, is that the Hermione Fairfax piece? How do you know? Oh, I'm, uh, I just happened to notice. Oh. So, uh, what do you think? All right, yeah. Up to standard. Well, it's only a bit of fun, isn't it? But I've got to admit, she can certainly spin out a tail. Oh, thank you. What are you thanking me for? Uh, Hermione Fairfax is a friend of his. Oh, is she? Well, tell her to keep up the good work. Oh, I'm uh, sure she will. <laughs> I weren't a bad wife. I weren't, honest. No one's saying you were. I work. always kept the house nice and clean. You could eat your dinner off it. Yeah, I'm sure you could. I used to iron his underwear. Can you believe that? I think we'd better be making tracks, mate. And you didn't go short in bedroom department. I never denied him there. It were more him denying me. We're definitely leaving. I'll get a taxi. Would you like another coffee, Doreen? Brandy would be nice. Um, I don't think this time uh, Mike's gone to call a taxi. See, I still love him. As well as hating him at the same time. Love him and hate him. You wouldn't think you could do that, would you? But I do. I love him and hate him both at the same time. Have a quick night, Cappy. Go on, then you've talked to me. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll just get off to bed. Ah, no, love, come on, just one, eh? Just a quickie, yeah. Uh, and then we're going to bed? Yeah, of course we are, yeah. She can't wait to get her hands on you, Mum. Yeah, I know, but can you blame her, eh? Wouldn't blame her at all. I think everyone was entitled to one mistake. I told her not to drink too much. Well, it's when we started talking about marriage. She got a bit upset. Oh, dear. Oh, what you must think of me. How do you feel? Humiliated. Oh, my, what have I done? Have I ruined your business? Nah, don't worry about that. I made a terrible fool of myself, Maxine. She didn't, take no notice. Do you want anything? Cup of tea? Yeah, go on then. Mike. Uh, coffee, please, if there's one. I don't know what to say. Listen, I may have joked about it tonight, but uh, when Linda disappeared, I went through a terrible time. Drunk most nights, waiting to get drunk most days. So you know what I'm saying? I do understand. You're very kind. Not usually I'm not. You ask anyone. But I do know what it's like when a marriage ends. You said just one. Yeah, well, now I'm just having another one. Well, uh, I'll say good night then. Good night. Good night, Shelley. Sweet dreams. Night. Sometimes I worry for you, pick me, boy. Oh, yeah, why is that, man? Well, what kind of put upon, downtrodden future you're setting up for yourself here? Ah, oh, well, it'll do for me. All right, I'm just going to pay a visit. Oh. Back. Yeah, to get me back. Only enough time is running out. I'm not going to be here for much longer. What a shame. Still be here tomorrow, though. So maybe we'll get some time together then, when Peter's at the boogies. We will do no such thing. You can touch me and Peter will know about it. All right. Why don't you tell him now? Just like you could have told him the other night. Except you didn't. Because there's things you don't want him to know about, aren't there? Like what me and you will be getting up to tomorrow. Day. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Thinking about Nick. No, trying to get comfy on that flipping sofa bed. <laughs> no, I was thinking about him and all, though. And I've decided. From now on, I'm just going to forget all about him. Not worth bothering about, is it? Hey, good for you. <laughs> oh, do you know, we should go out tonight and celebrate life without fellas. Yeah, all right, yeah, you're on. Uh, do you mean fizz and all? Well, I was thinking just the two of us, actually. Oh, good. I mean, she's all right. <laughs> yeah, in small doses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you know, it really gets to me thinking of her snoring away in my bed while I'm stuck in that little stock room. We should never told Audrey I was leaving now. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Mm. Do you know, it was so much better when it was just the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 
Awful. Can you hear him? I don't know how he does it. I feel like I've just had my head battered from the inside out. I feel terrible. I suppose I'm out of practice, though, eh? Oh, I don't know. You've been doing pretty well recently. Yeah, and I seem to remember you've had a few drinks yourself this week and all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I've not been getting hammered every night. That's all you seem to do since Kieran arrived. Yeah, well, we've had a few drinks. Of course we have. I mean, what do you expect us to do? Sit around talking about the old Navy days with a, a cup of tea and a Gary Baldy biscuit? Oh, no, no. Well, that'd be beneath you Navy lads, wouldn't it? All right. What's up? What, are you not happy about him staying here? No. No, it's not that. I just would like us to spend a bit more time together, that's all. Bathroom's free. Hey. If anybody'd like it. I didn't interrupt anything, did I? Oh, no, mate, it's just, uh, she's just giving me a hard time about the boozing, you know. Oh, right, that's what I meant for you. You want to be careful, though, she'll be checking your cholesterol levels next. Mm-hmm. Where it's time. Alright. <laughs> hey, listen, mate, I've been thinking, and I reckon it's only fair you should have your old broom back. Hey? Yeah, because if it hadn't been for that Nick Tilsley, hey, you'd still have it, wouldn't you? It's not really fair you're losing that as well as him. Yeah, but you did get it fair and square, so. Hey, just take it, will you, before she changes her mind? <laughs> yeah, well, well, if you're sure. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> oh, alright then. Cheers, Fizz. Oh. <laughs> hey, you at the cafe today? Yeah. I might see you in the Rovers then at lunchtime. Mm. Oh, yeah, I might pop in and all. <laughs> oh, is there any chance you could do my hair for me after college? Yeah, of course I can. Why are you going out? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you should go somewhere. Jay up a bit. Actually, Fizz, I'm going out with Toya. Oh, I see. And you are an all. <laughs> Girls' night out, remember? All right, yeah, cool. <laughs> You've been here a third of this pub's life. Oh. And we should make so much of that. No, I'd rather not, thank you. No, no, you could be like one of them May Queens, you know, mm -hmm. with a sash across your, um, uh, with a sash with a uh, hundred year anniversary on. Oh, yeah. You could be the symbol of this pub's longevity. I'm being a symbol of nothing, thank you very much. You'll have me jumping out of a cake next. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's a big thing, oh, the right Rover's yeah. anniversary. You've got to make so much of it. What do you say, Shelley? Oh, don't drag me into it. Oh, it's tea stewed. I don't know. You try to drum up a bit of enthusiasm and that's all the thanks you get. Mm. You're turning down the offer of a lifetime, eh? A pint at less than half price. Look, I've got better things to do with my Sunday. Like right, what? Like, spend the day with my family. Sad on. Oh! Hiya, Audrey! Hi, Dory. <laughs> Did you do anything wonderful last night? I did, actually, yeah. Mike took me to this dead posh restaurant to make up a foursome. Oh, the food were out of this world. Oh, thank you very much, when you've quite finished rubbing it in. Sorry. Deary me. You've only been spit up from your derrick five minutes and you're already looking for another man to fill his shoes. I beg your pardon. Oh, <laughs> you don't fool me, later. I mean, why else would you muscle in on my invitation? Your invitation? Oh, Doreen. Stop playing all innocent. You know very well Mike asked me to go to that, too. How did you get him to change his mind, eh? Did you flutter those eyelashes and promise him pudding? I did no such thing. Oh, do, 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 do. save your breath. I just hope the poor man knows what he's led himself in for. <laughs> You know, Betty. Oh. I'm glad we got your hot pot back. <laughs> oh, yes, we've missed your culinary expertise. We have that. I say we have that. Come in handy next Sunday. No, it won't. I've told you, I am not doing the catering. Well, no, not all of it, no. Pat and Gina and Shelley could give us a hand. Uh, no, they can't, because they'll be too busy behind this bar. You know, sometimes I think I'm a one man band. Trying to crash the cymbals and beat the drum both at the same time. Well, talking to one-man bands, there's no way I'm coping in here tonight. On my own, with Gina off. You won't have to. Shelley's here. Oh, no, she's not. She's off at six. Are you going to have to fill in yourself? I'd be happy to. We're a team, aren't we? Mm. And what kind of a team is it? 
when you can't help each other out. Oh, go on, then. No, fancy, mind. And I'm not doing any of them fiddly things on sticks. Certainly not. Come on. I mean, it's bad enough having to live with her, without her trying to muscle in on our nights out and all. I'm sorry. I just felt well mean after she'd offered me my room back. Hey, actually, you don't think she heard us talking, do you? Only it does seem a bit of a coincidence, doesn't it? Of course she did. She probably heard we were planning to go out and all. I mean, why else would she try and get in our good books? What, so you reckon she did all that just to get in on it? Well, I won't put it past her. Hmm. Won't feel right, fool, now. Mind you, I don't mind putting up with her for one night if it means I get my room back. <laughs> yes, yeah, Bose. Just as long as she doesn't go making a habit of it. Oh, no! <laughs> what can I get you? Uh, lemonade. Lemonade? Yes, yeah. Okay. Hiya. Look, I'm sorry about no, this morning. No, it's my fault. But you're absolutely right, I have. I've, I've been neglecting you a bit recently. Oh, no, you haven't. Yeah, I have. But, you know, it's just, you know, I don't know when I'm going to get to see Kieran again, so, you know, I just want to make the best of it, that's all. Means a lot to you, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, he's, he's my best mate. You know, we go back a long way. But I know it can't be very interesting for you listening to us droning on about the Navy days, so tonight, I promise you, we're going to stay off the subject and I'm going to stay off the booze and all, because you're right, I've been hammering it a bit. Look, it, it's like you just said. It's only while he's here. I mean, he'll be gone tomorrow. Yeah, um... What? Well, he's just asked me if he can, you know, stay for a little bit longer. But I, I know it's only a small flat shell, though, but, you know, it's, it is only for just a few more days. And when he's gone, I'm going to make it up to you, I promise, all right? I don't know, maybe we can even go away somewhere together. How about that? What do you think? Yeah. Oh. Of course he can stay. Great stuff. Thanks, love. Have a pipe. Thank you. Thanks, Laura. That's great. Oh, hi. Has your head recovered after last night? I'm not too sure mine has. Good. Hey? I've just had to put up with a right mouthful from Audrey Roberts. Only she seems to think it should have been her at that meal, not me. Ah, um... So it's true. You invited her first. Uh, well, uh, sure. And then you dumped her in favour of me. Well, you should be flattered. Well, I'm not. Do you realise what an embarrassing situation you've put me in? She only reckons I engineered it. Before you know it, she'll have the old street thinking I'm some sort of man-hunter. No. No, of course she won't. No. No, you're right. Cos you're gonna go round and see her before she does. I'm not taking the blame for your antics. Excuse me. You don't happen to want to buy some more pennies, do you? Uh, Mr. Baldwin! Not now. Hey, Sunita, you've heard about this Rovers, do haven't you? Yeah, why? Well, it's what, it's what I've got them some of these. Hiya! Oh, right. it, it doesn't matter. You all right? Uh, yeah, fine. No, no, I'm not all right, actually. Why? What's happened? It's Kieran. He keeps trying it on when Peter's not around. You what? You know, flirting and stuff, making suggestions. Last night. He goes and makes a pass at me. That's awful. What did you do? Wash off to bed quick. I mean, what is it about fellas, eh? It's like the pub. You give them one friendly smile, they think you're up for it. Well, I told him to cut it out, but paid no attention. I don't know what to do. Well, there's only one thing you can do. Tell Peter. I can't. Well, why not? Well, the best mates, aren't they? I don't want to mess it up for him. It's not you'll be messing things up, it's Kieran. Anyway, Peter ought to know what his so-called mate gets up to behind his back. You've got to tell him, Shell. The sooner the better. So how are you feeling after nicking everything? Oh, I'm coping, you know. Anyway, he's banned from conversation tonight, any Maria? Yeah. Never existed as far as I'm concerned. Oh, good, you're still here. Um, have you got any of that spray glitter stuff? Uh, yeah, I think there's some over there. We've got some different colours. Oh, great. Uh, excuse me, I hope you're going to pay for that, young lady. Oh, yeah, just add it to me rent. So, should we go into town, then? Yeah, all right, I suppose so. Well, we could have a couple in the Rovers first, you know, get us in the mood. Mm -hmm. OK, then we can make the clubs. Oh, I used to go to the Hacienda. It's been shut for yonks. Yeah, I know. It feels like the last time I went clubbing. Right, well, I'm off, ladies. Now, just make sure that you lock up when you've done. Yeah, 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 I know. Here, I'll tell you what, why don't we go to Canal Street? <laughs> then we can have, right, a good dance and a laugh, cos, uh, well, none of the fellas there are going to be interested in us, are they? Yeah, good idea. Uh, hey, you two might be off, fellas, but I'm not. No, I'm going to bag myself something sexy tonight. 
six foot blonde hex to die for. Yeah, that'll do me. Hey, something a bit like your Nick. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Audrey, wait. I think I owe you an apology. Yes, I think you do. I'm sorry about the mix-up. Mix-up? Mike, it was a downright lie. If you'd wanted to take... Doreen Heavey, why didn't you just say so? Because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, Mike. I was doing this as a favour to a friend, that's all. I mean, I'm hardly likely to get upset if someone else volunteers who's good. Well, how shall I put it? More to offer you. Oh, no, no, no. There was nothing like that in it. She didn't volunteer. I asked her. You what? Well, I was feeling sorry for her. She's had a very rough time recently, what with her old man and everything, and I just wanted to cheer her up. But I don't think it worked. I mean, at one point she was in tears. I think she's still feeling a little bit fragile, to tell you the truth. Oh, no, really? Yeah. So, am I forgiven? Mike, if anything, it makes it worse. Oh, dearie me. Do you know, if only you'd been straight with me in the first place, Mike, none of this would have happened. The gin tea better enough, please. In fact, make it a large one. All right. Are you? Are you? Quite the lager, please. And one for yourself. No, thanks. You all right? What do you think? I don't know. It just seems a bit strange. Is it any wonder? Look, if you're going to stay with us any longer, I don't want any more of what happened last night, all right? Last night? Oh, Dad. That's the trouble with you English, you think everything's so serious. I was only testing you out. Seeing if you'd fall for my rubbish charms. But I have to say, you pass with flying colours. Peter's a very lucky man. You look as if you needed that. I do, as a matter of fact, Fred. Ah, uh, so do I. <laughs> There's no better after a long day's hard graft. Ah, Shelley. No, well, yours will have to wait. This customer won't serve you, I'm off. Hi. Oh, oh. Oh, no, you've caught me. <laughs> hey, I'm only kidding. No, I'm just going to have an orange juice and then we'll be straight back. Yeah, there's no rush. No, hey, I mean it. And, and you don't do any cooking. You put your feet up, I will sort it, OK? You are. Yeah. Hey, did you sort things out with Kev? Yeah, things are a lot better. Thanks for the chat the other day. Oh, give over. Do you know, I'm happy to have the girls again if you ever want to go out sometime. Hey, what is this relate? No, don't be daft. I'm not trying to set you up. It's just that, well, if you're back to being mates, it's not wrong with you having a night out together. Yeah, well, thanks for the offer, but I think it's a bit early for all that yet. I don't want Kevin thinking it's some sort of date. Oh, well. Hey, have you seen this? I mean, what a waste of time. I mean, Fred knows full well that none of us have got any. Ah! Well, that's where you're wrong, see? Hiya! Hiya, love. Have you told him yet? No, and I'm not going to either. You what? I've just seen Kieran, and according to him, he was just testing me out. Said he didn't mean anything by it. Testing you out? Mm. Seeing if I was good enough for his mate, I suppose. Cheeky beggar! Mm. I bet he's just saying that to save face because he's finally realised you're not interested. Maybe, but to be honest, I don't care. As long as it's all stopped. I'll tell you what, though, I'll be glad when he's gone. Well, would you look at that? Like a ray of sunshine bursting through the door. <laughs> and just in time. What will you have, ladies? Oh, no, it's all right, Tal. Uh, vodka and orange is all round, thank you. Coming up. Uh, we'll make that one without vodka, then, because she's underage. Ah, oh, that's a pity. <coughs> and a short for you, my friend? Oh, no, mate, no. I'm going to stick to my orange juice, thanks. <coughs> this guy has forgotten what it's like to have a good time. Come on and join us, and we'll try and remind them. Uh, what happened to no fellas? Yeah, well, it doesn't mean we have to say no to free drinks, does it? Mm -hmm. Just going to the loo. You're looking more cheerful. Yeah, well, you can't spend your life moping, can you? Exactly. Anyway, you're better off without him. Mm, should have learnt my lesson after you, eh? Hey, at least I wasn't just using you. Yeah, I know. In fact, compared to him, you're a saint. Cheers. Yeah. Now, oh. sup up and make room for that, my friend. Ah, uh, no, it's a nice try, though, mate, but I told Shelley we'd get back. Yeah. I thought you left the Navy because you didn't like taking orders. Hmm. I did. But Shell's a lot better looking than our officers were, you know. And so are these ladies. Shame you had to go and get yourself tied down. We could have accompanied them in the town tonight, just like old times, eh? Oh, dear. I've just saved you from a fate worse than death, believe me. Well, I don't think you'd be interested in where we're going, anyway. I would. Right, hey, no, come on, you. Oh, look, cheers. See ya. Yeah. So, uh, we're 
What's happening at this do on Sunday, then? See, Betty? Well, At least someone's interested. Yeah, there's quite a few of us are, actually. Well, Betty's going to make a bit of food. Oh, nothing special, you know. Usual hot pot, a few sandwiches, that's as far as I can go. And then up, there'll be a bit of music and a few decorations. Oh, we should have a bit of a sing-song, you know, like they did in the old days. That's not a bad idea. Down at the old bull and bush, that's all you think. <laughs> Mind you, Fred, I'm not sure about this old penny for a pint thing. I mean, where's anybody going to find any? Well, I don't know. Down the back of sofas, or in that box where you keep all the fluff and those buttons you've always meant to sew on. Oh, go find them somewhere. Oh, well, up and you're right. Hey. Are you? Well, where's Peter? He's getting the takeaway. Oh, right. Should have known that's why I didn't buy sorting the food out. I said I'd come back and keep you company. Uh, right, I'll get the plates, uh, but... Look, no rush. Uh, let's just sit and chat. Look, let's just put the last few days behind us. Pretend we've just met. I don't bite, you know. Oh, no wonder you were mad. What was he playing at? Oh, I don't know. I don't suppose he meant any harm by it. In fact, I expect he was trying to save both our feelings, you know? <laughs> Men, uh, they always end up making a right pig's ear of things. Yes. <laughs> oh, Betty, thank you. You have to feel sorry for him, really, you don't do. you? I don't <laughs> get it. Thanks. You saw loads and I've hardly sold, didn't it? Is it my face or what? <laughs> Doesn't help. Nah, you've got to have the gift of the gab, haven't you, mate? And I've got more experience than you. Never mind, though. It's all the more for us to sup, eh? Hey, I bought some pennies off of Les earlier. I can't wait to wipe the smile off of Fred Elliott's face. <laughs> yeah, Kirk offered me some. I turned him down. Well, you could come if you want, Kevin. I'll look after the kids. That nah, wouldn't be very fair, would it? Emma's not working on Sunday. We could come if we could get a babysitter. Well, that's a shame. We've not got a babysitter. We could have come too. I don't actually think that it matters. <laughs> Look at him, poor lad. Do you think we should put him out of his misery? No! No, I think we should let him sweat for a bit first. Ladies? Mm -hmm. I uh, don't suppose I can buy you a better drink. What do you reckon, darling? Well, I suppose it's a start of sorts. Mm -hmm. Good. Two more gin and tonics, is it? Okay. How long should we hold out? Oh. Till last orders, definitely. <laughs> Good. Blue. Right, we're off. Mm. Yeah, right. Oh, oh lambs beware. This is here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Reed, when I speak it over to Dublin, you'd love it. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. <laughs> what? You don't like it, do you? I'm gonna get a taste of your own medicine. What are you talking about? I saw your face at lunchtime, when you thought I'd lost the interest. Admit it, you were disappointed. You are? I think it's time we stop playing games, don't you? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Go, 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 How could you do that to me, though, Nick? Mate, I know everyone's been telling you stuff, but you just can't believe What's our Nick doing back here? Uh, Best asking him later, don't you think? Looks like he's a bit occupied right now. I thought that rat had gone back to his sewer. So did I. First he messes up my layout. Now he's doing the same to that poor girl. Yeah, well, he better not, or else I'll lamp him. Me and all. Maria, we can't leave it like this. You won't even return my phone calls. Can you blame me? No. But you haven't heard my side of the story. And what's that? You didn't know you were living with someone. You just forgot. Listen, Maria, I've been on a plane for 11 hours. I've flown halfway across the world just to have five minutes alone with you. There's not too much to ask, is it? What? So you can twist me around your little finger again? I don't think so, Nick. Oh, come on, you two. Oh, we're still going clubbing, though, aren't we? Oh, shut up, face. Look, I'm sorry, I just misread the signals. I didn't give you any signals, pal! I thought you were playing hard to get. I want you to pack your bags and I want you to get out! Hey, don't! Don't come near me. Do you not think you're overreacting? Go on, get out! I'm not going anywhere. Right! OK, we'll wait till Peter comes back, eh? And he can shoot you out himself! You won't tell him. You've had plenty of chances. 
Well, maybe this time I'm not going to be so stupid, eh? Let's show Peter what you're really like. Who do you think you are? You're nothing special. You're just some girl he's with at the moment. I'm his mate. We go back years. If you think he's kicking me out, you're wrong. Really? Really. Especially when I tell him that it was you that made the pass at me. What? And you think he's going to believe that? Oh, yeah. You think you know him, don't you? But let me tell you something about Peter. I was there when he met and married Jessica. I saw how totally in love he was with that woman. And then he found her in bed with somebody else. I've never seen a man so gutted. He came and stayed at my place. I sat up with him night after night until he cried her out of his system. Yeah, and what's that got to do with anything? Don't tell me you haven't noticed how jealous he is. He was telling me how he felt about that Dougie fella. What? Oh, yeah. He tells me everything. That's how close we are. He trusts me, you see. Whereas he hasn't trusted any woman since Jessica. He keeps expecting him to do the dirty on him. So when I tell him that you have, it won't come as any surprise, will it? Look, if you want to risk losing him, then good, go ahead. We'll see who he believes. Is that OK? He wants to be a bit more to your right. Oh, that bunting seen better days. Oh, it were in the cellar. I Haven't mean, it's been there since 1902. How does it make you feel, owning an antique? Proud, I said proud. If this pub has stood here for a hundred years, I see no reason why I shouldn't live just as long. Is this all right? Because I don't think I can hold it up much longer. Champion, here's the hammer. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. I'm going right. to go and catch up on this scandal. Ah, ah. She doesn't want to see you. Five minutes, Toya, that's all I need. She's not interested. Look, I've flown all the way from Canada. So? Fly all the way back? Maria! Nick, she means it. What is it with you, eh? Can't you see you've really hurt her? I love her, Toya. No, you don't. No, the only person you love is yourself. Do you know, I was starting to believe all that stuff you were telling Maria. I thought you'd grown up and that perhaps you could make her happy. And all the time you're living with a girlfriend in Canada. It wasn't like that. It was exactly like that. So go back to Canada, Nick, cos you're not wanted round here. I'm not going anywhere, Maria. Would you stay down here till you come and talk to me? I mean it, Maria! It's Peter. I've left the money on the top. Thanks. You all right? Well, I didn't get much sleep last night. Kieran's made another pass at me. No! Yeah, but this time, he said that if I told Peter, he'd say that I came onto him. Peter wouldn't believe him, wouldn't he? Well, I don't know. I mean, they've been best friends for years and we've only been going out a few months. Yeah, but Peter loves you. Well, I think I'm best keeping it to myself from now on. I mean, Kieran will be gone in a few days. I'll just keep out of his way. Suppose he makes another pass at you. Suppose he thinks you're going to tell Peter, so tells him first that you came on to him. What would Peter think then if he hadn't said anything? I don't know. I don't know what to do at all. Hey, you're still waiting down there. Yeah, well, I'm not interested. Hey, I've never had a fella stand outside my house before. Oh, well, except the time when the police were staking us out because Bill Clary had liked it for company. Oh, we'll get well, tired soon and go home. I suppose he doesn't, though. I suppose he stays there forever. I know him. He'll have to go home in a bit and change his T-shirt or do his hair. He's not like that. Yeah, he is. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong in taking pride in your appearance. Oh, she's defended him now. Why don't you just put him out of his misery eh, and let him in? And don't listen to her. Yeah, don't worry. He can stand out there for the rest of his life for all I care. Never want to speak to him again. Hello. Hi, yeah, I've got to get off in a minute. I've got that big party at the Rovers. Oh. Where's Kieran gone? Oh, uh, I don't know. I nipped out to get some milk and he'd come when I came back. Oh, yeah. That's thoughtful of him, isn't it? <laughs> You know what? He probably just wanted to give us a bit of time on our own, eh? Yeah. Oh, have I told you lately how wonderful you are? Not lately, no. No? Well, you are. <laughs> because, you know, I know this is a small flat and I know you weren't expecting Kieran to land on us, so... You know, thanks, love. What for? Because you made him feel welcome. There's lots of people that wouldn't have done. 
like Jessica. Yeah, like Jessica. She's the way of having people staying, you know. Unless, of course, I'd gone to sea, they got blonde hair, they were six foot, and they answered to the name of, uh, Tony. Peter. Hmm? I would never cheat on you. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know, love you. Yeah. No, no, I mean it. I know you said stuff about the way I'm in the bar with the customers, but it's just all part of being a barmaid. I, I love you. And I would never, ever do anything to hurt you. Love, I know you wouldn't. You're nothing like her, believe me. Do you know what? Can I tell you something? What? No, I can't. Oh, come on. Of course you can. You've got to tell me now. OK. Well, the other morning, right, I woke up early and you were asleep. And I just lay there and I looked at you. And you looked very beautiful. And you were lying there and you were next to me. And you were in my bed. And I felt... What? I felt happy. I felt happy. But you know how I feel about you anyway, don't you? Hmm? Kira made a pass at me. No. Kira on what? A pass. Actually, he made two. I thought I could handle it, but he tried it on again, and I didn't want to say anything because you mate and he's passing through, but I, I don't want to be any secrets between us. I... He made a pass at you? Yeah. No, Shell, I, I can't believe this. What, what, did, did, he, did he kiss you? Yeah, but I pushed him away. So he kissed you? OK, what else? What else did he do? Nothing. I stopped him. It upset me. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. No, Peter, don't do anything. I'll, I'll, I just need you to tell you. Wait till I get my hands on him. He says it's my mate. He comes into my flat and he makes a pass at my girlfriend. What does he think he's playing at? Peter, Peter, just leave it, please. OK. At least I know. Where, where are you going? I'm going to find him. Peter, please, just leave it. There's some, there's something else. You know, they all seem to be either from teenage girls who think their world's crashing in, or middle-aged women who suspect their husbands of infidelity. There's some really tragic ones here. You know, you probably teach some of those girls. Ooh, I'd definitely teach this one. She signed her name. Oh, I thought they were all supposed to be anonymous, like uh, worried from Weatherfield or anxious from Handcoats. Yeah, well, I've got one that's wretched from Weatherfield, written in red ink. Oh, let's have a look. No. These are not written for your titillation, you know. Yes, they are. Folk only write those things for one reason, to see them in print. Come on, Andy, over. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Yeah, no, it's tragic, isn't it? It's more tragic than you think. It's from my mother. What? Are you sure? I'd recognise her handwriting anywhere. Listen, it, it's all about an old-age pensioner who's heartbroken because her boyfriend's left her. I thought she was over, Archie. <sighs> At least that's one I haven't got to answer. Oh, no. You're definitely answering this one. Deirdre! But you've got to tell her to, to get on with her life, or there's plenty more fish in the sea or something. But we all know that's not true. I don't care. She needs telling. Now, now mind the pain work. More to the left, Lester. Oh, do be careful. Mrs Bishop's very sentimental about this piano. It belonged to her late husband. Well, Norris, if you were in the way all the time, we would have to keep banging it, would we? Oh, my finger. Uh, Norris, will you get out of the way? I suppose. This was all the entertainment you had as a kid, weren't it, Norris? Well, you know, we, we never had a piano at home. In, in fact, I didn't learn to play until my salad days. You see, my mother was very keen on the wireless. We are the Ovaltini's oh. little girls. Well, you're not going to sing this rubbish tonight, are you? Well, I, I was toying with a selection of songs from the shows. I'm very OK with Gilbert and Sullivan. No, you don't want that stuff. Sing-alongs. That's what you want. Hey, I know a couple of rugby songs that are easy to pick up. Seeing through you, telling your teeth, that's she, eh? Go away, Tyrone. No, why don't you go away? Go on, 
Back off to Canada where you belong. You're not wanted round here. We sell a lot of these. Yeah, mainly to me. I think they look dead cute in the adverts, all those chubby bottoms running around. Yeah, well, they're not so cute in real life. You know, when you have to keep changing them. Five ninety nine, please. Yeah. Are you got the Rovers tonight? I suppose. Night else to do. I've no baby to lie on my lap and tickle. Could have. How do you mean? Well, Emma and I could do with a night out. Now, if we had a babysitter. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Are you serious? I'd love to, yes. Great. About seven-ish. Yeah. Um, number seven, isn't it? That's it. Brilliant. See you Hi. later. Hiya. Hiya. I'm having Curly's baby. You are? I'm going to babysit Curly's baby. It looks exciting. Oh, yeah, great. I told Peter. I told him what? About Kieran. Good for you. And have you told him that Kieran threatened to put the blame on you? Oh, no, I didn't have a chance. He was so angry, Sunita. You should have seen him. I've never seen him like that before. It was frightening. Say her up, then. Where have you been? Just went for a walk. Something to eat. Where's Shelley? She's gone to work. Everything OK? No, everything's not OK. Michelle told me what happened. She told you? Yeah. What do you expect? Of course she told me. Oh. And doesn't it bother you? Oh, yeah. It really bothers me, yeah. It bothered me, too. What are you talking about? I told her last night. I was flattered. But I wouldn't do that in you. What? She didn't tell you I responded, did she? She tried to kiss me. I pushed her away. She tried to kiss me again, tell me it was all a bit of fun. I couldn't do that to you. Don't get me wrong. She's a good-looking girl. I was on a plate. But, no. I can't believe she told you. Oh, 
<laughs> Where's Maria? Oh, she's stuck at home. She won't come out because she don't want to see Nick till it's like... Can I tell she hates him? She doesn't hate him. She loves him. That's the problem. Oh, have you heard that lot over there? It's like something out of cocoon. Oh. Be handing bingo cards out late. <laughs> don't patronise me, Gran. I'm not, but I've been standing outside her flat like a bump This isn't just some crush. I know when I love someone. When you said you love me, Anne, look how that ends. Maria is nothing like Leanne. Oh, Nick, she's a young girl. You're a wonderful catch. I know what young girls are like around here. They'll do anything for a meal ticket. Not everyone's like you, Gran. Oh, What's that supposed to mean? Thank you. I'll oh, forget it. We've had enough of it in here. I'll see you later. Hey! Watch it, will you? Sorry, Liz. It's all right. Hey, you just watch where you're going. Oh, why the long face? What's up? I don't know how you see it through, you know. We're not seeing how we have just two years ago. Last scene for us, don't you? Back off what you did to him. I ought to smash your face in two's left. Liz, just leave it. It's not worth it, love. Come on, I'll get you pants. Dresses in clubs and shawl, she's the prettiest of them all. And none could be fairer or rarer than Sarah, my lassie from Lancashire. <laughs> Oh, it was mine and Archie's song. He sang it to me once in the graveyard at Jordan Come Hardy. Hey, come on, what we have in there? Oh, I can, I can do come into the garden no, more. Oh, how about that Gracie Fields? Sing as we go. go. Oh, I suppose you've got a pocket full of old pennies and all. You are. I just want to see Shelley, Fred. Fred, I'm going to take five minutes. Come through to the back, Peter. All right. Maria? Maria, I know you're up there. It's all right, I'm going. You've won. I'm going back to Canada and you're never going to have to speak to me again. And I know that's what you want. Maria, I need you to know I am never, never going to stop thinking about you. Listen, I didn't mean to hurt you. You've got to believe me. I didn't tell you about Rachel because after I met you, she just doesn't seem important anymore. I know I've ruined everything. But I didn't come back here to fall in love. I just couldn't help myself. Maria, you're so beautiful. You're the most amazing person I've met in my entire life, please. Please, we can't leave it like this. I love you. I love you too. I love you so much. I thought you'd been in earlier. I've, I've not seen you all day. Been busy. Oh. Yeah, I've been thinking. What about? I spoke to Kieran. I see. And he told me a very different story than that one you told me. Let's see. He told you that I'd made a pass at him, did he? So it is true? No! No, it's not true. That's what he said he'd say if I told you. And you went and told me that you'd never be unfaithful and me like an idiot. I went and believed you. What? And you believe him over me? He would not lie to me. And I would! Is that what you've got me down as some lying, deceitful slut? All oh, right. Yeah, you caught me out. If Kieran says it's true, it must be. Why should I deny it? Yeah, I've had them all. Steve McDonald, Mike Baldwin, the queue wants to pull me in this pub. How dare you, Peter? What have you seen? How many pennies are in that till? I say, have you seen how many? Well, you agreed it'd be a good idea. How would I to know for we're them all these years? Look at that there, there. He's got piles of them. Betty, what? can I have another two pints, love? You'll have to wait your turn. Hey, I would here first. Oh, we are. Well, come here then and give us a snob. No, oh, get off. Come on. An older woman could show you a few tricks. I could teach you stuff you'll never learn at school. Hey, that is my son that you're molesting. Go and molest one of his mates. Oh, I don't fancy any of his mates. All I'm saying right. is perhaps you should show as much interest in the present as you do in the past. Well, I don't see the problem. I'm very interested in the present. All right, then. What's the name of Curly and Emma's baby? Baby? 
Oh, oh yeah, no, I do know this. Wait, wait a minute. Excuse me, excuse me. Hello. Mm. Mm. Right, we're going. Huh? Oh, come on, I've got a couple of pennies left, and Sunita's looking after Ben. No, I'm not, but on my feet since seven. I'm exhausted. Look, when you said we were going out, I thought I could muster up enough energy to go for a meal, but I don't want to stand here listening to you munching crisps or Norris Cole's piano playing any longer than I have to. Oh, come on, then. Mm. Oh, he was a lovely king, King George. Ah, oh, bless him. So that was the Queen's father? Yeah, that's right, love. I'm facing ruin and you're getting all sentimental. You'll be getting your photo album out next and showing us photos of street parties. I thought this was supposed to be a party. I mean, we've got into the spirit of things. We've made a bit of an effort. But you, you've been on all night, on and on and on, about pennies. Scrooge. Apparently, Les Battis has been selling them to four for 50p each. 50p? 50p? Get that ten bobbin old money, love. Well, we've got hundreds of the damn things tonight. Are you telling me I'm going down unless Battersby's quits in? Where is he? Oh, come on. Do you really, really believe that I'd make a pass at Kieran or, or anyone? Well, I never thought Jessica would cheat on me. I'm not Jessica. I'm me. And I would never, never cheat on you, Peter. You're saying one thing, you said another thing, and he's my best mate. And I'm your lover. When we're in bed together, I don't know about you, but when you've got your arms around me and, and you're kissing me, I don't lie there thinking about someone else. I love you, Peter. I would never, never go after anyone else. I've heard all this stuff before. But not from me. I'm sorry your wife was unfaithful, I really am, but please, you've got to trust me on this one. Yeah. Peter, look at me, please believe me. You really don't believe me, do you? You don't believe in what we've got together, do you? Kieran wouldn't lie to me. Then have a relationship with him, then. He made a pass at me, Peter. I told him I wasn't interested, but he took no notice. And he grabbed me. And he kissed me. And all I wanted was you to love me enough to believe me, but you don't. So go on, get out. You what? I said, get out now. I'm not going anywhere. Because there's things that I want to say. And there's a lot of questions that questions? I want to ask. Questions? You haven't got the right to ask me any questions. Oh, this? Oh. Is this right, what I've been hearing about you selling pennies? No law against it, is there? Where do you get them all? Family give them us. Oh, no, I gave them to Kirk. And then only because I thought he was a collector. Have you seen my tail? I said, have you seen my tail? It's like King Richard's Ransom. Well, actually, King Richard's Ransom was in gold. Oh, boy! Well, it's, these coins are mostly made of copper. Thank you for the history lesson. Well, not entirely, were 50p he's been flopped. What did you say? Well, th these coins all seem to be of a 1950s. Well, they were a 21st birthday present from my father. It was his attempt at humour. I'd been asking for more housekeeping money, so he gave me a jar full of pennies. Oh, oh well, shrewd man. See, that there weren't that many minted that year, and, uh, well, they'll be worth considerably more than a penny. How much more? Ten pounds. Ten pounds? Around that mark. And I've got a till full of them. Ooh. Yes, and by the sound of it, Emily's been cheated out of them. Oh, well, they were just stuck up in the attic and everyone's having a good time. <laughs> Spoken like a true Christian. Oh, bless her. I think I'll go and count them. Nevertheless, at times like this, the community look to their leaders for guidance. Roy, am I right in saying that publicans were regarded with some respect in those days? Y yes. Quite right and all. So what about it then, Fred? Instead of lining your own pocket, what about doing something to the benefit of the community, like donating all the money to a local charity? Mm -hmm. The Friends of Weatherfield Hospital, perhaps. Yes. Oh, well, I... Uh... Come on, Fred. Oh, all right, all right. I suppose it's not every year a pub reaches 100 years old. Well, go on, then. Yay! Yay!
you see, Hayley, uh, sometimes it does pay to have an interest in the past. Yes, right. And what did you hope? I mean, did you really, really think that he wasn't going to tell me? Tell me, did you? I'm telling you the truth! I'm not going over and over it again! Why do you try and blame everything on me? I've seen the way that you look at them blogs out there. It's just a matter of time, wasn't it? Do what? Hey? Eh? Are you so insecure? Don't you realise how much I love you, Peter? You're everything to me, everything! Don't you realise how much you mean to me? Then why? And why, Kieran? You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? I thought you and me were it. Forever. I've been so stupid. I trusted you, Peter. And you have never, ever trusted me. Have you? <laughs> well, have you? Right. That's it, I'm moving out. <laughs> And don't try and stop me. You're not going to even try, are you? You're just going to stand there and let me walk out your life, aren't you? everyone's been saying about how you were just using me. I've listened and inside I've just been going, no, I don't care. I love him. I love you, Nick. And I want us to be together forever. No sign of Nicka Maria. So? So, it's almost four o'clock, and according to Audrey, she's not showing up for work. Eh? No prizes for guessing what they've been up to. Yeah, probably having deep and meaningful discussions about the future, I should think. That is if Nick is capable of a deep and meaningful discussion. Oh, come on, I think he's dead romantic what he's done, coming all the way over here. No, it's not. It's mad. And I cannot believe she's taken in by him. Oh, don't be such a killjoy. I'm just being realistic, that's all. Anyway, the only reason you're so glad it's back on is because you get to keep a room. What's back on? Not Nick and Maria. Oh, well, I might have got it all wrong, but judging by the body language when I saw him last night in the street. Well, what were they doing? Well, he kind of had his tongue down his throat and they were pouring each other. Hey, don't be so crude, Faze. I'm sure Tyrone doesn't want to hear all the gory details. Yeah, that's why she's saying it. Hey, hey, I'm just being a realist, that's all. Is it true what she's saying? They're back together? What are you thinking about? I just can't believe we're here. It's like we've gone back in time. Like, last week never happened. Oh, no shit, I hadn't. You know, when I found out about you and... I thought I'd never be happy again. And then I thought, well, at least I've had a week. Some people don't even get that, do they? Don't be stupid. Besides, you're on the way out to a club when I got back. Oh, that was Tyra and Fizz they made me. Yeah, he still wouldn't talk to me. Do you blame me? <laughs> I'd have never given up trying to get you back, you know. I'd have kept on following you around and pestering you to let me talk to you. I was hurt, Nick. More than I've ever been by anyone. I know. And I promise I'll never hurt you like that again. What? I'm moving to Canada. Again? Only if you want to. Oh. I'll have to book my ticket again. No, I'll take care of that for you. No, you won't. I'll come, it's more for you than use the last one. It's the least I can do. 
Oh, what's Audrey going to say when I give him a notice again? She'll be fine. And then I've got to tell Toya and Fizz I'm moving out after all. <laughs> Should we just sneak off? No, I don't want to do that. Besides, Richard and my mum get back this afternoon. And give the chance to tell them what we're doing. And no, I don't think it'll be a good idea if I move when they get back. She might flip, aren't you, Dick? I was just shocked. Besides, you'll have clothes on when we tell my mum. There you go. You manage. Hi. Hi, Michelle, how are you? Um, I felt better. Look, I've had a bath. I hope you don't mind. I told you to make yourself at home. Oh, here's your keys, thanks. You off to see Peter then? Um, back of that. No, I'm off to do a bit of retail therapy. Look, thanks very much for letting me stay. I, I don't know what I'd have done. You're welcome any time. <sighs> Careful, I might hold you to that. <laughs> Does your generosity know no bounds? She's having a few personal problems. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. Nah, she was going anyway. I just wanted to say thank you for babysitting the other night. <gasps> Don't mention it. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, Ben enjoyed it too. Emma and I didn't, but two out of three isn't bad. Well, if you need anyone again, you've only to ask. Thank you. Look at the state of this place, man. Come on, you could tidy up after yourself a bit. I'll be getting our house proud of me. Sit down. Sit down, have a drink. Relax. <laughs> Has she been around at all? No. Did you think she would be? Well, she does live here. Well, she did live here. Just thought she might want to talk, that's all. No, I'd say she's too ashamed to show her face, man. Yeah, but you know, there's things to sort out. I mean, I still can't believe she reacted like she did. You don't trust me. So relationship's finished. It's what they call a preemptive strike. You reckon? Yeah, for sure. She did the dirt on you, right? But rather than put her hand up and admit it, she turns the argument into who you trust. Classic female psychology. No, you're right. I mean, she's not going out of her way to put things right between you, is she? No. But you know what she's waiting for? She's waiting for you to go begging her for forgiveness. I don't know what I've done wrong. You're a man, Peter. How can you do anything right? Show my best uh, no, you can't. You can help me open the bags first. So I'll open the door, you help me with the case. Okay, hey, not so fast. And if you're getting something. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe it. Hold me down, you'll drop me. Not till I carry over the threshold. It's tradition. <laughs> Richard! We're gonna have such a good time here, you. <laughs> Nick, you're still here. Yeah, I've got some to tell you. Uh, do I have the bags? Oh, yeah, yeah. Boots open, thanks. Hello, oh. oh. Maria. What are you doing here? Um, I think we'd better wait for Nick. We had some good times, man, eh? Hmm. We had a lot of laughs, that's for sure. The laughs don't stop just because you're single. Yeah, but this just weren't any old relationship, you know. I'm serious. We were gonna get married, we were gonna have kids, everything. Oh, I feel guilty. I feel terrible. You? Why? Well, it's my fault, isn't it? How do you make that out? If I hadn't looked you up, none of this would have happened. You'd still be blissfully happy. Yeah, and I'd still be blissfully ignorant about what she's really like. I was look I'm sure that was just a once-off, man. Well, yeah, but how do I know that? Come on, man, if she can make a pass at you, how many other fellas has she made a pass no, at? Don't go there. You'll only end up all bitter and twisted. Come on, look. No more moping. Let's go out on town, OK? Oh, I don't know if I'm up for that, mate. Come on, it's what you need. We'll have a quick one over the road first, and then we'll, we'll head in. But what if she's there? Well, then you look her straight in the eye. You order a drink. Look, you're not going to let her push out your own local, are you? Come on. Bethany's fast asleep. So, uh, nice honeymoon? Oh, well, wonderful, thanks. You guys have a good time? Oh, brilliant. Why aren't you in Canada, Nick? I came back to get Maria. To get her? Yeah. She's coming with me. We're gonna live together in Canada. Live together? We got together at your wedding, actually. So? You've known each other three weeks? Well, things have moved pretty quickly. So it would seem. But we do feel the same about each other. Don't we? Yeah. 
Sarah, David, will you go to your rooms, please? I thought I were going to no, go outside. No, don't argue. Obviously, you don't approve. Do you expect me to? I don't see why not. So, you've known each other three weeks and you're planning to live together in Canada. What do your parents think about this, Maria? Yeah, well, the sharks. But they just think if it's what we want, then... They don't think you're rushing into it a little bit? Look, if we lived in the same country, of course we'd take things a bit slower. But because you don't, you're going to drag this poor girl, who you hardly know, halfway across the world. No, I want to go. That's not the point. I'll, um, I'll leave you a lot to talk. Yeah, I'd better go as well. Yes, I think you better had. No, Maria, stay. No, honestly, you can talk better without me here. I'll be at the flat. All right, I'll come and find you later. You sure you want to work tonight, are you? Because I can soon phone Betty. I'll be fine. Besides, I'm the manageress. I can't just have time off because I'm around my boyfriend. Uh, just hope the customers won't get in road of that pent-up aggression. You've nearly taken the varnish off that bar top. Oh. Oh, can I have a white wine and soda, please? Yeah. Oh, thanks very much for last night. You know, I really appreciate it. Like I said, you're welcome any time. Does that mean I can stay again tonight? You haven't patched things up with Peter, then? Who? Oh. Haven't you seen him? Not been home. Not even for a clean pair of knickers? <laughs> After I saw you, I went into town and bought new. Twelve pairs, three bras, dead expensive. Made me feel loads better. <laughs> You're going to have to speak to him eventually. Zanita, if he believes that slime ball over me, then we've got nothing to say to each other. Talk of the devil. Look, mate, I'm, I'm not sure this is a good idea, you know. Sure it is. Don't let her get you. You take a seat and while I get the drinks in. I can't believe I'll you. serve this, gentlemen. Gentlemen? What would you like? Two points of lager, please. You had no right to talk to Maria like that. She is my girlfriend. So it's been going on under this roof, has it? This whirlwind affair? Have you got a problem with that? I love her. I'm in love with her. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. That's what you said about Leanne. <laughs> Wonder when you bring that up. Yeah, well, you went storming in there, didn't think about the consequences. Well, I'm all too aware of the consequences now, aren't I? If I wasn't absolutely sure about Maria, I wouldn't ask her to come. Oh, Nick, when are you going to grow up and stop behaving like a child? I've grown up! Funnily enough, there's nothing like finding yourself in a strange country thousands of miles from home to make you grow up. What are you insinuating? Nobody forced you to go to Canada. Oh, come off it! You couldn't wait to see the back of me before I put more shame on the family. Hey. And you know what? I'm glad I went. It taught me to make my own decisions, to run my own life. I've managed perfectly well without any parental advice for the past three years. So I sure as hell don't need it now. Nick! Don't go! There you go, love. Why don't we make a night of it? Go to a club. Ah, no, man, I'm not, I'm not really into clubs. Since when? Come on. It'll be a laugh. We're we'll really pushed about it, eh? Yeah, well, let's just slowly get on it. Just get us another pint. I'm just going to lift the gents. Oh, so you have got a mind of your own. Sorry? Going all the way to the gents' loo without checking what your master thinks. So what are you doing? You're trying to be funny? Well, you normally hang on to his every word. Treat everything that comes out of that big gob as gospel. Steady on, Shelley. Yeah, well, I trust him, if that's what you mean. He's my best mate. We go back a long way, you know that. Oh, so what am I, then? Some silly little woman? Oh, and a barmaid to boot, so I must be chucking myself at everything in trousers. I saw you flirting with him. I saw it. No, I wasn't. I was being friendly, like I am with everyone, that's all. Can't you see that? Anyway, what kind of mate is it that tries it on with your girlfriend and then tries to blackmail her? Shelley, we know it wasn't like that. I know exactly how it was, and so do you. You're an attractive woman, but you're not my type. How can you just stand there and lie like that? Don't you care what pain you cause? Are you such a coward? That'll do. I say that'll do. Peter. If he can treat you like this and get away with it, he'll do it again. So you watch your back. Come on, Shelley, come on with her. Come on. Some women just can't take rejection, can they? 
We had a brilliant time. The beaches. Yeah, well, it's been dead for in here. That's it. If I hadn't been for Aid, I think I'd have gone out of my mind. Well, what's he done? We've just been knocking about with him for a bit. What do you mean, knocking about? <laughs> Chill out, we're just mates. You don't know the meaning of the word. Yeah, well, he's gone on holiday now, so neither of us can see it. Hi, yeah. Hi, Richard. How was your honeymoon? Fantastic. Unfortunately, we've come back to a massive crisis. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. These things happen. How do you know about Mick and Maria? I thought you were about the flat. What about it? Have you not spoken to your solicitor yet? No, why? We've pulled out. Hang on, is this some stunt to get me to lower the price or something? Because you're getting a bargain as it is, Have, have you seriously not spoken to your solicitor yet? I just got back from a door an hour ago. Richard, they're building a bail hostel next door to the ridings. So how's the happy couple, eh? Let me see your tongue. Ma'am, did you know what was going on between Nick and Maria? Oh, Gail, I was piggy in the middle, me. I wish you'd phone me. What, and ruin your honeymoon? He is ruining his life. Well, there is no point in talking sense into either of them because I've tried. I can't let him go. It'll be a disaster. And how do you plan to stop them? Hi, Audrey. Hi, Richard. <laughs> Um, would you mind making the tea, love? I need to go through the post urgently. What's that? Well, I I'm hoping it's something or nothing, but if you could just give me five minutes. Anyway, mm -hmm. we've fallen out. Says he doesn't care what I think. Oh, he never has. Says I made him go to Canada and it's none of my business what he does with his life. Oh, darling. What on earth's got into that aunt? I think he'll never leave more with Maria, so he says. Where's Maria now? Well, at home packing. You have my every sympathy, you know that. I didn't put you in charge so that you could slag off the customers. I know, Fred, I'm sorry. I, I just lost it for a second. All right, we'll send them more. Yeah, well, you're not here anyway, aren't you? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, well, come on, we won't have any sit me You should. Uh, well, it's up to you, mate. But... Steve's gonna come with us. He reckons he knows some good clubs. Don't mind, do you? No, well, be my guest, fine. We'll go back first. Put the glad rags on. Ooh, babe alert. The best thing to get over happened to you shell. Straight back in the saddle. Nice well, split up yesterday, mate. You can excuse me while I walk the old McCarthy magic. Listen, I'm uh, sorry to worry about you and Shelly, mate. You didn't try to be funny. No, I'm trying to be sympathetic. Why? Well, I just thought you and Shelly made a good couple, that's all. I thought you were pretty solid as well. Yeah, well, so did I. Until she made it pass up the best, mate. She never did. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, she's denying it, of course she is. She's saying he made a pass at her, but then she's gonna say that, of course she is. And you believe him? Yeah, I do, actually. Why? Because... Uh, just because I do. <laughs> well, I wouldn't trust him near my missus. Mind you, I wouldn't trust anyone near my missus. Well, well, what do you mean? Yeah, she's bonkers. No, I mean about Kieran. Oh, well, well, look at him. He's permanently on the sniff. Where does Shelley? I mean, I could be wrong, mate, but I mean, she doesn't seem to want to mess you around, you know? Yeah. Well, I used to think that. <laughs> so it's his word against hers, is it? I mean, there's no incriminating evidence here. No. Well, I know what I believe, mate. Gone ages. I was worried. Yeah, I've been for a walk. I thought you'd changed your mind. <laughs> no, of course not. Just needed to cool down. <laughs> Who does she think she is trying to run my life? Maybe she's right. Maybe we are rushing things. Sounds like you're the one who's changed their mind. No, no, I've not. It's just. It's just if you are having second thoughts, I'd, I'd understand. No. I want to be where you are. <laughs> I want to be where you are, too. <laughs> right. Can I use your phone? Yeah, why? You're going to phone the airline. So we can get a flight out of here, the better. I'm not going clubbing. I'm not, I'm not in the mood. Come on, I'll be a right laugh. Look, am I talking to a brick wall? You go with Steve. You've got a really boring side here. You. you used to be the life and the soul. Why? Because I could drink solidly for 48 hours without having a rest. At least you know how to enjoy yourself. Chasing women, puking up in doorways, getting into fights. Please, come on. God, we had some great nights. 
Yeah, well, maybe my idea of having a good night's a bit different to yours. So what's your idea having a bit of crack? Look, sitting in with a few cans. I'm not on shore leave anymore. I don't have to go out there and cram as much sex and booze into 48 hours as is possible. You know, I've got different priorities. I've got a business. Did she do this to you? Did she do what to me? Turn you into a middle-aged woman. What is your biological clock ticking or something? No. I just think there's a bit more to life than chasing women and booze, all right? Don't talk to me like you're my dad. And don't you talk to me like I'm 22. The minute I walked in the door, I knew exactly the score. She has you exactly where she wants you. Under the thumb. So is that why you wanted to split us up? Hmm? Yeah, sure, I'll hold. Um, let us check in. Phone call. Oh, shut up, Fizz. You don't even pay the bill. Ah, yeah, but I will do when we change it to my name. <clears throat> Is it all right if he stays in my room? It's just his mum yeah, and Richard right. are back. It'll only be for a couple of days. Oh, yeah, make yourself at home. All the merrier. <laughs> it's all back on then, is it? <laughs> what are you like? What time? Nick's just onto the airline now, trying to sort our flights out. Okay, cool. I'll just check with him a sec. Um, we've got two seats Wednesday night, if that's right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we'll take him. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I wouldn't try and split anybody up. Yeah, but you just said yourself how you hated seeing me tied to some little woman, didn't you? It's your life. You can do what you like with her. Yeah, but you don't believe that anyway, do you, eh? Because you just wanted her out of the way, didn't you? Hmm? All right, so I didn't like her. So I tried to get off of her. I don't think so. Yeah. So you could get in between her, so you could get one up on us. Why? Because you're jealous. You're jealous of what we've got, or should I say, what we had. What is this, man? You're my best mate. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. Look. You've made a pass at every other woman on this street, so come on, why should my girlfriend be an exception? I can see it's hard for you to accept that Shelley is not the angel you thought she no, was. No, what I can't accept is if she did make a pass at you, you'd turn her down. You've never turned a woman down in your life. She's my best friend's girlfriend. So? I'd just say that as to the attraction. So come on, Kieran, tell me. Be honest, you made a pass at her, didn't you? You're making all these accusations based on nothing. You've got no proof. Yeah, that's right. And it comes down to who I believe in. Do you know what? I believe Shelley. I believe her. Oh. Well, that leaves nothing much left to be said, does it? Oh, there is. Pack your bags and get out. Peter. Before I throw you out. Yeah, I know it's late. I've just got back off honeymoon. You could say I came down to earth with a thud. Oh, what's yeah. all that about? Do you know the problem with the flats by the sound yeah. of it? Do you know, I'll be glad when he's got shut of it. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Listen, and try not to worry about Nick. Do you know, man, when we got back and I saw him on the doorstep yeah, just for a minute, I thought he'd decided to stay. Oh, oh sweetheart. <laughs> Bye, kids. See ya. Bye. There must be something we can do. I mean, I'm not taking this line down. I can't afford to. All right. I'll do that. Bye. I'll be chocks on his beef strong enough. You won't believe this, Gail. All four sales, all four of them, have fallen through. And all the estate agent can say is, can you call me in the morning? Because I'm in the middle of a dinner party. What did you just say? The council are opening a bail hostel in the same road as the ridings. A bail hostel? You know, somewhere where, where they put ex-offenders, you know, up and readjust to the yeah, outside world. I don't world. understand. That's... I mean, how does that affect the flat sales? Well, girl, I mean, people can be very snobby. They want to live somewhere nice, not next door to a load of ex-cons. Oh, it can't be that bad, surely? Well, like I've told you, they've all pulled out, even Steve McDonald. All the money I spent doing that place up down the drain. As of now, those flats are practically worthless. I see. I mean, I've had a lot of setbacks in the past, girl, but this is the final straw. Without the money from those flats, I'm ruined. Still fine, but why does it have to be in the same street as my flats? You've had some rotten luck with those flats, Richard. Oh, that house has just been like a money pit. I should have sold it the day I got it. What I don't understand is why nobody told you. I mean, the buyers found out somewhere. Oh, it's a conspiracy. Someone up there is having a flaming good laugh at my expense. What I mean is, if nobody told you, you couldn't object. Now you have been told, maybe you can. You got a point there, girl. Maybe there's some appeals procedure. I mean, at the very least, you should have been consulted. It might not be just me who's had a nasty shock. You know, there might be other people in the road who haven't been told. You could start a campaign. 
Well, I could make a nuisance of myself, certainly. Go see Curly Watts. He's our local councillor. I might just do that. Hey, I'll tell you something. I'm not letting those McDonald's off the hook either. No? Well, I mean, who do they think they are? He's as dodgy as any ex-offender. <laughs> That's not your sales pitch. No, of course not, but I mean, I know, you, I know Steve, he's just playing games. He's trying to beat me down on price. I'm glad to see you're not letting all this get you down. A lot of people would. Never say die, that's me. Besides, I've got a wife and family to support now. Oh, I thought you'd be at work. Look, um, I need to get some clothes. Hey, Shell, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I needed to talk to you. Yeah. It's about time we got down to sorting this messy business out. Oh, no, no, I, I don't mean all that stuff. Well... I don't think we've got anything else to say to each other. I'm looking for somewhere to live, but why I should move out of my own home, I don't know. No, look, you don't, you don't. But you don't have to move out if you don't want to. I don't think this flat's big enough for the three of us. Do you? Especially when one of us is a conniving, devious... Kieran's gone. I booted him out. Look, I've just put the kettle on. Why don't you have a seat? This is it then. A big day. Yep. Are you nervous? A bit. You think I'm mad, don't you? Well, he has sort of proved himself. Yeah, that's what I think. What time's your flight? Uh, what time's the flight, Nick? Um, we need to check in by seven. I really hope it works out for you both. Mm, thanks, Toya. I'm really gonna miss you, you know. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, I hate to bring up a delicate subject. Spit it out, Fizz. Uh, it's a CD player. Are you taking it with you because uh, I'll buy it back off you? Yeah, you can have it. Are you serious? Yeah, I call it a leaving gift. Oh, ta! Just don't keep hovering over me like a vulture while I'm trying to pack. Sorry. Hi. Hiya. I've got a visitor. No, hiya, Martin. Come in. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya. Is there room? Yeah, it's a bit crowded in there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we should have a sign on the door saying only two people at a time. <laughs> well, I won't stop. I just came to say cheerio. I wish you both all the best. Cheers, man. And to say, I hope you won't be leaving without saying goodbye to your mum. <clears throat> she told you. Well, we do still speak, you know. And I think that you and her should. She's the one with the problem. Yeah, she's just worried about you, that's all. And she thinks you're making a big mistake. Look, it's going to be very hard to sort this out when you're 3,000 miles away, don't you think? He's right, Nick. So let her come say goodbye to me. We had a row, and I booted him out. You had a row? What about? Must have been pretty serious to chuck him out. Yeah, well, let's just, uh Let's just say I, I finally saw him for what he is. Which is what? Which... Conniving and devious. And a liar. I don't understand. Only a couple of hours earlier, you were parading your wonderful friendship in front of everyone in the pub. What made the penny drop? Did he admit that he tried it on with me? No. Well, did he mumble some in his sleep? No. It's just that, you know, I just suddenly saw him for what he really is. And for what he was trying to do. Which was what, exactly? He was lying to save his own neck, wasn't he? I told you that. I know that. But he didn't believe me. No, I know. In fact, you believed him over me. So please. Please, look, you can't make me feel any worse than I already do. Oh, I think I can. I think I'm entitled. Yes, you're right. You, I did, I let you down, I'm sorry. You betrayed me, Peter. You insulted me and you degraded me. All for the sake of your so-called best mate who only a couple of nights earlier tried to get him in knickers. Right, it's true. It's true, every word's true. Are you really that thick? <laughs> yes. Or is there a little bit of Kieran inside your way? Oh, no, Shell. Just that little bit of you that thinks all women are slags who can't be trusted. No, look. Look, I'm sorry. I know what I did to you was terrible. It's unforgivable. Well, in that case, maybe you'll understand that I can't forgive you. What? Oh, no, Shell, come on. No, look, please, come on. I'm, I'm begging you. No. I don't want a man who can grovel. I want a man who trusts me and who I can trust. And you fail on both counts. Ah, oh, 
Pachi. Pachi. Oh, uh, hello there, Blanche. I was wondering, there's a whist drive next Friday night at the new drop-in centre on K Street. Do you fancy it? Oh, I am. Yeah. Well, we are still friends, aren't we? Yes. Yes, of course we are. Well, then. Yes. Go on, why not? Good. I'm gonna miss you and Jack V. Yeah, yeah. Now, you look after yourself. Don't get eaten up by one of them grizzly bears. Oh, I don't think they have any of them in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Tyrone. You're off today, are you? Yeah, tonight. Good luck, then. Thanks. See you, Vera. Bye, love. Take care, eh? Thanks. Two bacon bodies to go, please, Vera. Right. Hey. Councillor Watts. People only ever call me that when they want something. Well, I've got a bit of a major problem which I need some help with. Have a seat. Uh, can I have a coffee when you've got a minute, Vera? Right, love. Do you want to no, I'm all right, thanks. Does it hurt anywhere else? It just hurts. Do you want me to get the doctor out? No, it's just a tummy bug. All our friends have had it. Look, can you cope looking after her on your own? I mean, I can take a couple of hours off work if you want. No, no, Kevin, of course I can cope. I know, but you don't have to, do you? Not now there's two of us. No, you go off to work. OK. See you later, Princess. See you, Dad. Do you want a drink, love? Please, please. What do you know of the council's plans to open a failed hostel on Crimea Street? Quite a lot, actually. I was on the planning committee. Oh, really? So I can rely on you to vote against it? Because if he goes ahead, I stand to lose an awful lot of money. Yeah, well, we did consult the uh, the local residents and uh, businesses. Wait a minute, you don't live anywhere near there. No, no, it's where my conversion is, the ridings. Uh, I turn it into luxury flats at considerable expense. And now, of course, nobody wants to buy. Surprise, surprise. Ah. Uh, uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, I know these things have to be built somewhere. Yeah, but the trouble is, people think these things ought to be built somewhere else. But it's wiped tens of thousands off the price of my flats. Yeah, but we looked at the pros and cons of all the sites. Surely it's not too late for the cows to consider other sites. Well... No, 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 hear, hear me out. You, you just said there are other proposed sites. If you persuaded your colleagues to look at one of them again... Well, that's not likely to happen, is it? Because... Well, I, I could make it worth your while. What? I've given some very sound financial advice to one or two of your neighbours. I can invest a sum on your behalf offshore, for instance. Are you trying to bribe me? I, I thought it was called lobbying. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Richard. I'm not, I'm not for sale. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I'm under a lot of pressure. Yeah, well, for the record, the planning permission for the hostel was passed weeks ago, unanimously. And I voted in favour. Oh, come here, you're the kiss. Get up yourself, sis. I will do. All right, dear. I wouldn't bother. I won't go back. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, Kirk? Well, you know what I'm like. <laughs> hey, text me. What's he like? Hey, <laughs> Have a brilliant time. Make it sound like I'm going on holiday, isn't it? Oh, you know what I mean. Come here. And take care, yeah? I will do. Maria, if this was more than 32 kilos, I may pay extra baggage. Oh, shut up. My whole life's in that bag. <laughs> you ready, then? Yeah, hang on a sec. saying goodbye. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want us to fall out. You don't have to worry, Mum. I'm not going to mess it up, not this time. She's the one.
It's in. What is? My letter to Hermione. They printed it. Hermione? Uh, yes, you know, that woman who writes those daft stories in the Gazette. She has a problem page. I call her Hermione, because I feel like I know her. <laughs> Why have you written to her? I wanted advice on what to do about me and Archie. Oh, surely you feel you can talk to us. Oh, but Hermione is so worldly and wise. I uh, dare say she's been round the block a time or two, yeah. Here, listen to this. The man who cannot forgive is best forgotten. How profound. Oh, this man is history. So if it's love you are looking for, then seek pastures new. Oh, I'm not sure about this bit. What? Well, well I told her about living here with my daughter and her boyfriend, and she says... If you moved into sheltered housing, you would be able to mix with many more people of your own age. Well, she does have a point. Well, that's it. She's gone. Look, do you want me to make you a cup of tea? I don't know what to do with myself, Bera. I'm never going to see her again. I feel like I've just been told she's dead. Oh, hey. No, I know that's an awful thing to say, but that's how I feel. Well, I knew he'd be upset. Why did let her slip through my fingers, eh? She was going to marry me. Well, listen, there's plenty more fish in sea, son. What is it? Not like Maria. I know. I don't want me to say that. I mean, we're meant to be together. We belong together. Like peas in a pod of, like, like you and Jack. Oh, can't you find a better example? I thought the world of that girl. I'd have done anything for her, honest. Every day when I'm not with her, I wake up and I think, why can't I turn back the clocks and start all over again? Oh. Look, what are you telling me for? I mean, why didn't you tell her? Then how come she wouldn't have gone? She knows how I feel. Well, that's typical of a man, that. Oh, don't tell her she looks nice, cos she knows. I bet that Nick Tilsley ain't frightened of wearing his hat on his sleeve. No. He flew halfway across the world to see her. And what did you do when you saw this morning when she was going? You were more interested in a bacon butty. Eh? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have told her how I feel. Maybe I still could. What do you mean, right to her? No, talk to her. They've only just left for the airport. I could go after them. Are you? Are you going? Oh. Oh. Shame on you, abusing your position like that. Yeah, well, it was a joke I couldn't resist. Oh, Blanche. Uh, hello, what can I get you? You are history. I'll have a snowball, please, Ken. Right, well, uh, I won't stay where I'm not wanted. That was a bit me. You heard what Hermione said. Steve, I was hoping to... Uh... Fix a time for you, me and Karen to have a chat. Well, I'm sorry, mate, you'd be wasting your time. You haven't heard what I've got to say yet. It doesn't matter what you say, we're still not buying the flat. Look, even if this bail hostel does go ahead, which it will, well, that remains to be seen, even if it does go ahead, the flat still represents a fantastic investment. Not according to my solicitor. Okay, let's cut to the chase. How much are you prepared to pay, Tom Wack? Oh, I'm not. That's why I pulled in. Oh, what, the flats are now totally worthless, are they? Oh, I'm not saying that. Look, Steve, you are, mate. I'm in the tight corner. Come on, I can do a great deal. Make me an offer. All right, then, um, a pound? A reasonable offer. Um, pound fifty. Look, I, I think I deserve better than this after all the work I put your way. Look, Richard, it's nothing personal. If anything, I was in favour of not pulling out. It's, it's Karen. She doesn't want to live next door to any undesirables. Oh, that's rich coming from her. Well, that's what I said. But you see, the thing is, Karen was brought up surrounded by undesirables. I think she's a bit worried she might bump into a few people she knows. Ah, Richard, just the man I was looking for. Hello, Archie. Yeah, I could interest you in a luxury apartment, could I? Oh, no, no. I'm quite happy where I am, thanks all the same. Oh, well, that's a pity. How did the uh, honeymoon go? Oh, wonderful. I mean, I must admit, it seems like a long time ago now. Oh? Yeah, I came back to one or two little problems. 
Oh, well, uh, I hope you don't mind if I burden you with another. Sorry? The bill for the wedding cars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Right, right. I'm sure you'll find it very reasonable. Yeah, OK, well, well thanks, then. See ya. Much. How long before we get on the plane now then? Um, not for another two hours. We can get through and have a look at the shops. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't believe it. Maria, I need to talk to you. What now? Yeah, now. Tyrone, I'm about to get on the plane. Yeah, well, I don't think you should. Listen, mate, I've plenty of time to say goodbyes. Why don't you just crawl back under your car? I wasn't talking to you. Well, I'm talking to you to so get lost. Don't you tell me to get lost. You shut up, the pair of you. You're showing me up. Maria, just five minutes. That's all I'm asking for. Please. Do you mind? We've got plenty of time, haven't we? Yeah, no problem. You, come with me. She went out like a light. Good. Want me to take it upstairs? No, I'll leave her where she is. Do you know, I'd forgotten how good you were with them when they're poorly. <laughs> I forgot what it was like cleaning up sick. So it's out well, hasn't it? Me moving back in here. Gail came round before. She couldn't believe we'd gone ahead with this. She thinks we're making a big mistake. But things are working out OK, aren't they? Ooh. Shall I make us a hot drink? This isn't the first time you've stuck your arm in where it's not wanted. Well, someone's got to try and talk sense to you. I think I can guess what's coming. In your unbiased opinion, I'm making a big mistake. Yeah, I know I'm biased. That doesn't mean I'm wrong. Yeah, but it does mean I'm not going to listen to you. Why is it so bad that I care about you? That I worry about you? What, so this hasn't got anything to do with the fact that you're jealous of Nick? Yeah, of course I'm jealous. Who wouldn't be? He's the luckiest bloke in the world. Yeah, and I'm the luckiest girl. Look, I'm sorry, Tyrone, but you must know how we feel about each other. You hardly know him. I know how we feel. But Canada, he's thousands of miles away. You won't know a soul. I love Nick. No friends. Well, I make friends. No family. Yeah, all right, I'm taking a risk. I know that. Yeah, a big risk. Yeah, but that's part of the reason why I'm doing it. I need some adventure in my life. So go bungee jumping or on a safari. Not shacking up with some lad that's already got one broken marriage to his knee. Wait, if you're just going to start slacking Nick off. No, I'm not. Good. Because you might make me say something I'll regret. Just answer me one thing. What's he got that I haven't, eh? That's a stupid question, isn't it? No. I, I know he's dead good looking and that, but is that really worth more than what we had? It's just different. Better. Me and you are ancient history, Ty. No, that's not true. I'd have you back like a shot. Whatever you say about Nick, couldn't love you as much as I do. Nobody could. We belong together, Maria. We belong in the past. It wasn't that long ago you nearly kissed me. May 20th, top of Blackpool Tower. You remember the day? It's printed in my memory. The day I blew it. No, come on, you didn't blow it. We were just being nostalgic. I had a chance of getting back with you, and I let it go. I thought we agreed we were just going to be friends. So that's all I am to you, eh? A mate, an ex. You don't feel any more for me than that? Yeah, of course I do. You know I do. It's... So give me another chance. Give us another chance. Maria, we need to go. Just give us another minute. I thought of him going without saying a proper goodbye. I oh, know. Did I tell you he rang from the airport? Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Mm. Let's just hope that he and Maria know what they're doing. Yeah. Anyway, he's not the only one capable of making a daft decision. You'll never guess what Sally's done. Listen to me. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, not so bad. Any luck with the flats? Hard to say, really. Uh, actually, no. It's very easy to say. I'm stuffed. I could soldier on, you know, crack on, everything's going to be fine, but it's not, Gail. So you might as well know now. The 
flats aren't totally worthless. No, but if you look at the whole picture, how much I owe, how much I stand to make, even if I ever sell the blooming things, I'm in big trouble. Surely things aren't that bad. I'm a financial advisor, girl. I know what I'm talking about. Unless I do something pretty drastic, I'm finished. Say no. No, I know what you're going to say. That we'll just end up in some rut like we was before. But we won't. It'll be different. I mean, we can get married and get our own place and have kids, loads of dogs. It'll be brilliant. I know it will. Maria, we really have to go. I'm sorry. Maria, I love you. I love you. I'm really sorry, but I've got to go. to work. Right, I'll see you later. Well, of course, thinking, how about a night out? Just you and me, you know, I never know. Odd. Well, why not? Rosie's feeling much better. I'm sure Eileen would babysit. Do you want me to ask her? No, it's not that. Why? I'm just thinking a meal or something. Do his bowl cut to get out. I just don't think it's a good idea right now. OK, if that's what you think, I'm not arguing. Oh, I'm going to like the coffee in here. Thought that didn't bother you. Hey, it does when it gets near payday. Hey, I tell you what, should we have a girls' night in tonight? You know, get a couple of videos, bottle of wine, on me. You know, me being richer than what you are. What do you reckon? Uh, I'm out tonight. All right, and you're interested. I haven't decided yet. All oh, right, there's first some company, then I'm not doing anything. Hey, you're going to be late if you don't get moving. Councils can't go building things like bail hostels without talking to people first. I mean, it's like power stations and prisons. They've got to publish plans. They've got to talk to the locals, surely. Yeah, I mean, of course they're like, it's the law. So why did nobody talk to you? Well, from what I can make out, it's down to Mrs Lawson's solicitor. Apparently, the council wrote to her about the scheme, but she never thought to tell me. And after she died, neither did the solicitor. Sound like a bunch of incompetence to me. Well, someone round here must have known, surely. Dougie Ferguson. I meant to tell you this. He must have known. You know, ever since Doggy died in that awful accident, it's been one thing after another with those flats. I mean, there was the foundation and all the money it took to put that right, and now this bail hostel. It's almost like there's yeah, a... curse on the whole damn project. Why has it always happened to me? Ferguson must have known about this bail hostel scheme. Well, he'd have told you. No. No, not necessarily enough. He stood to make money out of it. He came along with his big conversion plan. And he saw how he could make a killing. Oh, he wouldn't do that, would he? Well, I can't be sure. But if he did, then what happened to him was well deserved. He had it coming. Morning, Shell. Is that an old puzzle for that, Jim? Eh? I'm talking to myself here, it's like pass us the ratchet. Morning, all right? I think it's still night, him. Eh? Sleep on his feet. No, I'm not. Just thinking about Maria, that's all. Oh, a bit late for that, Tyrone. Yeah, no. I even went to the airport to try and stop her from going, get her to stay here with me. Are you serious? Yeah. Tried everything I could to make a change of mind. Said she couldn't and she had to go with Nick. Well, I have to be honest, mate. Can't say I'm sorry you failed. Because if you'd have succeeded, well, I'd have had to console him, wouldn't I? Yeah, well, it was a stupid thing to do anyway. Not to give it a go. I know, but it was all my fault. That's what does me head in. I split us up in the first place. I didn't know when I was well off. Yeah, well, you're not the first one to make that mistake. No. I'll tell you this, though, mate. You might not think so now, but you'll get over it. Yeah, well, so everyone keeps telling me. I don't believe them, though. Hey, I've just had a phone call from Canada. I've never been rung up from abroad before. Maria? What the hell's doing out there apart from our kid? Well, did she say how about me, like, send a message or anything? No, did she, Jack? She just said that they got there safely, her and Nick. Hey, I tell you what, the way she sounded, I reckon they'll be getting married. There'll be a wedding invitation on its way to me before long. Hey, 
Anyway, you've got six Eccles cake. Uh, did you say six? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's right, yeah. And three vanilla slices. Yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you. Hi, Tanya. Hello. Ah. Bye now. See ya. See ya. You were never had a falling out. Oh. Fish, I mean. Well, we never even fell in. I mean, we've never really been very friendly. Why are you sharing a flat together, aren't you? Yeah, don't I know it? That wasn't my idea, you know. What is it you don't like about her? Well, she's, uh, well, she's very pushy, isn't she? I mean, whenever anyone's doing out, she's always got to invite herself in on it. And d loud. It just gets a bit much in the flat, that's all. Well, there's more to Fiona than meets the eye. She, she's a very generous nature. Yeah, she has. I'll say that for her. I mean, I'm no big fan of hers, because, as you know, she's split Tyrone and Maria up. Yes, but she's not that hard-boiled, confident person that she makes herself out to be. Underneath, she's a very insecure girl. Yeah, and she had a tough life as a kid. Yeah, who didn't? Look, she had worse than you, you know. I remember her telling me she said she didn't know what a good family was till Roy and Ailey took her in. Did she say that? Yeah, she did. Oh, glad you told me. Excuse me, am I right in thinking the 44 bus goes past the garden centre on Albert Road? Uh, the 44, yes, yes it does. Thank you so much. I'm not used to bus travel, you see. It's something new for me. Bye. <laughs> not used to bus travel. She gets right up my nose uh, with her airs and graces. Do you know, if somebody gave her a bike, she'd ride it side saddle. She would. Oh, hi there. Looking out for you. Why, right, what's up? I have got a nice piece of business to bring you in on. Business with me? I thought you didn't trust my judgment. You didn't want to come in on my Spanish property deal. Yeah, but it was property. Foreign property comes to that. What does anybody know? This is definitely up your alley. Right trade business. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. now, I've got a cousin in textiles. He's a wholesaler. And now he wants women's underwear. Quick. Big numbers, and it could be more. I thought of you. And whose side are you on in this, eh? Me or your cousins? I mean, who are you going to do a favour for? Me or him? Mm. Both, I hope. That's what makes a good business deal, right? All right. Tell me some more. All I'm saying is there's still good flax, whatever they build on the doorstep. Oh, yes, but it's the location that sets the value. And the bail hostel has ruined the location. Fine, I might be able to sell the flats, but I'm going to have to drop the price a hell of a way. So how much are we talking about here? Are you sure you want to know? Yes, I do. I'm in this with you, Richard, all the way. All right. Converting the flats and fitting them out has cost me so far something over 300,000. How much? 300,000. Now, some of that I already had, but most of it is a bank loan. Now, I reckon on selling those flats for a minimum of about £120,000 each. Times four, that gives us £480,000. Nice little profit. The Hillmans live happily ever after. Along comes this bail hostel. Now, suppose I have to sell these flats for £60,000 each. Times four, that gives us £240,000. And I owe the bank a lot more than that. Right. Now you know the kind of trouble I'm in. Oh, my God. Where's your mum? Gone out, I think. Well, it's really nice and quiet. Yahoo! I'm back! Well, it was nice and quiet. Oh, Ashley, that's lucky you being home, because I've got a present for the pair of you. Oh, Mum. A little thank you gift for being so nice to me, for being on my side. Yeah, well, you don't have to buy his presents. Oh, I like buying presents. Anyway, it's something I know you'll love. You know what's in here, Maxine? It's a lovely, hand-painted name sign for the house. A name? Oh, Mum! I knew you'd be pleased. It struck me the other day. There's not a house in the street has a name instead of just a number. Yeah, that's right. Well, there's a pub that's got a name. Pubs don't count, Ashley. Pubs aren't houses. <sighs> Ta da What do you think? Oh, Mum, it's great. I'm happy with just a number myself. A name for your house gives it style, Ashley. Gives it class. Mum, it's a brilliant present. Ashley, get your drill out. There you go, honey. Cheers, love. <laughs> Cheers. So, how's it going now Kev's moved back home? Well, I'm just taking one day at a time. It's a bit awkward. What 
about killing him in his eco thing? Well, it's all right for him. It's what he wanted. Hey, I'm sure he's finding it just as tricky as you are. Well, I don't see it like that. Hey, you wanted to go out on a night out tonight. Well, I've always babysit. I told you that. I don't want to go out. A night out, just me and him. One, one thing might lead to another. That's the last thing I want. No, I mean, no nights out. Yes? No, no I, I didn't come in for a drink. I just want you to talk to me. Well, you've got as long as it takes me to serve you a drink. No, look, there's, there's more. I've, I've got to say more than that. Look, and I know this is not the right time or the place. It yeah. will never be the right time or the right place. You've said far too much to me already. No, look, there's things I want to say. I, I, I want to say I'm sorry. Look, I'm just, I'm just asking you for a chance. No. It's over. Accept it. Because I have. You see, Maxine, you are making a lifestyle statement. You are saying to your neighbours, we are leading the way. We are setting the tone. <sighs> I've always wanted a house with a name. Sounds like a lot of fuss over nothing, if you ask me. We're not asking you, Ashley. Men don't understand. We'd still be living in caves if we were down to them. <laughs> yeah. And some women would be wanting a sign up saying the cavern. There's a cynical side to you, Ashley, and it doesn't suit you. Have you not finished yet? Yes. I hope you're satisfied. Oh! <sighs> Thanks, Dad. This all you want? Yep, that's it for now, Sonita, so love. You and Gina are out on the town tonight? Ooh, don't think so. Bit busy across the road. Maybe tomorrow night. 70p, please. Ta Thank you. See ya. Ta Joe! Just a man. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, could you tell Mike that I should have all the figures for a deal, delivery dates included, on his table by Monday latest? Uh, what deal's this? Uh, he knows all about it. Well, I don't. <laughs> he said now to me about it. No? Well, maybe it's something he thinks that you don't need to know. It's just a deal we're setting up, you know, big order at the factory. Anyway, tell him I'll be in touch on Monday, OK? Right, sure. Yeah. Now that I should have Mr Carter wondering what else Mike doesn't tell him. You don't like Joe, do you? Me? Can't think of a single reason why I should. Are you got to now? Are you, Dad? Yeah, yeah. Mum was cooking the roast chicken she's got. Roast potatoes and stuffing and everything. Ooh, right. Are you uh, up to eating it? Yeah, I'm fine. I put the potatoes. Oh, well done, you. Hiya. Hiya. Where's Sophie? She's at Katie's. No, she's watching a new video and she's staying the night. All right. So, uh, what's with the chicken? Are we uh, celebrating something? Well, I just thought I'd cook something a bit special seeing as I had time on my hands and seeing as we're not shaking the shilling quite as much now. What's shaking the shilling mean? Oh, something my mum used to say. It means making what money you've got go a long way. It's going to be ages yet, Kev. I've not put the chicken in, so if you want to go down to the rovers, you know, please yourself. I will do. But, uh, I'm soon to stay here. <laughs> Peter wants you to go back to him. <laughs> well, I'll never let him get that far, but I think that's what he's after, yeah. Well, didn't you talk to him at all? I told him it was too late for talking. Well, that's a bit hard, don't you think? Doesn't matter what me and you think, it's Shelley's life. I thought you were crazy about Peter. I was. And I wish all this hadn't happened, but it has. And when it came down to it, he either believed his pal or he believed me. And he believed his pal. And that tells me everything. Uh, I, uh, lager, please, Shelley, love. All right, love. Yeah, have you seen Peacock's house? I just spotted it now as I was walking past. What? They've only christened it, haven't they? How do you mean? Well, they've given the house a name. Balmoral. <laughs> yeah, the sign's up at the side of the door. Balmoral. Oh, they haven't. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, yeah. Why? I think it sounds classy. Not in a street like this, but... What's up with this street? It's as good as any other. Thanks, Shelley Lowe. It's silly, though. It's just keeping up with the Joneses, that mm. kind of thing. Mind you, right through English history, there's been a tradition of the naming of houses. You see, it Ryan understands these things. I mean, take Chatsworth, take Blenheim. I mean, 
in all essential respects, it's just the same as you calling your house done Roman or hers and mine. It's just your ordinary working people doing what your aristocrats have always done. Yeah. You see, you don't understand, because you live in the flats, don't you? Whereas if you had an house to be proud of... Now, the finest house name of them all, to my mind... Yeah, Buckingham Palace. Yeah, yes, yes, Vera, yes, quite distinctive. No, but to my mind, the finest house name of them all, one that radiates tradition and heritage and a quiet dignity, one that says everything about the house and the people who live there. Now, that name... What is it? What is it? Go on, tell us. What is it? Well, I take it we're seeing the last of Kieran. Yeah, I booted him out. said no real friend would have behaved like that. I'd give him his marching orders. Have you told Shirley this? I've tried. She don't want to know. Yeah, but you've got to persevere. You've got to make her believe you if you really want to get her back. Oh, I want her back. I want her more than anything in the world. Oh, God, how could I have been so stupid? No, we all do it. Join the club. There's always room for new members. So what do I do? What can I do? Well, you've got to convince her that you're truly sorry that you hurt her, that you really care about her and you want her back. But I've tried. And she won't talk to me. I tried again today. I begged her. I said, forgive me, please, have me back. And she said, it's over. And I've got to get used to it. See? I don't know how I could have been so stupid. Dad, she means everything to me. Well, all I can tell you is, don't give up. You've just got to keep trying. Where'd you get these from here? They dry in the kitchen. Mm. Who's that? Let's have a look. Looks like Blackpool, so that'll be you. That was Sophie. Nah, Sophie wasn't here then. There's Sophie on the swings, and that's you pushing her. He was the right little mother then, always fussing over her. Hey, there's Graham. Yeah. Why did she die? Well, she was ill. She had something wrong with her. Hey, there's Mum. What's she laughing at? No idea. I bet you said something funny. I don't know. Maybe. She's laughing at mine on all these. Yep. She doesn't smile much now. Well, maybe she's not had a lot to smile about lately. We'll be eating in ten minutes. Yes, I'm starving. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Oh, Richard, glad I bumped into you. I understand you're having a bit of a problem with your flats. Uh, well, you know, always problems in business, Mike. You ever heard it was bad? I mean, this bail hostel scheme is going to knock your market value for six, isn't it? Oh, more like a temporary dip, I'd say. I mean, these hostel plans aren't set in stone. And the flats are still first-class property, so uh, nothing I can't cope with. Ah, glad to hear it. See you. See you then. Uh, get the last scotch and we'll chill in. Right, Joe, what you gonna have? I'm all right, and yours is on its way at all. Now, that is what I like, a man with initiative. Yeah. Shall I tell you what I like? <laughs> well, I like a boss who keeps me in a picture. And what is all this about some sort of business deal involving dead Alan? Oh, there's nothing definite. He said he's got a cousin in the rag trade wholesale, I think he said, and he might give me an order. That's all I know. Cheers. Yeah, no. Thank you. I wonder Steph know. I mean, he's just some corner shop grocer, isn't he? Yeah, but he's got seven of them. Now, I don't know what he knows, and I don't care. As long as he can get me an order, that's fine by me. Yeah, no doubt. He'll want his cut. So he can get it off his cousin. Look, don't worry. Whatever the developments, you will be the first to know. Cheers. Oh, that was great, that cell, thanks. Yeah, it was well, Nick. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Right, come on, Rosie, it's time for bed. Mum, I'm nearly 12, I've not got to bed. Oh. You've got a long day tomorrow, you've got things to do. I bet Sophie will be seeing up really late Hey, it doesn't house. matter about what Sophie and Katie will be doing, does it? All right. Rosie, who's your mum says? If I have to. Dad, will you come upstairs and talk to me? Yeah, give us a shout when you're ready for bed. Night, Mum. Night, love. I'll get a saddle cab if you want to nip down to the robbers for a pint. You want commission from Fred Elliot? I says I'd talk to Rosie anyway. I should have stopped here. Saw so Mike Baldwin in the robbers. He knew about the flats. Well, you know how quick news travels round here. Yeah, I tried to make as little of it as I could. Tried to make out something I couldn't get sorted. Why? Now, look, girl, this is vital. If people get the idea that I'm in trouble, then I really am finished. People start clamouring to cash in their investments. The bank will want its loan repaid. We've got to put on a front so that nobody loses their trust in me. All right. 
Now that means that you confide in nobody. It all stays here, right here in this house, between you and me. I'm glad you mentioned the house, because I've been thinking. We need cash flow, right? To give us some breathing space. Yeah, I've had a couple of ideas about that, actually. Well, why don't we remortgage this place? No, I'm not going down that road. Why not? Mortgage rates are low. It's your house, Gail. It's our house. It's your basic security for you and the kids. We could raise some cash. And I remember when Sally needed money, you advised her to remortgage her place. No, that's completely different. The way I see it, I've got to get us out of this mess. Now, there's no way that I'm risking your home. I appreciate the offer. You're wonderful. But it's not on. Rosie's fast asleep. Oh, she's too old to be wanting stories told to her, really. Nah, she's just wanted to talk, you know. Well, finding out family history. Such as what? How we got together, that sort of thing. She seems happier than she was. Yeah, she does. Nah, I'm happier. Don't mind admitting it. I used to hate going back home to that grotty little flat on my own. Oh, I know what you mean. This time of night, I have to put the girls to bed. I used to sit here on my own and... Up. I'll give you an hand. No, there's no need, Kevin. I'm say I can do it on my own. I'm fine. Oh, no. Fair's fair. It's too nice. Oh, hey, Taya. The Wanderer returns. You have a good night. OK. Hey, there's a film coming on in about ten minutes. I've got a couple of beers in the fridge. Uh, no, I think I'm just going to go to bed. Night. To be here than in some restaurant. I'm glad you turned me down. Well, we could always go out another time. No reason why not. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not bothered. You know, one time I would have thought it was awful staying in on a Friday night. Yeah. You changed, don't you? for so long. Mom, are you still asleep? Kevin? Can you ever have the other one to find? There you go. One fried egg, sunny side up. Oh, thanks, Dad. Your ketchup's there. And if you eat all that, I'll do you another, OK? Hi, Mum. Dad's made my breakfast. Yes, I see. Good morning. You uh, fancy a fried egg? Uh, no, not me. Now, look, I'm uh, sorry about the state of the place. What do you mean? On the front room, my uh, bed sitter. I've not had time to put the sofa bed away yet. Ah, oh, I see. No problem. Hey, you don't know what you're missing, Mum? Pardon? That's just a well nice fried egg. Anything interesting in the post? No, just circulars. You know, I hardly slept a wink last night. I know. I wish you'd stop distressing yourself over this, Gail. I mean, it's my worry. It's our worry. We're partners, for better for worse, and all that. Anyway, I did come up with an idea. Why don't we ask my ma'am for a loan to tide us over the next few months? Because it's not a good idea. <laughs> At least think about it. I'm sure she'd be willing to help. This is much the same as your idea for remortgaging this house. I will not shift the burden onto you, Gail, and I will not shift it onto Audrey either. This is pride, isn't it? Some masculine, I'm the breadwinner sort of attitude. Maybe it is, but that's the way I am. Morning, Shelley. Morning. You know, 
I wish the local ale cans would stagger a bit further than our doorstep before they decided to drop the fish and chips everywhere. Yeah, well, you know what they say, never do it on your own doorstep. Still, rather you than me, love. <laughs> Mind you, I found worse things on this doorstep of the morning. <laughs> Don't ask. Morning, Eileen. Morning, Shell. Morning. Hey, uh, can I give you a hand with that job? No, you can't. He looks dead miserable since you split up. Well, it's his own fault. I know, but you can't help feeling just a bit sorry for him, though. I can. It's like the fella who's made this mess. He's had his chips. I hate this wallpaper. It's falling off, anyway. Mm. What? Hey, I'll tell you what. We should do this place up. You know, redecorating that. We could make it dead brilliant. Like, way out and really sensational. It's a lot of hard work, is decorating. Yeah, but it's a bit depressing like this, do you not think? Oh, don't bother me. It's just a place to sleep, really. Right, I'm off. I'm going to be out all day. All right, anyway, I might fancy. No, uh, I'm just meeting a mate from college. See ya. All right, yeah. See ya. Don't know anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> that silly, funny scope. Yeah. Where are you going? Only off to Rovers. You're getting a right boost at you. I blame our Jack. I'm only going meeting Kurt, that's all. Hey, Maria might have phoned from Canada again, mentioned something about me. Oh, I understand, Globe. You've got to drown your sorrows. Right, I'll come with you. All right. Yeah, yeah let's come over here a minute. What for? That. What do you think to that? What? That. Staring you in the face. Name on the house. Bound moral. Sounds dead posh to me. Hey, we could name our house, you know. Yeah, it'd be a nice surprise for our Jack. You what? That's your pie can. We could name our house. Oh, come on, let's get to Rovers. Did you say you were meeting Kirk? Right, we'll go ask him if he wants to come and have a bit of dinner with us. Uh, Hillman, uh, Richard Hillman. You did our wedding reception for us. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I did receive the invoice. Um, no, 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 it all seems to be in order. I'm, I'm not querying any of the items. I was, um, I, I was just wondering, and I would take this as a real favour, if it were possible to put this back by, say, uh, another month. Pardon? Oh, no, 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 it's simply a question of smoothing out cash flow. I'm sorry, I don't appreciate your tone. Well, let's just forget this entire conversation then, shall we? Is it true you and Karen have changed your minds about buying one of uh, Richard's new flats? Yep. Not exactly what you call a good investment, then. Well, it's supposed to be luxury flats out there. Nice apartments, all mod cons with top-class fittings, so I heard. Oh, yeah, true enough. Well, the problem is, the neighbours you get, you build a bail hostel practically next door, you're going to have a load of dodgy characters walking around. Well, looks like you and me, eh, Steve? Got to build them somewhere. Yeah, only not in my back, yeah. Right, what is the value of your house? Hey, so it's bad news to Richard Hillman, then? Yeah, you wouldn't be right, Chuff, would you? Well, it's a good job he can afford it, then, eh? All right, he stood to make a lot of money on them flats. Looks like now we just have to be happy we're breaking it. Right, it was for another. Very love. Uh, not for me, Joe, love. Have somebody to see. Kirk. Except again, show you love. Listen, you've got a power drill, haven't you? Well, I haven't, but my dad has. Well, it's the same difference. Listen, go home and bring it with you when you come for your dinner. I'll make sure you get a big helping. <laughs> See you, love. See ya. She's all right, ain't she, Vera? Oh, are you? Especially when she's after summer. So where's Kev? Oh, him and Rosie have gone to pick Sophie up from a pal's house. That was a big sigh. Came right up from your feet, did that? Well, between you and me, I let Kevin. I let Kevin into my bed last night. Mm, good for you, or should I say, um, good for you? Yeah, but that's not the point. Oh, of course it is. No, you don't understand, darling. It's going to complicate everything. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind a few of them complications myself. You see, I, I didn't intend that to happen. I don't think Kevin did either. It, it wasn't what I had in mind when I agreed for us to get back together. It was for the girls. And now this has happened, it's going to make Kevin think we're back to the good old days. Well, that wouldn't be such a bad thing, would it? The good old days are gone. Whatever me and Kevin have got between us, it's not love's young dream. 
No, he seems to think it is. Actually, uh, half a bit of beers. Okay. Will you have one with me? Oh, uh, no, I'm all right, thanks, Ken. Well, I, uh, I was rather hoping to find you when the pub was quiet. Oh, well, cool. Peter. Look, I've never seen him when he's so despairing. He's absolutely heartbroken. So, he sent you to plead for him, did he? No, no, he doesn't know I'm here, and he'd probably be very cross if he did. Look, Ken, he's supposed to be in love with me, right? And when he had to choose who he believed, he believed Kieran. Yeah, well, uh, I understand that part. And I, I don't think I'm trying to excuse him, I'm not, but... Well, he'd always looked up to Kieran, admired him for years and years, and I, I think he just finds it very difficult to accept that his greatest friend should do what he did. No, Ken, look, I'm not blaming you for trying, but I'm telling you this. If Peter's upset, then he deserves to be. The way he's treated me, the things he's said. And I'm never going to let him do that again. Not to me, anyway. <laughs> See what a surprise I've got for you. Oh, I could just go to sleep, me. Well, you shouldn't do not on a big dinner. All your innards could get twisted. You did enjoy your dinner, didn't you? Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's great as usual. <laughs> right, well, go get your dad's drill out here. Tyrone! Come out, I want you. What? I'm trying to watch a film. No, you don't. Don't you want to see what a nice surprise I've got in here? No, not really. Of course you do. It's a nameplate for ours. Oh, Vera, what a waste of money that is. No, it's not. Look, I am sick of being behind the door when all the posh stuff sanded out. And not only that, it'd give our house a bit more class. And if her across there can do it, well, so can I. So come on, get your tackle out, get shaping yourselves. And from what you've told me, Shelley didn't take it out on you, and there's some who would have done. No, she's a nice person, which is another reason I'm sorry Peter lost her. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Peter again, you think? Could be. Hello, Sandy. Hi. Come in. Thanks. What was it Ken you wanted to see? Yeah. Oh, pull through. Oh, hello. I'm sorry to burst in on you at the weekend. Some bad news, I'm afraid. It's Doris. Who's Doris? Uh, Hermione Fairfax, Sandy's agony aunt. Doris is her real name, Doris Slack. So, uh, what happened? Well, if truth be told, I think she got rather alarmed at the quality of your columns. I think she felt that if you deputised for her for much longer, she might not be wanted anymore. Well, I hope you told Doris not to worry. I've got no long-term ambitions in that field. I did tell her that. I don't think she believed me. Well, you tell Doris she can have a column back whenever she likes. She can't, I'm afraid. She insisted on coming back to work at once, all against doctor's advice, got as far as the office lift and had some sort of stroke. Oh, Lord. I'm told she'll live, fingers crossed. Oh, I hope so. But she won't be able to work again for a long time, if ever. You probably realise why I'm here. I need a new Hermione, Ken. Will you do it? <sighs> Look, get a move on, Tyrone. It's going to be down by the time you've finished. Yeah, well, if you know so much about it, why don't you do... Oh, 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 oh. don't be so mad. Hey, Kirk, you do it. Move out of the way, Tyrone. <sighs> Look, will you stop moaning? You don't know what pain is, men. They have to have babies. It'll be end of the world. That's it. Hey, hey, that's lovely, the old treachery. Will you stop sucking your thumb? People will think you're not a full shilling. Here. Put a few thousand on house, will thou? The old rectory? More like the old infirmary. Shut up, it's lovely. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Vera. Well, I never intended to do it for more than two or three weeks. You know that, Sandy, writing body stripper stories and being agony aunt to unhappy readers. I do know that. I also know you have a talent for it. She's right, Ken, you do. And I have a shrewd suspicion you've rather enjoyed being Hermione Fairfax this past week or so. Well, yes, I suppose I have. There's no suppose about it. Yeah, but look, school term starts the week after next. I'm going to be very busy, and I've already got my regular column that I write for you. No. Hmm? 
why don't we give Ken's corner a rest for a while? You're much more valuable to me as Hermione. Oh, go for it, Ken. Oh, yes. You but... like doing it, you're good at it. What more do you want? Oh, all right. Okay, Sandy, I'll be your Hermione Fairfax. You Can I come in? Yes, yes, come in. Hey, love, it's great to see you. Look, I'll uh, get to the point. I came here to, to ask you something. You will, whatever you want, yeah? The answer's yeah. I'll agree to anything. No, if you'll give me another chance. No, just a minute. What I'm trying to ask you is... When I told you that Kieran had tried to make a pass at me, why didn't you believe me? Well, OK, then. Why did you believe him when he, when he said it was the other way around? I've been stupid. I know I know. I have. I know that. That's not answering my question. I know this is... No, so, no, wait. No, please, wait. Please, look, I will... Uh, let me try and explain. When, when we first got together, I mean, especially, you know, when we started living here... It... God, this is really difficult. I mean... I don't even know how to put this. But just, just try. I'm trying, I am trying. It's just that, you know... I always felt deep down that, you know, that, that you could always do better than me, that, um, that another fellow would come along and, you know, you, you were going to fancy him more than you fancied me, and then, you know, eventually you'd leave me. I left because of the way he behaved. That you'd sooner believe him over me. I never fancied him, Peter. No, but I know that now. You know, Shell, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, you must still like me a little bit, just a bit. But because otherwise you wouldn't have come here, would you? Eh? I mean, look, is there any chance? I mean, can we give it another try? All I want is just a chance to just to prove myself to you. I don't know, Peter. Cause I, I thought I knew you, but then I found out I don't. Look, but I, I love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world, right? And all I'm asking is just please, just, please, just give me a chance to prove it. Please. Well, I'll think about it. Oh, shit. No, look, I said I'll think about it, and I will. But I'm not promising anything else, Peter. Hey, we'll never guess what Vera Duck was just coming up now. I can't say I'm all that interested, Ashley. She's a very common woman. Well, well fair enough. But what is it? What? About Vera Duckworth? Oh, your mum's not going to hear about it, she just said. Yeah, but it's obviously amusing, eh? Yeah, well, it's funny. Oh, well, if it's funny, Ashley, we might as well know. She's only got another name from the house, same as we have. She hasn't. She has. Just like we have. What, oh, Balmoral? She can't do that, she'll get our post. No, oh, she's not called it Balmoral, she's called it the old rectory. Oh! The cheek of it. And why you find it funny, Ashley, I'm sure I do not know. Yes, it's not funny at all. Yeah, well, I'm only telling you. No, she's a messenger. Rosie, we keep an eye on Sophie. She's washing her hair. I just don't want her to flood the bathroom. Yeah, OK. Kevin, I, um... I wanted to talk to you, and... Easy with the girls about. Will they not keep till they're in bed? Maybe not. I think we ought to get it settled before. It's about what happened last night. I know. How do you mean? I know it shouldn't have happened. I'm not complaining. I'm glad it did. All I'm saying is I can see you worried. You think I'm going to be taking all kinds of things for granted now, don't you? I'm not sure what to think, to be honest. I'm not stupid, so. I know we're not back where we was, and I know you don't want that this moment in time, but well, I've said I'll do it your way, and I'm not going back on that. I see. Thanks, Kev. What for? For being so nice. Yeah. And the kids have said good night. 
Well, certainly better up enough from him. Right. I really appreciate you being so reasonable about all this. Well, like I said, I'll do it your way, and hopefully one day you'll want something different. Yeah. Mm, here we go. Two steps forward, one step back. I'll call you later. Hiya. Hello. Not a lot. I've been bored out of my head. Well, look, I borrowed a couple of videos off my mate. I thought we might fancy watching some at tonight. All right. Well, I thought a bottle of red wine is aft. So, do you fancy a glass? Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, good. There's a corpse screen here somewhere. Look, you know that idea of yours? What idea? decorating the flat and I said it was a lot of work. Well, supposing we threw a party, a flat decorating party. How does one of them work? Well, I don't know, I've only just thought of it. Well, I suppose you'd invite people and it's a party and that, but everyone who comes has to paint a door or paper a wall, you know, just do a bit. Oh, yeah, it sounds great. Hey, we could make this place psychedelical. <laughs> Is that the word I'm looking for? Near enough. Oh, good. Well, I'll drink to that. <laughs> Tea's ready in five minutes. Okay. I'm only trying to help you, Richard. Yeah, I know that. But you're too stubborn and you're too proud to let me. You're shutting me out, and that hurts. You're right, I'm sorry, girl. But it's difficult for me. I, I've just got this deep-seated instinct that tells me that I'm the one who has to get us out of this crisis. Please let me help. I will, I promise. Good. So think about what I said this morning. We need some money to tide us over, right? So he asked me man for a loan. I'm sure she'd be willing to help. And after all, she's left a will that leaves everything she's got to me. I'm sure she'd be happy to help now instead of years from now. But there's something you're overlooking. Audrey hasn't got much in the way of what we call liquid assets. Cash in the bank. There's all those investments she put her into. It isn't the time to cash them in now. And anyway, there isn't that much. No, I mean, Audrey's worth quite a bit, I grant you that. But it's in a house and a business property. I mean, that won't become real money until her properties are sold when she dies. So, thanks for trying, Gail, but I think we're going to have to think again. I might have known. Oh, hello, love. There's such a thing as good taste, you know. Uh, what do you mean? That. <gasps> do you mean name on house? Good, in it? Good. On your house, it is ludicrous. It's like... It's like a pig wearing a pearl earring. Oh, hey, listen. You're not the only one that can name the house, you know. I wouldn't care, but you're not just a copycat. You... Yes, I'll say it. You are living a lie, a downright lie. This house is not an old rectory. It has never been an old rectory. It is what it always was, a squalid hovel. I mean, if you'd called it the old pigsty, I could understand it. Hey, now, listen, if you're going to be like that, answer me this. Why did you call your house Balmoral? Balmoral, my backside. If you think your something saving your house looks like a royal Scottish palace, I'll plat sawdust. I'll not stand here and, and, and argue with the likes of you. Go on, then. Truth hurts, doesn't it? Go on, get back home. Hey, and another thing. Your house is made of brick, whereas mine is made of stone. So we're a team, OK? We're in this together. We're a team. So, this breathing space we need to keep us going I still say we can remortgage the house. Now, I know you don't like the idea, but I do. And it's my house. Although I prefer to think of it as ours. Go on, Richard. I'm sure it makes sense. Well, it does make good financial sense, I must admit. All right, Gail. You win. Good. Now, you see, I am being of some use to you. You are wonderful. I'm the luckiest man in the world. Thank you. My pleasure. Just one thing, though. Nobody must know that we're raising money on this house. Not the kids, even. If word gets round, then people might start losing confidence in me. And that mustn't happen. So you must talk to nobody. 
Not even my mother. Especially your mother. If Audrey gets wind of the fact that we've got financial problems, she'll talk. And if word gets out, well, then we really are finished. Morning, Peter. Oh, morning, Blanche. So, has she come back yet, or are you still on your own? Nah, she, well, she came around the flat yesterday, but only to tell me she'd no, she'd not made her mind up yet. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm still on my own. Some women like to keep a man guessing. Oh, well, it's not much fun if you're the man. You want to tell her straight. You're not going to wait forever. A good looker like you. There's plenty of other fish in the sea. Ah, well, thanks. I'll be round to see you later, when I've made my selection. Well... Open all day. Oh. Anyway, he tells me this tale about how he always thought I'd fancy someone else rather than him, which is why I believe Kieran's lies about me. Which might be true, but what does that prove? Still means he didn't trust me. Oh, hello. Hello, Blanche. Just been talking to our Peter. I was telling him there's other fish in the sea. <laughs> Not as many as there used to be, I hear. Um, you'll find out different if you're not careful. <laughs> so you were saying he didn't trust you? No. Does that matter? Of course it flipping does. No, I suppose I'd sooner somebody didn't trust me than somebody I couldn't trust. I'd rather have neither. Morning. Hi. Morning. Just to let you know, I'm not going to be here. I've got to go see my cousin Levine. Business won't wait. So do I not get a break? Oh, what do you need a break for? All you do with your ears, drink coffee and talk to your mates. Well, that's why we have to come in and see her, cos we know she never gets out. Mm. Well, I'll take over this afternoon. She can have some time off then. Ciao. I've heard that before. Listen, i better get going. So what are you going to do about Peter, then? <sighs> you tell me. See ya. See you, love. See you, girl. If you're serious about remortgaging this house... How many more times? Which you are. You are. I am. Well, then, it might be wise not to be too honest about it. So what are you up to? Fed up. Nobody about. No, they've all gone away. I'm sure they haven't. Look, uh, see what you can spend that on. <laughs> oh, thanks. He's already had his spending money. Bank holiday bonus. No, what I mean is, the bank might not be too impressed if you tell them we need the money to bail us out. I mean, no-one likes lending to a bad risk. Is that what we are? Not really, no, but we don't want them to think that we are. So? So, um, you tell them you need the money to, you know, redecorate the house, buy new furniture, that sort of thing. And the other thing is, don't sound desperate. Act like you're doing them a big favour, asking them to lend you the money. You might even go so far as to say, and if you don't come through the money quick like, uh, I might just decide to go somewhere else. Oh, come on. What? Putting on a performance like that, I mean, you might be able to do it, but... I'm not sure I can. OK. Imagine that I'm the mortgage advisor. In fact, I'll pay for my papers while I'm here. Hello, right, hey, Vera. Oh, hello, love. Hello, man, it's Vera. Is she? Always gives me a bit extra if I go to the cafe for my breakfast. Are oh, you, Vera, eh? That's our secret, Dad. We'll get me into bother. Well, what number was it again? Uh, no, mm. number nine, isn't it? Yeah, the old rectory. Sorry? Name of our house. The old rectory. Oh, you've moved. No, it's still the same house, only we've given it a name. Well, a lot of folk do, don't they? I mean, like Clarence House and Dunroaming. Well, we've named ours. The old rectory. Good, in it? Yeah, yeah, it has a certain ring to it, yes. <laughs> in fact, listen, um, is there any chance I could uh, register it? You know, at the post office? And then it could be on all our mail. Oh, I, I, I don't know. It's not a question we get asked much round here. Did, did you want me to inquire? Well, it's only right, really, because that's its name. It's only right that folks should use it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah serve this young man first. So, is there out we want? Um, well, you can get us some milk, but make sure it's semi-skimmed, though. Oh, no, Maxie, look. Who's done that? Oh, well, I don't think there's much of a mystery there. I think we know who's done it. Immoral? Is that, like, meant to be funny or something? No. What it's meant to be, it's meant to be her way of getting her own back. Because of what I said about that name she's given her house, the old... whatever it oh, is. Oh, Vera Duckworth? Well, who else? Has to be her. David, do you know anything about this? No, what? 
immoral. Yes, thank you. We can read. I've told you who knows all about it. You don't need to look any further than over there in that slum that she's gone and stuck that ridiculous name on. Well, sure. Somebody's got them painted on our sign. Uh, uh yes. Yeah, uh, excuse me. Yes, you. You know something about this, do you? Because you can get some methylated spirits and you can clean it off. Do you like shouting at fucking street? You want to get her seen, her? She's not right in the head. Uh, Vera, do you know anything about this? Immoral? Aye, <laughs> that's good, isn't it? So, you're admitting it? I'm admitting no such thing. It's no to do with me. Oh, and you expect us to believe you? Well, you can believe what you like, but it's truth. Well, we'll see if the police believe it, shall we? Ashley, ring 999. Look, there's no need for that. We've got the police over here. Yes, let's see what she's got to say. Yeah, happen it for you, they'll get carted away. Making false accusations. There's nothing false about my accusations. Fuck's sake, stop her, can you? How? Oh. Anyway, what if she's right? Yeah, what if she's wrong, then what's gonna happen? Oh, yeah. Look, well, you tell this woman. She can't keep shouting her mouth off, accusing folk of, of doing things they haven't done. What? And I want to report wanton damage to our house, or anyway, to, to our Maxine's house. Come and have a look for yourself. Well, I'd rather not. It's my day off. Well, if you really need the police, I suggest you ring the station. No, you can't just say that. Why should we ring station when we've got you here? Well, is anyone injured? Uh, don't be daft. How can somebody be injured with a nameplate? It's criminal damage, though. Uh oh Sorry, you'll have to sort it out between you. a good man to report her. Oh, they wouldn't take any notice if you did. Mum! Leave it! Come on! Oh, uh, uh, yes, yes, all right. Uh, well, well, don't think you've heard the last of this. Oh, get back to your immoral... Bow moral, if you don't mind. Mum, oh, come on! Immoral... Bow moral! Did I like that? Now, it's possible, when you tell your mortgage advisor about all this work we're having done... None of which is true. It's possible that he might ask you for estimates. Oh, oh! No, 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 you don't have to worry. You just say, yeah, sure, I'll get the estimates. And leave it to me. I can always get estimates, it's no problem. It's a problem to me, telling all these lies. It's not lies, Gail, it's, it's just standard procedure. Oh, you should have been in the street just now. David, we're talking. It was fantastic. Listen, I gave you some money, can't you find something to do with it? Already off. Money, money, money. It's all we ever talk about. Sorry, I'm, I'm only trying to do my best for all of us. I know. It'll be OK. I'll practice in front of the mirror before I go and I'll do everything like you told me. It's only white lies, Gail. You'll not be doing anybody any harm. I know. Be OK. You're, uh, you're not with Peter anymore, then? No. We fell out. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, love. I thought you were a lovely couple. <laughs> we were, but for a while. Nobody knows what goes on in other folks' bedrooms. I hope they don't. <laughs> it was nothing to do with anything that was going on in any bedroom. If you must know, it was a matter of Peter not believing something I told him. No, I weren't insinuating. Any road, who am I to talk? I say, who am I to talk? Mess I've made of my own life. You think me now I'm going to keep my gob shut? I'll go and open up. Not worse than a bloke who feels sorry for himself. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. That's just how Peter is now. Well, do you think you'll get back together again? Or is this going to be permanent? Well, he wants me back. I mean, he's promised me all sorts. Yeah. I just don't know. I don't know that if I do go back, then it's not going to all just happen again. Now, this is a rare and wonderful sight. Mm -hmm. A man happy in his work. What do you want? No, oh, you carry on. Carry on. I'll talk to the organ grinder. Ah, oh, shit. Sure. Take a seat. Now, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. My own office. You can have this one. Make me an offer. Yeah, well, I might one day, but not today, because today I've been to see Naveen. 
Oh, your cousin. Mm -hmm. King of the wholesalers. <laughs> well, he likes to think he is, but seriously, he does handle big orders. Bigger than I think you're used to. Now, I've told him all about what you do, and he's interested. He's that interested. Where is he? Exactly. Now, you've got to meet him. Now, you tell me when, and I'll arrange it. All right. But uh, one question. Mm -hmm. What's in it for me? Yeah. Nothing. I know him, I know you. I think you can both do one another a lot of good. And you just like to see people making money? Yeah. Yeah. People are no friends of mine. Yeah, I do. What am I going to do about that sign? Just can't keep it like that, immoral. I'm going to take it down as soon as I get back. I don't think my mum will agree with that. Yeah, well, it's not her house, is it? Well, she was the one that bought it for us. I'm sure we won't tell her. What, you think she's not going to even notice? Yeah, of course she will, but it'll be too late then, won't it? Because I'm going to take it down, chuck it away where she'll never find it. There is one other thing that's going to happen if we remortgage the house. I get locked up for lying to me, Ben. <laughs> Apart from that. No, I mean, we won't be able to move. Well, I imagined we wouldn't be anyway. Yeah, but the kids don't know that. And um, won't they just love it when we tell them otherwise? Well, I, I thought they were keen on the idea. Only because they thought we were dead set on the idea and they didn't have a choice. No, don't you worry about the kids. They'll be delighted. Yes, Mike? Last scotch and a pint of bitter for my hard-working mechanic here. Oh, cheers, cheers. No, I mean it. You're doing a good job with those machines. Yeah, well, I suppose it keeps me out of the way, doesn't it? While you and Mr. Local Shopkeeper cook up deals between you, hmm? Oh, I didn't know it was coming in, did I? Anyway, I was going to tell you all about it. Yeah, when, Mike? All right, well, I'm telling you now. They've seen this cousin of his, and he reckons we can do a bit of business together. Well, I know that much, don't I? I was listening. So why are you asking? Because I don't understand. Why are you placing such trust in this guy? I'm not, which is why I'm going to meet him and see for myself. I suppose 60, please, Mike. Take one yourself. Thank you. Cheers. Shelley, look, uh, I'm sorry, but, you know, can we, can we please have a word? No, I'm serving. Yes, I know you're serving, but can you not serve and talk at the same time? No, I can't. No. Can I get you something, love? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll have a pint, please, oh. Betty. So, uh, so, come on, have you made a decision about what you're going to do? No, I haven't. Well, when will you? Well, not now. You're not helping, you know, going on about it. Oh, really, am I not? And how do you think it feels for me? I mean, I can't even concentrate on my work, because all I'm thinking is, has she made a decision? When's she going to tell me? When I'm good and ready. Now, just leave me alone, will you? Leave you alone? What, so you can take as long as you like, keep me dangling on a string or no shell? I'll tell you what, I'm not having that. You've got until tonight. For what? If you're not back by tonight, don't bother coming back at all. OK. <laughs> Sponsors Coronation Street. Waste Warriors. Saving old faves from landfill. That's the eBay way. At Lidl, we're big on British spring. And what could be more British than British daffodils putting a spring in your step? Or hot cross buns baked in Britain. Fresh little veg, so tasty, even the kids will eat them. Maybe. And everyone going, ooh, when you bring out the chicken. Now that's big on quality. And always little on price. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to eat. Sorry. Over 50 years of living with pain. I was told it was just wear and tear. Or maybe it's in your head. No one was listening. They just looked at me and assumed I was an overly dramatic woman. Neurofen is committed to help close the gender pain gap with new research and more training for doctors and pharmacists. See my pain, Neurofen. She'll be running underworld before you know it. Argos sponsors Coronation Street. Time to do smoke with Sally's old shop. Yeah, about time and all. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just trying to eat this. Careful, you're going to oh. fall in. Just get out of there, will you? Oh. How about that for the radio, then? 
Nothing wrong with that. How do you know there's nothing wrong with it? It probably don't work. Just needs cleaning. Come on. You go in and talk to your mum. I'll just nip round back and get me toolbox. Make sure she stays in there so it gives me a chance. What's she done now? Covered it up. You better leave it. Well, I can still take it down. No, Ash. It's hers. She paid for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. He's all yours. I'm going down that and do it yourself, please, to get some paint. And what do you want paint for? To repaint that sign. What do you think? It's not stopping like it is. Immoral. She might be, her that did it, but this is Balmoral, and it's Balmoral it's going back to. Was it you that put the cloth over it? Yeah, well, thought it best. Keep out prying eyes till we can get it back to what it should be. There's a lot of other expense, though, isn't it? Hey, why don't we just take it down better off without it anyway? Well, I'm surprised to hear you say that. I thought you liked it. And is this what you think as well? No, I liked it. You said you did as well. Well, we thought it was made a mess of, yeah? But it's never going to look like it was, whatever you do to it. I don't see why not. I'm a dab hand at makeup. Don't see why I can't manage a bit of paint. And anyway, whatever it looks like, it'll let Vera Duckworth see that we're standing up to her. And she's not going to have everything her own way. Yeah, well, I agree with that. Shan't be long. Did you hear him when you were serving him this dinner time? Saying that I've got till tonight to go back us. After that, he won't have me. Look, we all say things we don't mean, love. <laughs> well, he does. I mean, last night he was saying how much he loved me and he'd do anything to get me back. And then it's, you better be quick, cos I'm going to bow the door to you. Oh, dear. Well, thank you very much, Peter. I think you just help me mend mine. Am I going to be running this bar all afternoon on my own, then? We'll be here in a minute. Oh, right. So, when you say that he helped you make your mind... That I'm not going back. Oh. I mean... He's just reminded me how he behaves, Betty. Changing his mind from one day to another. I never know what I'm going to get next. No. I'm sorry. I've had enough. What's that? So, uh, I mean, you know, what, what has she said to you? Well, I think she was upset that you didn't believe her. Yeah, and I should have done. I mean, I know that now, don't I? And I've told her. I've said I'm sorry. And nobody's ever been sorrier. But nothing I say to her seems to get through to her. I mean, I don't know what else I can do, you know? Not a lot, I suppose, except keep on telling her. Yeah. Well, I think I might have done too much of that already, because then she thinks I'm pestering her and she gets all annoyed with me. Oh, I don't know. Well, good luck anyway. Thanks. Mm. I definitely... Right, move. I'll take over. Doesn't seem to be much point at this time. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I just couldn't get back any sooner, right? Oh, actually, you can take over. There's something I have to do. Hey. I think it needs new batteries. I think you do. Anyway, so what if you do get it to work? Les has got loads of radios and stereos all over the place. They're all better than that. Well, OK, so you can have it. <laughs> no, I bought Maria's stereo, didn't I? No, thanks. Oh, hello. Taking it easy, are you? Oh, we are, yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, Vera. Do you want a radio? Why are you giving them away? Well, uh, I'll give you this one, yeah? For all them extra beans you keep giving me. But he might need new batteries. It's no joke, is it? It's not going to blow up or out. No joke, honest. It's a good radio, that. It's just, you know, superfluous to requirements. Oh, well, yeah, great, thanks. Hiya. Hiya. Would you believe it? Dev's only just got back. I have been in there all day on the other. Oh, you poor thing. Let me get you a drink. Can I have a glass of red, please? And listen, I've got something to tell you. Oh, go on. Pete came in. Mm. Wanting to know what you were thinking of doing. So, this morning, he sets Blanche after me. Dinner time, he comes nagging me in here. Now he's had a go at you. But listen, I think you should give him another chance. Oh, yeah, why? Because he loves you. Well, he says he does. Yeah, well, I believe him. And I think you do too, deep down. Only you're trying to show that you're not soft and you don't want to let anybody talk you into something you don't want to do. Well, you've shown it. And he's shown you how upset and how sorry he is. And so now you've both done what you had to do. So will you, for goodness sake, go and see him, put your arms around him and tell him he's forgiven? What do you think? Maybe it'll look a little bit better when it's finished. Mm. I'm wondering if I should have used a finer brush. I hope I don't get blamed for that and all. Ignore her, take the notice. Yeah, well, you want to stand guard tonight? 
or else you don't know what it'll be saying tomorrow morning. You heard that? That's as good as a confession. Oh, she's only trying to wind you up. Well, she wants to be careful. Or she might find she's succeeded. Maybe we should um, get somebody in to do it properly. What do you think? Oh, I shall. Um, right, I'm just... Oh, um, don't let me interrupt your tea. Oh, no, it's... Uh... No, it's fine. I've had enough anyway. Oh, uh, don't throw them away. Hmm? I'm starving. Oh, right. Well, OK, here. Yeah. Oh. Hey, being my guest. It's a uh, fork. Right, well, look, can I get you a drink? Do you want a glass of wine? Yeah, go on, then. Only, I best warn you, I'm not stopping. Oh, shell. Oh, Betty should have gone home by now, but she's hanging on for me so I could come and talk to you. Only I promised I wouldn't be more than half an hour. Oh, well, OK, well, uh, we'll sit, let's, let's talk then, OK? We'll talk. So, um, Well, have you made a decision? I thought you were going to get me a drink. Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, a glass of white wine. Thanks. Oh, Norris, have a drink with me. What would you like? Oh, that's very kind. Do you know, I think I'll try half a bit for a change. Half a bit of that, love, and the same again for me. Double, is it? Oh, seeing as bank holiday. Yes, so did you find out about us registering the name at ours? Uh, yes, I did, dear, but uh, I don't think you're going to like it. <laughs> Go on. Well, they say it'll cost you £100 to uh, register the name with the council. £100? Honest? Yeah, if you want it done officially. And if you've got more money than sense. Well, thanks for trying to help us, but I think we'll just have to think about it. And then decide not to bother. Ah. Uh... Hey, Vera. Keep bumping into you, don't we? Yeah, we do today, don't we? Now, listen, you know that radio? It's not working. Oh, I said he might need new batteries. Well, I got new batteries, but it didn't seem to make any difference. Well, it won't, will it? Look, Vera, it's one somebody had thrown away. He found it in a skip. I see. Well, I'll tell you what, Vera. Let me buy you a drink, eh? Well, anyway, Fizz will. Well, you said you was getting them, didn't you? Then what I'll do is, I'll take the radio back and see if I can get it working for you. Oh, no. You're welcome to it. Keep it. I'm thinking about getting a brand new one. It's my birthday soon. For dropping off ends. Well, you never know, I might get one. <laughs> Enjoyed, then. Good. OK, well. You know, um, setting Blanche on me wasn't the cleverest of ideas. Well, I didn't. And then threatening me. Threatening you? Telling me that I'd be out of here for good if I didn't give you an answer by tonight. Ah, uh, no, Shell, look, I, I, I'm sorry about that. I mean, I, I just said it. I mean, I didn't mean it, it just came out. It's funny how you keep saying things you don't mean, isn't it? Yeah, it's not very clever, is it? Mm. I'm sorry. There's something else I keep doing a lot of, isn't it? Keep saying I'm sorry. So, when you tell me that you love me, do you mean that? Well, you know I do. Well, Sunita seems to believe you. She said you went in there and had a go at her as well. Yeah, but, I, I mean, I didn't just go in the shop for that reason. It's just that it's the only thing that's been on my mind lately. I never flirted with Kieran, you know. I know. I've never flirted with anybody. No. I love you. So... I mean, might you come back? Love me. Oh, sure. Do you know what? What? You taste the chips. <laughs> so do you. Ah, oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hey, behave yourself. Why didn't you wake me up? Well, because I was going to bring you breakfast in bed, but as you can see, I, uh, well, I just, uh, I forgot to do any shopping. You just can't cope without me, can you? No, I can't. You have got that right. Do you know what? I'm so glad that you're back. Mm, I guess. I hated being on my own. So did I. 
You okay? What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. I, I just can't help feeling a bit awkward about Sunita, that's all. Oh, uh, in what way? Well, I just think she liked me being around the place. To be honest, I think she's a bit lonely. Oh, I see. So, uh, does that mean you're having second thoughts? Hey, what makes you say that? Well, no, it's, it's just sounding a bit to me like, you know, you've, that you're not quite sure. Peter, of course I'm sure. Listen, if I didn't want to be here, I wouldn't be here, all right? You've got to start believing me. Yes, sorry, I do. I do, shall I do, I believe you. Good. Stop being so paranoid. Right. And uh, when you've done that, you can take me to Roy's Rolls for your breakfast. Is this OK? You look lovely. Are you sure? Is it smart enough? Kayla, okay, well, you're only seeing a mortgage advisor. They don't care what you look no, like. I don't want to get this wrong. You won't. Just stick to your story. Tell them we need the money for home improvements. Chances are they won't even ask. I still wish you were coming in with me. Oh, you'll be fine. Anyway, I'll be far too busy sweet-talking Keith Greenacre. Why do you think he wants to see you? Oh, I don't know. You know, bank managers always arranging meetings to justify their existence. Anyway, whatever it is, it won't be a problem. We go back a long way. I'll get it. Oh, hi, Audrey. Oh, there is she Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. Hi, Mum. You OK? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just popped in for a chat, but uh, I'll see you busy. What's the occasion? Um, Richard's taking me into town for a business meeting. Yeah, it's a, it's a marketing seminar for financial advisors. Bit dull, really. Oh, oh, I think that's lovely. I, I mean, a lot of men like to keep their wives at arm's length when it comes to business. Not me. Oh, well, won't keep you. I'll see you later. Okay. All right, bye-bye. You OK? I don't like lying to her, Richard. I know, and I, I wish it wasn't necessary, but... Look, if you're not sure about remortgaging the house, just say so. I don't want to force you into anything. You're not forcing me. I want to help. Believe me, you are. With your money and a little bit of leverage from my bank, we'll soon be out of this mess, I promise. Peter? Peter? How are you bearing up today? Oh, I'm, a, I'm not so bad, thanks, Blanche. Uh, do you know, I've been thinking about you and that Shelley. You won't realise it now, but you're best off without her. Oh, I see. Oh, you reckon? Yes. You see, I know you like her. But to tell you the truth, I've never been that keen. I mean, all that blonde hair and them tight tops. Very cheap. Oh, hello, Blanche. Are you coming in or what? Shelley? Yeah, I uh, didn't get a chance to tell you, Blanche. We got back together. Mm. You up for it, then? Rover's dinner time. I'll tell you what, you can even buy me a pint. I can't, as I'm skint. But it's my birthday. You've got to buy a man a pint on his birthday. You never said it was your birthday. What do you reckon? 47 years old. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Wouldn't you? Of course not. Look at me. I'm like a man half my age. See, them doctors have got it wrong. It's not the healthy stuff that keeps you young. You know, exercise and broccoli. No. No. Beer and fags, pal. Beer and fags. So I'll see you in the rovers at half twelve. <whistles> oh. oh. Hey, Blanche. Take a look at this. I bet you didn't know overalls could be that sexy. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Like a couple of little peaches. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> what are you lot laughing at? Hey, you've kept that quiet, love. You never told us that you had a bloke that does. Yeah, what else does he do? <laughs> I should make you pay for this. Ha <laughs> ha, you'll be lucky. And so what does it say exactly? Balmoral. It's Balmoral, as in the Queen's residence. Look, hurry up, will you? Why? What are you going to do? Walk him in the tower. <laughs> yeah, I bet he's been a very naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything all right? Oh, fine, shouldn't it be? Yeah, I just didn't want things to be awkward between us again. Well, the tower? Oh, I suppose not. You were great with Rosie this weekend. Oh, well, then, stop worrying. Relax. As long as you know where to stand. Hiya. How was your arm? Still hurt? It's a bit better. I still can't believe I've got to go to Wethfield Comp with a broken arm. Well, at least it's your left arm. You'll still be able to write. 
Mum, I do know that. Yeah, don't want you falling behind your schoolwork. Not now you're in Weatherfield Comp. Don't know why everyone's making such a fuss. She all right? Of course she is. Just feels a bit daft because she fell over on Red Wreck. <laughs> right, Karen, I'm going to make a move. I'm off to the job centre this morning. Yeah? Yeah, well, now the girls are back at school, I'll be able to get a full-time job again. Hey, then we'll see a difference. Two wages, one house. Yeah, and then we'll know it's all been worth it. Right. I don't think there was anything else, unless you... No, no, I'm fine. Joe? An order this large, we're going to need payment on delivery. I'll have a check waiting for you. You have my word. There's one thing bugging me. I expected him to be a lot older than he is. <laughs> well, listen, the bean's a man after your own heart, Michael. He left school when he was 15, he's been making himself a small fortune ever since. Is he always this suave? Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, well, listen, it runs in the family. You see, Dev understands how I operate. Business means nothing to me without good relationships. Exactly. Wouldn't you agree, Mike? I uh, like to make a bit of profit as well. Listen, if you have any worries about this order, you get in touch with Joe here. He's the one that'd be cracking the whip. And you're confident you can deliver on an order this size? It's not a problem. Our girls are fast. I'll have to be. Still, as long as your management skills are as good as your team, maybe, <laughs> I should have nothing to worry about. Thanks very much, Mike. And you. Pleasure doing business with you. Call me. Yeah. Well, you could be a bit more enthusiastic. This is a good deal. Yeah, that's all you keep saying. Well, you obviously can agree with me. I just think we need to be a bit careful, Mike, that's all. All right, so it's a new client. But we still got to protect our existing customers. And we will. Well, I'm going to set. What about the deal I set up with Reynards? I mean, if we're going to complete this, that's going to have to go on hold, isn't it? They're small fry. Let them wait. And of course, as with any mortgage, your home is at risk if you fail to keep up with the repayments. I understand. I'm sure there won't be a problem. So, you plan to make some home improvements? Yes. I'm the same with our house. Drives my husband mad. He says it's like living with Carol Smiley. Oh, uh, when do you think you'll be able to release the money? Usually takes about a week, but just estimating. A three-bedroom semi in this area should be worth about 50,000. So you should be looking at around 17 and a half thousand pounds, which is the amount you were after. And that's it? That's it. See, I told you. There's no need to look so worried. Oh, you're looking very well, Keith. Not too bad. Yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah. Great, great. Good. Good. Well, thanks for coming in. Take a seat. Thanks. Right. No point in beating about the bush. I've been looking at your account, and I'm getting a little worried about the extent of your overdraft. I appreciate that, Keith, but as I explained, it's only a temporary cash flow problem. Temporary? As far as I can see, there's very little evidence to suggest the situation's about to get any better. You've missed the last two payments on the loan as well, and you, uh, you don't seem to have the funds to make the next one. Oh, well, that's not strictly true. I should shortly be in receipt of a cheque for around £18,000, so that should go when? some... When? Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I should be able to confirm that by the end of the day. Right, to start, I suppose. And what about the flats? Any movement on those? Um, we've, um, we've hit a, a bit of a hitch on those, actually. Uh, no, nothing serious. Uh, a couple of people have pulled out. Why was that? There was, um, a bit of concern over the possibility of a, uh, a, a bail hostel being opened in the vicinity. Sorry, a bail hostel? So weren't you aware of this before you made your planning application? Uh, unfortunately, um, that was an oversight by my late partner, but, um, uh, I really don't think it'll be a problem. Well, from where I'm sitting, it's an extremely serious problem. Hi, love. How are you? Oh, hi, love. How did you go on? Not too bad. Thanks for having Rosie for me. I wanted to sign a pot, but she wouldn't let me. Oh, we were ages. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You know what it's like in the job centre. Hey, have you seen that skip outside your old shop? They must be doing something. Yeah, don't know what. Not my problem, though. No, I suppose not. I can't understand you wanting to go out to work, you know, when Kevin's bringing a wage in. Hey, I need me independence for it. Don't do to rely on a man. Hey, what about me without Jack, eh? What's all this, then? 
You, driving your wife out to work, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Come on, love, get your sticky bum. So how'd you get on? Yeah. Find out. All right, they're looking for people at Weatherfield Comp. Oh, dinner later? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. Well, look, I'll be able to keep my eye on Rosie and it'll do till something better comes up. Yeah, well, I just can't see you doling out lumpy custard. Hey, maybe Vera give you a few tips. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Keith, it's me you're talking to. Richard, I'm sorry to sound unsympathetic, but the bank has been extremely supportive of you. But unless you can offer me more than vague promises... W what are you saying? I'm saying in two weeks I need to see you again. And in that time, you need to have significantly reduced your debt. And how am I supposed to do that? You're the financial advisor. Forget your fancy holidays, your, uh, your unnecessary purchases, and then look at your assets. You might consider uh, downsizing your new car. You're not serious. Oh, I'm extremely serious. Your debts are spiralling out of control, and unless you can find an immediate way to start plugging that hole, I'm going to be obliged to withdraw our support. Oh, no, I'll get these. Two large scots, please, shall you? Coming up. It's the least you deserve for brokering that deal for me. Cheers. Well, to the first of many, eh? Allahan and Baldwin. Allahan and Baldwin. Ah, oh, Joe, what can I get you? I'll have my usual, please, Mike. Oh, whatever it is, I'll stick in his throat. Hmm? Oh, and a pint, please, then. Peter, now about what I said earlier. Oh, yeah, about Shelley being cheap. It's all right, Blanche, I know you didn't mean it. But I didn't, that's the whole point. I was just saying it to make you feel better about splitting up. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, it weren't Shelley's fault we split up in the first place, Blanche. It's my fault. Why? What did you do? Well, let's just say it's what I didn't do, you know? She said I don't trust her enough. And she's probably right. Trust? That's what broke me and Archie up. He said I should have had more in him. Hey, come on, Blanche. You're right. Aye. Daft, isn't it? You think you're over him. Still, you're lucky, eh? Am I? Of course you are. You've got a second chance. You make sure you make the most of it. There you go. Happy birthday. For me? Are you sure you want to give me this? Of course I do. It's your birthday, innit? you got to have a present. Cheers, pal. I can't believe it. You're a top man, you Kirk. I don't care what they say. What's that hissing? Uh, uh, it's white noise or something. They all do it. You sure? You sure it's OK? Of course. It's top class, that. Then why won't it tune in? Flaming hell! It's rubbish, is this? I want a bit of rock. Not flaming here, eh? Hey, well, happy birthday anyway. I've got to go. See ya. Hey, come back here! Kirk! Kirk! What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, no! Oh! Oh, it's done this! Hey, you, come here. Come here. Don't think you're going to get away with this. I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, don't come the innocent with me, lady. Look what you've done to me beautiful sign. Vera, I'm sure my mum wouldn't do anything like that. Oh, no. Well, who did it then? She's the only one round here that's got it in for me. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. I wouldn't stoop so low. I leave that to you. What do you mean by that? Oh, no. Shouldn't you be over there defending your mother in law? Oh, not me. I'm not getting involved. You know what they say, eh? People who live in glass houses. Ah, <laughs> throwing the Bible at me now, are you? I mean, before you start pointing the finger, look to yourself. You're the only vandal round here. Goodness, what's going on there? Maxine's mum versus Vera Duckworth. Now, listen here, you. I never touch your sign. Only because you probably can't spell. The old wreck. How appropriate. Who are you calling an old wreck, eh? You've got that much slap on, your face would collapse without it. Oh! oh. Yes, yes. Oh. I love the titles they give these jobs. Look at that. General Case and Assistant. Why don't they just say dinner lady? Do you know, I don't care what they call me as long as they pay me. <laughs> yeah, Rosie, what do you reckon? Can you see your mum in one of those little paper hats? What? They're looking for people to work in kitchens at Weatherfield Comp. You're going to be a dinner lady at my new school? Well, hopefully. I haven't applied for it yet. 
I can't believe it. I can't believe you'd actually do this to me. What's the matter? I'm going to look all right, Div, and now with you there, I'm never going to make any new friends. Rosie, calm down. I can't believe you'd do this to me. You're so embarrassing. What was that about? That was me getting it wrong. What? Why was that your fault? Well, I should have thought, shouldn't I? New school, new start. She's hardly going to want a mum hanging about, is she? Hey, come on. You're only trying to find yourself a job. Yeah, but I forgot about my other job. What's that? Being a mum. Here, come and say hello while she's done. Oh, Vera, don't go getting yourself upset. Upset? Of course I'm upset. She's ruined it. She wants to take it down. Yeah, I can go and get my screwdriver. No, you come with me. What, where are we going? Listen, we've got some paint in the shed. I'm not letting that stuck up cow get the better of me. Come on. How's it going your end, mate? Just as bad. I think Maxie's mum's gonna start making wax dolls of Vera. No wood pub. Anyway, uh, me and Peter got back together. I kind of guessed that when you didn't come back to the flat. Oh, look, I'm sorry about that. I should have called. It's just, well, uh, we were... In bed? Making up? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere like that. <laughs> oh, please, Pia. I really am. Oh, ta. Anyway, thanks, you know. It's all down to you, listening to us both mithering on. Hey, it's no wonder I don't have a love life of me own. I'm too busy sorting out the rest of you. You'll find someone, you know. The right one. Don't worry about me. I stop on me own. Come on, what's up with you, Baz? You got a face on your morning. Yeah? Well, maybe you should spend less time worrying about me and more time worrying about your work. Uh, excuse me, we've been working dead hard today. Thank you very much. Good. Keep it up. Because if we can get this Allahan order in on time, you could be looking at a little bonus. Allahan? Oh, you mean Dev? Is that what you were doing at Thatcher? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But actually, it's, uh, it's a pretty good deal if we can pull it off, so... Spread the word, right? Mm. Ah, there you go. I knew you'd see sense. Anyway, come on, how did your big business meeting go? Oh, fine. Yeah, really well. You're quite high flyers, aren't you? You and your new husband. Where is he, by the way? Uh, he's at home, working on some figures. Oh. And do you understand it all now, the ins and outs of high finance? Oh, no, I leave it all to Richard. He's the expert. You've been busy. Hi, oh, yeah, love. Just a minute. I'm just um, just browning the topping. Oh, smells lovely. What are we having? Well, it's a fricassee of lamb with a uh, pom d'affinois topping. Hey. Okay. Well, it's shepherd's pie, isn't it? So, uh, oh, and uh, this is for you. What is it? Well, have a look, haven't it? Oh, Petey, you shouldn't have. Yes, of course I should. Hey, do you like them? Y yeah. They're beautiful, but really, you didn't have to go to all this effort. No, of course I did, because I want you to know how much you mean to me. <sighs> hey, so what's wrong? I mean, don't you like them? Uh, no, don't be daft. They're, they're beautiful. Of course I like them. Well, well, then what's wrong? Look, don't take this the wrong way. But all this, I mean, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely that you care so much, but... Really, you didn't have to do so it. So what are you saying? I mean, what have I... Have I gone and got it all wrong again? Uh, eh? No. I just don't want you to forget what's important. I came back to you because I wanted to be with you. And, well, the earrings and, and the big gestures, they're all very nice, but... Yes. Yes, but what? But it can't just be about that, can it? Our relationship, it, it can't just be about superficial things. I mean, the presents and romantic meals, it, it's not going to make everything all right. It's about you and me talking. It's about you and me being honest with each other. So, I so, I so want it to work this time, Peter. You, but, well, you know, so do I. I mean, but, but you know that, I mean, and I'll do anything. Honestly, you know well, that. If it's right, if we're right, then, 
We shouldn't have to try so hard, should we? Well, no. No, I suppose. I suppose not. He pondered a delphin while burning. Who cares? Don't be daft. I'm starving. Well, it's now we've made up that meeting, my man thinks I'm some kind of financial whiz kid. Really? Is everything all right? Are you a bit quiet? Am I? No, no, I'm fine. Just, just thinking. When did that mortgage advisor say the money might come through exactly? A couple of weeks. As soon as they've done the survey. Anyway, he never told me what the bank manager said. Apart from that everything was okay. Keith. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was, um... He was... very understanding. Oh, I'm so pleased. You know, I hated this morning, all the lying. To me mum, to the bank. Should have trusted you, shouldn't I? Sorry? That it'd be worth it. I mean, you knew everything would be okay. It is okay, isn't it? I mean... The investment from the house will make a difference. Yeah. Of course. You know, I think we should have some wine tonight to celebrate. Lovely. About time we had a bit of luck. <laughs> Hi, girls. So, come on. How's the sweatshop? Keeping us busy. Oh, yeah, I know. It's tough, isn't it? I thought I'd have a bit of a leisurely morning myself, you know, sell a few sofas, uh, chat with a few customers, break the commission. Oh, yeah, and if you don't sell any, you can always lie down and go to sleep on one, I suppose. <laughs> I ain't got time for that, love. I mean, it's all go up there, you know, celebrities popping in every half hour. Like who? Oh, footballers, actors, pop stars and uh, fashion people. Give us some names, then. <laughs> uh, no, I uh, can't do that, Janice breach of customer confidence. I mean, we're big on privacy up at Elevation. Yeah, but if I give you my autograph book, you'll get it signed, won't you? Oh, no, I, I don't think so, love. It's, uh, well, it's a bit infradig. Oh, infradig? Is that something you learn at that shop? Well, we would hate to be infradig, wouldn't we, first? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Got work to do. <laughs> I know, these early mornings. Just a drag, eh, aren't they, girls? What are you trying to prove? Oh, I'm just having a laugh. Are they your mates? No, they were my mates. I mean, I think I've moved on a bit since then. I hope. Oh, yeah. Baby, I'm in a classy place now. I mean, I'm meeting all kinds of different people. I don't want to be stuck around here drinking pints in the Rovers for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah, it's just a wedding bill reminder. I thought you'd pay for Oh, yeah, well, I fully intended to. It just slipped my mind up more with all this other stuff going on. You have put it by. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's no problem. I just hate having to be reminded, you know. It creates the wrong impression. Well, I could pop down and pay it this afternoon if you like. No, 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 there's no need. No, I'll nip down this morning and pay it myself. Sophie, okay? Oh, weekend at Melanie's, I should say so. She couldn't wait to get in the car. Mm, do good. Spread her wings. Yeah, I thought we'd to death. Mm. What are you going to do today? No, much can do with this. I'm in class. Well, why don't you give Lisa a ring? Is that grand's? Well, there must be something else. All right, I'll ring her then. Hey, don't talk to your mum like that. Sophie's got to have her own life. It's not about stupid Sophie. So, no, you've been like a bear with a sore head all morning. It's because of you, in it. What do you want to be your dinner lady for? Because I need a job. To wipe in my school. Hey, come on, calm down. What's wrong with your mum being a dinner lady, eh? Not ashamed of it, are you? Are you? It's my new school, not hers. Look, you worried about what your friends are going to think. Because, you know, I'm sure they'll like it as much as we do. I don't care if they don't like me. I need the job. Uh, and I bet you won't complain when we can start buying you decent things. Maybe not. All right, then. Go and phone one of your friends and stop worrying. OK, I'm ringing from upstairs. Do you know, I don't know if this school thing's turning out to be such a good idea. Ah, oh, she'll be all right. I think what you was like at that age. Yeah, I suppose so. Right, I better get off. Can't afford to have young Tyrone kicking his heels. 
Are you going to get rid of this now, or what? What, I'm giving to her over there. Well, it doesn't exactly look great, does it? <laughs> He's right. The lowest at own of the neighbourhood, in my opinion. Oh, and you don't. Wouldn't surprise me if you haven't got something to do with it. Hey, that slander, that is. I could have you in court for that. In league with her, are you? Sniffing around, doing her favours. Was that remark for my benefit? If the cap fits, wear it. Hey, you could have her for what she's saying about you. Oh, wouldn't waste me time. Uh... Kevin, you got a minute? Hey, you got a problem? Morning, uh, Gaffer. No, I was uh, after a bit of advice, actually. Uh, I've got a mate who's, uh, who's got one of these. And uh, he's, he's looking to sell it. <laughs> but on my league at the moment, mate, one of them. Oh, no, I wasn't suggesting you buy it. I just wondered if you know how much it was worth, like, you know, second hand. Same year? Yeah. Average mileage, top nick. What was it? 992,000. Yeah. Average mileage, yeah. Looking at about 12 grand. Oh, great, right, thanks. Yeah, I'll pass it on. Huh? Where's he thinking of taking it? Who? Your mate. Oh, yeah, uh, oh, I don't know, I didn't say. Oh, so I want to try wheelers on interchange. Get a fair price there. Right, thanks. I'll do that. Oh, hello, yeah, it's, it's Richard Hillman, yeah. Uh, that's right, yeah, the very same. Uh, yeah, uh, I know, I'm sorry, I've been very busy. No, 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 there's no problem. Uh, in fact, I was hoping to be with you this morning with the full amount. Uh, say lunchtime. Thought I'd better let you know. Eh? Mr. Berger. Oh, flipping heck. Uh, Jay's not about, is he? Oh, no, but he might be. Better get it sorted. If you find someone eating in his store, he'll go mental. And it's uh, your section. Yeah, cheers, Chloe. Uh, you're a mate. Excuse me, sir. Um, you're not allowed to eat that in the store. It's um, company rules, I'm afraid. <laughs> what did you say? Um, well, I said you can't eat that. Um, so if you wouldn't mind depositing it in a bin or leaving. But the choice is yours. Giles, Giles. Good to see you. Thank you, Karen. Sorry about that error of judgment. Karen's new to the store. She doesn't know all our regular customers yet. Uh, Chloe will take very good care of you, won't you, Chloe? Show you all the new lines. I'm sure you'll love them. Just what the hell do you think you're playing at? He was eating a burger. Do you know who that is? Giles Alexander. Do you know how much money he spends in here? Thousands, tens of thousands. And you treat him like someone who was wandered in off the streets. He was dripping fat all over the new line. <sighs> he can cover the place in mayonnaise for all I care. He's only one of the richest record producers in the country. He probably looks like a tramp. People with real money often do. Yeah, well, how was I meant to know that? That's something you feel. You develop a second sense, and you'd better learn it quickly if you expect to keep your job. I can't afford to lose customers like him because you misjudge a situation. And, uh, does Chloe know who he is? Of course. Everyone knows Mr. Alexander. Turning town this morning. So? So, you weren't indicating. My near side indicator is still not working. Well, why not, Les? I told you to get it fixed. We could get done for that. I was waiting for you to give me the cash. Well, why didn't you pay for it? I'll give it you back. Bit of a cash flow problem at the moment, boss. Well, here. 20 quid. Take it to Kev's. I want it fixed today. A job's a job, Sally. We all need to work. I know, but I can see why she's unhappy about me being there. She'd be a damn sight more unhappy if she didn't get her pocket money every week. Yeah, but we all need a bit of a secret life, don't we? I mean, I used to hate it when my mum tried to find out what I'd been doing at school. Perhaps as well she didn't know. Hey, I love you now. I was a perfect pupil. Oh, I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. Hello, love. Hey, could you uh, stick that off for me, please? Yeah, Richard? of course I can. Cheers. How much? Uh, 50p a week sound OK? Ooh, I don't know if I can afford that. <laughs> there you go, lovely. There we are. Thanks, Thanks. very much. See you, bye. See you love. See you. Bye. bye. Hey, how do you fancy working at the bookies? Why, is that what it is? Yeah, part-time assistant required at Barlow's Bookmakers. Flexible hours, but may need to work some evenings. But a bookies? You're good at figures, and you've plenty of shop experience. 
Well, yeah. Well, then go to it. I'll keep this under the counter till I hear from you. Right, how much do I owe you? Eight pound fifty. Eight fifty? I asked for a taxi, not the royal coach. I don't set the rates, love. See Steve MacDonald if you're unhappy. And I expect you'll be wanting a tip. Oh, uh, that's completely up to you. Yellow budgie in the first race at Chester. He can't lose. Aye. And chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap to you and all, love. I was just testing a car. Oh, in that case, you can do me a favour then. Oh, I. Uh, I've got a dick here, near side indicator. Both probably gone. Can you fix it for us? Well, I'll book it in. But can't you do it now? No, because I'm working on this. I mean, as a favour. Don't worry, I'll see you right. What a foreigner you mean. Why not? Kevin doesn't have to know. No, I couldn't do that to Kev. Couldn't take his money like that. Who said anything about money? Hey. What's this? Nice. That's the real McCoy. Charlie West got a load cheap. Still, it's a class act. Yeah, it's a good-looking bit of kit, I'll give you that. So, have we got a deal, then? Yeah, go on. Good lad. I'll fetch the taxi round. You give us a ring when it's finished. Oh, you're yeah, a good lad. So, you after a job then, Sally? Uh, yeah. Something to fit in with school hours. Right, and what experience have you got? Well, um, I had my own shop for a while. And I was in charge of Mike's books at Underworld. So you're used to figures? Oh, yeah, there's no one with me with my tick. Look, I'll be honest with you, Sally, you know, job's not really up to much, but, you know, it would be uh, a regular part-time and we can try and fit the hours around the kids if, if that would be help. That'd be great. Hey, I have to tell you that I'm not very good at betting and odds and how to work all the stuff out. No, well, I can show you how to do that. And anyway, we've got a machine that calculates all the winnings these days. Oh, right. So, uh, I mean, most important thing is there's somebody there I can trust, safe pair of hands in case I have to nip out. Well, no problem there. Good. Well, why don't you come in tomorrow, I'll show you the ropes, and then, if we still like each other, we can have a real chat about the future. Great. Is she all right? Yeah. Yeah, why shouldn't I be? Just wondered. I had a really great morning, if you're really interested. Right. I had a really famous record producer in... Record producer? Yeah, Giles Alexander. Never heard of him? <laughs> well, that just goes to show how ignorant you are. I mean, he's got studios, Manchester, Liverpool, London. In fact, he produces a lot of the top bands in this country. Huh? What's he doing in your place, then? Oh, he was just, like, buying stuff for the studios, you know, somewhere for the stars to sit, have a drink in between recordings. I mean, he spends hundreds and thousands of pounds. Look at our place. Well, and you recognised him, did you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's a bit scruffy, but, you know, uh, you get a sense for people who are important, people who are not. And, in fact, uh, well, Jay reckons I've got a bit of an actual eye for it. Jay? Yeah, it's my boss. What sort of a name's Jay? <laughs> One that drives a Porsche, actually. You'll be getting a rise, then, will you? No, but I uh, got the distinct impression this uh, record producer fancied me. Yeah. I was uh, showing him round and... Uh, he was chatting me up like crazy. That's the out then, did he? No, of course not. I mean, he's uh, much too laid back for that. But Jay said that uh, most of his clients shot with us. What, like pop stars, you mean? Yep. In fact, I uh, like, expect to be introduced to quite a lot of important people over the next few weeks. Oh, I enjoyed that, didn't you? Fantastic. I suppose you've got enough room for any apple pie. No, just bring it over and I'll show you. Mm. Cream. What do you think? There you go. Brilliant. Make sure you don't spill it. Oh, it's too good to spill, love. It's a shame you're not so careful about your painting, isn't it? Hey. Okay. I'm using your jeans as I was doing the washing. Oh. And paint on your shirt. Since when have you become a Van Gogh? Might have seen it. You've been tampering with me mother's nameplate, haven't you? believe you'd do such a thing. You naughty boy. You naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Get off. <laughs> so, what are you about to do to buy my silence? 
I've saved you some lunch, but it'll need heating up. Oh, I don't want any, thanks. All right. Not really, no. What is it? What's happened? When I was downtown paying the wedding bill, someone took the car. What do you mean? Clamped it? Towed it away? What? No, I mean took it, broke into it and drove it away. Stolen? Stolen. Hey, what are you still doing in here? This, um, I'm having my dinner. Yeah, well, it's gone two o'clock. Well, I've been busy. <laughs> I can't see how. That Vauxhall's still not being looked at. Look, I've had a lot on, Kev, honest. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, they're not all mine. Look, just get back to work. I'm surprised you make any profit at your place the way you go on. Not now, eh, Blanche? Oh, well, if you don't want to know how your staff are diddling you, that's your business. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm talking about that Dobbs lad fixing Les Battersby's taxi for free. What? Oh, it's right enough. I saw it with my own eyes. Ask him to deny it if you don't believe me. So you didn't actually see the thief drive away? No, I told you. I didn't see a thing. I went to the place to pay off the wedding bill, and when I got back, it had gone. The broken a window? How would I know? There'd have been broken glass. Oh, well, no, no, there was no broken glass. Well, you told me no one could get into that car without breaking a window. And even then, they couldn't drive it away because of the immobiliser. Well, they did. Yeah, but how? Well, how would I know? If I knew that, I could do something about it, couldn't I? Yeah, but you said that were impossible. What are you saying, David, that I'm a liar? That, that, that my car hasn't been stolen? David, why don't you go to your mates? Oh, do I have to? Yes, you do. Sorry about that. No, no. I shouldn't have shouted at him. I just lost my temper. I know it's, it's just this on top of everything else. But you have reported it to the police. Yeah, yeah, of course I have. Not that they'll do anything about it. They never do. It's probably stolen to order. Could be halfway to Russia, but how? It's insured. We'll get the money back. Yeah, that, that'll be a two-month wait. The more pressing problem is how are you going to manage without a car? I mean, how are you going to work? Well, I haven't thought about that yet. Well, don't you get a higher car with the insurance? Well, not on ours, no. It'd have put the premium up, so I, uh... I just didn't think it was worth it. Well, that turned out to be false economy, didn't it? Well, I know that now, don't I? You must have known you'd need one if anything happened to yours. I didn't know my car was going to get stolen. Well, there's no need to shout. Well, isn't there? I come home after my car's just been stolen from practically under my nose, and if that's enough, my family start tearing chunks out of me for being stupid. Nobody's calling you stupid, Richard. Where are you going? Going to the pub. Might find someone a bit more sympathetic down there. What are you playing at? I'm not running to charity. I've got a wife and two kids to feed. All right, I'm sorry, Kev. It's not even Leslie's cab. It was Steve McDonald he was bailing out. It was only an indicator ball were replaced. Yeah, well, normal rate. That's, that's half an hour labour and parts. Right, if you're that bothered, I'll pay for it. Oh, I know you will, yeah. I'll make sure you do. Dad? Hello, love. What are you doing? I was just off shopping with Selena and I just wondered what you wanted for your birthday. Aren't you go spending all your money on me now? I always get you a birthday present. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what will be a really nice present. Stop going on at your mum about this dinner lady job. I mean, a proper present. Well, the nicest part about a present is the surprise. Oh, surprise, man. OK. Uh, do you want to make yourself useful before you go? Come and brew up for us uh, working lads here. Uh, I'll have mine in a minute. I'm just going to pop to the cabin. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Look, I'm sorry about this. Yes, Gail, what can I get you? Oh, no, nothing for me, thanks. Oh, well, what she really means is a glass of wine, please. No, honestly, nothing. I'm sorry about before. No, 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 no. I'm the one who should be apologising. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that, especially not in front of the kids. You're going through a very difficult time. Yeah, well, that's, that's no excuse for putting the rest of it through, one. Especially when you've been so understanding. You can't be expected to carry all this and not let off steam sometime. I've made a right mess of things, haven't I? The car is just the last of a long line of disaster. You can't blame yourself for the car being stolen. That could have happened to anybody. Could it? Yes, it could. So stop beating yourself over the head for something that's not your fault. Come on, drink up. Let's go on. There you go. Oh, 
Potter. What, no biscuits? Not biscuits. Hey, no, and you shouldn't be in here either. Yeah, I might take them both on, a lovely cup of tea. I was asking Dad what he wanted for his birthday. Oh, and what did he say? He said he wanted his surprise. Well, I might have a nice surprise for you both. I might have landed a job. Not school. No, at the bookies. Peter Barlow's going to take me on. <laughs> oh, well, that's what I thought. You and the bookies. Yeah, what's up with that? Well, puts a stop to my little flutters. Thought you'd be pleased. Hey, yeah, I'm absolutely made up for you. So I'm popping in tomorrow to learn the ropes, and if we get on OK, the job's mine. Well, that's great. So, it's just you and me tomorrow. <laughs> yep. We'll have to think of something to do, won't we? Oh, it's great, isn't it, Kevin? Just came right out of the blue. Oh, yeah, well, good things usually do. Right, I'm going to nip back and start the tea, and I want your help. For well, me and Selena are shopping. Oh, all right, but we'll be back by half past five. OK, see ya. See, see ya. you, girls. See, see ya. ya. Uh, don't worry, I'll be there. Might even crack open a bottle. All right. Listen, uh, just wanted to say sorry about earlier and give you this. What is it? Well, it's a surprise for your birthday. Well, it's not for a couple of days. Well, you can open it whenever. All right, thanks. No probs. Thanks, love. Here's to us. And whoever stole our car. I'll drink to that. And, uh, I'm, I'm sorry that things ended up like this. It's not the end of anything, Richard. It's the beginning for us. But I've made a lot of stupid mistakes, girl, and it's about time I took responsibility for them. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Um, the conversion, I suppose, for a start. <sighs> you mean the underpinning how are you to know that could have happened to anybody no not just the underpinning oh. what then other things other things that that should never have happened what if you mean the bail hostel that's down to Dougie. no no it's just not just that look you don't know the things i've done yes i do you do. I know you came into our lives and made us happy. No. Yes, you have. You showed me it was possible to fall in love again. Do you know what that means to me? I never thought I'd feel like that again. And Sarah, David, Bethany, you talk to them like they were your own and it's not been easy. No, no, you, you don't understand. I do understand. I understand what you did for me and my children. I understand you came into our lives and created a real family. I'm maybe not the man you think I am. I know what I see, Richard. And I want what I see. The car and the, the flats and the... And the underpinning and the bail hostel. All inconsequential. We'll get over them. I trust your judgment. And I'll back your mistakes, whatever you make along the way. They're not important. What's important is us. Thanks. For what? More than I can tell you.